to the sort of original artwork. Yep. And what's the question you get asked a lot is can we make policy, to sell? Yeah. Can we make to sell? Yes, it's out of copyright, so you can make to sell on this as much as you like, as long as it's you know it's stamped yes. and you've made it into something. Is our policy for everything we sell? Charmaine, these are incredible. Now for thirty four ninety eight to get that kind of artwork, it looks like it's got that feel of beautiful storybook, a vintage storybook feel, a classic interpretation of Alice. Now I will be showing you some examples. These are all the stamps that you are getting. Very busy for this option. We do not have a huge amount and I, one thing I can categorically tell you, this happy hour will not last the whole hour. So we know that for a fact. So one more to show. That is your final one. You're getting all of those stamps. I mean, the detail is ridiculous that you're getting here. Let me pop that down and just show you where you could take your Alice, uh, uh, the Happy Hour stamps. Now, who did this? Now, this is from our Sue. She has done a collaboration with both sets. So the other set is on at 2 o'clock. Yeah. So all the tags are all done from the sets mm -hmm. and um, mixed in some of our paper kits and um, some of the other products that are on later wow. on as well. And then on the desk there, there is the tin. Yep. When you open it up, that's got all of them in as well. Oh. So you can do so much with it. So if you actually open inside, you've got a piece that pops out. Oh. Yeah, there's a bit that pops. I like things that pop and twist and have flaps and tags and things on. What? Look at all th I've got to tell you, we are limited stock for our happy hour. I told you we didn't have a huge amount of stock. So uh, if you want to get hold of it, less than 10% in stock remaining. We're into single figures. It will go in the next few minutes, I think. We'll see. But if you do want to get hold of that happy hour deal, that saving is incredible. So you are saving 50% on there. Now, can I... Um, it's going to go any second. It really will be fastest fingers first. Going, can, going, gone. It really, it's going to go. <laughs> uh, can I just show you here? Because this is a, a nice bridge from the happy hour to what we're about to show you. Can you tell me? And the happy hour has now sold out. So technical sellout. If you do want to get hold of it, make sure to check out your baskets. Can you tell me about these? So that is made with a template from the kit. So you get the kit which give you, gives you all the printed versions, which yeah. is the easy option. And then I also give you the template so you can carry on making. And our Sue's made that one as well. And she's used, obviously, the stamps. If you open it up, so it makes a suitcase, but we tweak on things. So we give you the easy options and the templates, and then we show you more inspiration of flaps and tags and things that you can add to it. So she's used all the stamps in there to, commit, to create create yeah create a little sort of journal inside a suitcase that's incredible okay so that's from a happy hour yep the the principle your your blank canvas effectively uh, is the same so you have the templates to make uh, make these but we have got some phenomenal deals on the show today with regard to stamps so if you're a lover of dolly dimples and if you love it, this is Here Comes a Girl. This is Here Comes a Girl. So we're talking and about that's the one we did on set together. Yeah. See, it rings oh, a bell now. Oh, now you remember. Yeah, now, now I remember you, Yanis. I've forgotten you, you for two minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I remember, I remember doing this with you. Yeah. So there's Here Comes Girls. And I do believe we have a great deal on that stamp set. We do. Uh, as well. We've got lots we're going to be sharing. So just to give you the details here, 1999. Now, there's things to point out. Make 15 cases, so we've got They're the templates. They're in front there. If you just reach your arms over the big box to me, there, that pile. Okay. So you've got, there's one of each there. I haven't done the insides of just, okay. well, so actually that one you can open. I've put three little boxes in there, and there is a necklace in it with um, shrink plastic on that um, our Sam did with the seasonal girls. So you can then send gift things. If you don't put the boxes in, you could put the gift cards if you're sending gift cards. I oh, personally yeah. like cash, but you can put gift cards in there, or you put chocolates in there. If you put the little trinket boxes in, um, then you can put mini gifts in, or you can do the journal style like I'd like doing. So what we're offering Print, is... They're all printed and double-sided, really, really easy to do. You so can ink them and put your little stitch marks on them if you want, but you get two lots of each design there, which creates 15 of those. And, and you get, you the, get the template as well, so you can carry on making. Like. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I won't open up them all. I know the first one, because the other ones uh, haven't been finished inside, but that yeah. first one gave you that... Uh, sort of uh, potential of where you could take it. See, this is the nub of it. 
we've got the template to make as many as we like. So you're going to make 15 straight out, uh, out the packaging. When you get these home, you can make 15 of the most beautiful journal, uh, journal cases. But then, when you start mixing with elements from the show, for instance, having a look here, this is our under the sea. Do you see how... You that's cool, make, isn't that it? That is so cool. So now that's done by the artist as well. So Anne Marie is the designer of the Under the Sea, and that is her wow. sample and her interpretation of the little suitcase. Well, this is the thing because you'll have not only have you got the 15 cases you're going to make, then after that, with the template, you've still got those. You're going to go on and make more and more. If you do want to go for the Under the Sea, have a look at your details at the bottom of your screen. That actually doesn't tell you the full story because. The saving is incredible. Uh, I know there is a huge, huge saving on that undersea. Actually, all the stamps on the show, we've got the kimono girls uh, there as well. Uh, you're actually saving 51 pounds with the under the sea. We're going to be seeing that in a moment. Okay, so here we go. That's your templates. I think we're going to be taking a look at those. These are uh, for your journal case kit, 054510 item number. Now, we have got an embellishment set that I was wrecking. So <laughs> just taking a look here. Uh, this gives you an idea of all the embellishments, $24.98. Are we getting all of these, shall we? There's two options, or right. by the job lot. So, okay. you know, depending on your purse strings and which ones you want, you get one to four on that listing there. Yeah. So, Robbie, very painstakingly, pinned them all to that board, bless him. Okay. Missed off the bottom one because his board wasn't big enough, so we had to add one to it at the bottom. Okay. From there. So, you get one to four, which is the top four runs, uh -huh. with one set of ribbons. Yeah. Well, I say it's lace lace ribbon and then you get five to eight with the other or you buy the whole job lot together which well, is a much better saving and that's what we've got on your screen right now so yeah for 24.98 you're saving 15 pounds you're getting both sets of that beautiful ribbon it's stunning ribbon then you're getting all the embellishments as well now these are metal embellishments they're beautifully detailed so we've got the keys in there you've got if you have gone for that alice set you've got the little rabbit look at that key Phenomenal. The detail that you've got, little charms, you've got embroidery scissors coming through, so a sewing themed one. You've got characters in there as well. All metal embellishments. That is an awesome buy. The chunky monkey that out is, there. They really are. <laughs> That's a great buy. Uh, $24.98 your price. That has to be busy this hour. 559-549 your item number. Now we have got our kimono girls. These are nice. Now I remember because this when you came back to Hochanda, this yep. was your first show and it was immensely busy. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Japanese culture anyway. And the thing with the kimono is you've got so much creativity to explore. So much colour, you know, yeah. vibrancy. You can even go black and white. You can go monochrome with them. And I've just bought, brought a few samples because on both shows we've got a lot of stamps yeah. on at silly prices. And I have a lot of samples that I could have filled the whole room. So I've just bought a few with me. Uh -huh. And they mix and match with each other really well. They've got nice little background stamps. And they cross over the board of Dolly Town and work with all of the other bits. All the other bits. <laughs> Just having a look here, if I turn this around, there you go, you're able to see on each stamp set the amount you are getting. Now, we're getting six uh, in total, so 45.94. Now, that works out per stamp set at. Let me just. Well, I'm, I'm going to get some help on this, so I'll give you the precise figure. Three pack. For all, for all six, we'll, uh, we'll break that down for you. <laughs> Leslie, your math is as good as mine. <laughs> Seeing you. 7.65 per stamp set. Well, they're normally 10.99 on my website yeah. each. I mean, pff, great saving, but for stamp, let me just show you something. This is the idea of what you can go on to achieve. Aren't they phenomenal? They really are such characters. Charmaine, what you do, actually that's a good idea, Leslie, our uh, producer was saying you could make dress up dolls with them. Yeah, there was um, a customer who bought them and posted up on Facebook, um, I can't remember her name because she changed her Facebook name to something okay. random now, yeah. sort of bless her, and she'd um, done the girls upside down and used the dresses as flowers, oh, wow. so they looked like great big tulips, it was absolutely awesome. 
So you it's can really tweak set. around, but yes, if you take the, it sounds barbaric, but you set the heads off, you can switch them around. And one of the things that I've done with them is I've done a lot of sort of stamping onto um, backing papers and embossing them and then cutting their outfits out. So I like the dress up dolls and switching them around a little bit. Mm. So, yeah, pretty cool, Twenty-two that, ninety-seven is your first flexi payment. We're busy here. Seven seven three zero seven five. Your item number for something that is so original. Dolly Dimples. If you had to sum up Dolly Dimples and Charmaine in one word, it would be original. Uh, and again, this is a great example of it. We are going under the sea here. Uh, this is your Dolly Dimples Under the Sea complete stamp collection. A fifty-one pound saving. But look at the amount that you are getting. Is incredible. You're getting two A4 stamp sets in the mix. I mean, that is, looking at that, and then you've got the 5A5 in there as well. Let me just turn this around because this is what Dolly Dimples does so well. Gives you character, brings life to the image, and also personality. You want to color these in. You will definitely imagine them in uh, an example. I'll show you actually here. This, okay, this is why we get excited about Dolly Dimples, building up those scenes, the characters that we are getting in the mix. It's just uh, scene builders, I would say, They're definitely me? scene builders. There's so many elements to it. And actually, inside the covers, there is a story behind the characters as well. So in the packaging, you get the inspiration on the front of the packaging, yeah. Um, which is the same size as the stamp and then on the inside when you open it up there's a little story behind each character and what they do in Dolly Town and they all you know obviously they're under the sea characters so they mix and match with each other but there's lots of stamp elements in there that will cross over into the other bits and pieces especially the background stamps and things like the meshes and um, the splats and stuff are great for mixing over with other things. I mean, when you think about it you could quite easily pay for a stamp, an A4 stamp set, I'm talking uh, in crafting terms generically, you could quite easily pay over £20 plus for an A4 stamp set. Here, the saving £125 for all of these, absolutely, that is the regular retail price. Coming down to £74.93 and getting that complete collection. So you've got the mermaids, you've got the chest, uh, or the, the um, treasure chest, you've got the, all those different uh, fish. I love the little scuba diver in there too. So we've got her. She's Agent Daydream. That's her Agent name. Daydream. Agent Daydream. She's a she's a secret agent. And what? she works in Dolly Cove. Let me just show you here. This is when we talk about you have got that little story. Am I sure? Should, should yeah, go sure? okay? yeah, go for it. So you do get I won't I won't linger on this, but you do just get a little bit of a story behind the characters as well. I love this set. I absolutely love this set. I would be totally popping this into my basket. It's freezing busy. We've also got a Christmas bundle uh, for you as well with a huge saving. Uh, if you do what this show is, and it's lovely, Charmaine's come in and offering some of the best selling collections uh, for you. Uh, effectively, it's a sale show, so do take advantage. A lot of people have been looking forward to this hour. We're going to go to our first demonstration. What are we going to be looking at, Charmaine? Okay, I've probably got the wrong one. So, right, okay, I'm going to get on my desk. I'm going to get two two of the pieces out. Um, you get one that goes, which is your mechanisms and your front and your back cover, and they come in five different colourways with your insides, uh, uh, your mechanisms, and your front and back cover. So they come in five different colourways, and you get two of each. Basically, you cut them out and you score them, and it's as simple as that. So you've almost got like the the grungy, it just doesn't sound like a nice word, grungy sort of worn stitch effect around these bits and pieces as well. And on the opposite side, they've got a great um, grayscale tone in there as well, which you can colour tint if you want to jazz up as well. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so all you have to do is cut them out. So I'm going to move them to the, the fairly straight forward, the straight lines. So you can do them with scissors, guillotine, however you choose to cut. So I'm not going to give you a cutting lesson. And I move that to one side. And here's some that I've got cut out. So you've got your front and you've got your back. The straight lines, if I bring this one back into play, because I do want to explain it. There's no point buying a kit and not explaining it. The instructions are on the template. 
um, this area here is a straight line so you can cut that away or you could fold it and bend in which I have done on some of mine mm -hmm. your preference when you're making up boxes because at the end of the day it's pretty much like a box yeah. okay so we've got these mechanisms like this and we've got them cut out and then whether you want to take a ruler and a foam pad and a scoreboard or whatever device you want to make your score lines I am going to choose to use Jan Hooge and you then would find the score line that suits it and you would score sorry if we're out of shot there let me just move that over is yep, that better please. and you would score so if you want to double score you can double score so find the line that makes up and double score if you so wish and then once you've scored them go all around the edges and crease as simple as that if you want to add ink lotions and portions to the edges of here and you want to take your brushes in you can do it where it's flat if you prefer like so or you can do it when it's built up and go in at your edges and make your edges stronger and darker if that makes sense so that's the crease line so it's pretty much it's decorated for you but you can add to it so you go all the way around the edges once you've gone all the way around the edges they were then going to glow so i just move this to one side okay and i prefer to use a wet pva glue um you know brand of choice right. So it gives I you a bit more wiggle time. It, it gives you more wiggle time and I find it, um, it when it gets hot or cold it doesn't peel away so we put a little bit of glue on squeeze a little bit spread it out and then bend in and then you have these magic things either fingers or you can take your clips there we go and you can pop that in and move on to the next well i'm not going to do all four because it's rinse and repeat i'm going to move to one that's already done okay now i like to keep things that i um, go a bit pet tongue is my new word instead of peaks can't spell so i like to keep things where i do mix it up yeah. make mistakes which reminds me not to do if you stick all four of these bits which i'll come to on when you go to do your mechanism down at the bottom it's going to cover it up Oh. Okay, so I've left it like that, peeled them off, ripped a bit off of it, and it's going to remind me to tell you guys at home not to goof up. Okay. So, if I get this over here, because, you know, I'm not perfect, I do make mistakes, even with my own stuff. So we've got them all folded, we get them all glued, and then we start to decorate these corners. So these corner pieces score down all four where the little lines are, like so. Or in my case, I'm going to fold them over with my fingers and my fingernails mm -hmm. and into four. And then we get the PVA glue again. And where the little triangle is, we're going to place it on here. Now, I could have made these up beforehand, but then I decided that I actually prefer to make them up when I'm actually sticking them on. So get that into position roughly so it, the glue's on both sides I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to take this into position and do the top two on this one so glue my corner which I thought I'd already done place that into position hold and grab for a second Would you ever use little clips yes all the oh. time all the time these um, those and the reverse tweezers or the other ones are yeah. pegs house pegs um, there's lots of different types. What's the other thing called that you use for stationery? Oh, so paper clips. Paper clips, yes, that's the ones. I use paper clips. Now I like to keep my open creased edge, this, you know, the the final bit of the mechanism, mm -hmm. and I like to keep that bit to go onto the edge. I don't know why. It's one of those um, OCD things. And whenever I go like that, I then have to move them around so they're all in that direction. And then when I come to the finishing off tips, which is obviously because you've got a white core of the card, I like to give it a little rub, and then that, that white core edge will disappear and fade in. Oh, yes. Yeah, and go around the edges like so. So I do that one, and this one, and this one and then and then eight yeah eight eight and four sorry okay sure. <laughs> sorry i had to interrupt there yeah. <laughs> um and then you repeat here here and here mm -hmm. exactly the same thing and do the same and again and glue 
and that would be your next top one. Does this make sense so far? Right, okay. So once you've got that done, I'm just gonna glue the bottom two and I'm gonna jump to the next bit. There we go. There we go. And glue that one. Mm -hmm. And that one. And then we get this one and do exactly the same thing on the top corner. So I've got both of those done. Round, in, and there. Do you want to do a recap, Yanis? Yeah, I And um, I will uh, just finish this bit okay. and go to the next stage, yeah? I was very impressed with your multitasking. Good <laughs> uh, outside. So not only has Charmaine uh, got talk back, is demonstrating, but we were trying to just find some stamps to show you and she was keeping track of a separate conversation as well. I was really impressed by that. Uh, okay, so now uh, we're just gonna give you a little update. We've got lots on the show. Please go onto the website as well and have a look. It's the best way to see. It's effectively a sale show. What we're working on at the moment with Charmaine are these fantastic journal case kits. So you have got a beautiful collection of designs. I'm just gonna show you uh, what they actually make. So you're gonna make 15 of these but then you've got the templates and I will uh, give you some inspirations of where you can go on. So once you get these home, this is what you can be making straight off the bat, out, out of the box, I should say. All of these beautiful cases, I'll just continue to show you. I'm getting two of each design, so 15 in total. And then I'll open up this last one because you can start going to town. I mean, that looks beautiful in itself. I think we'll all agree. But Charmaine, the kit gives you everything to make what I'm holding in my hand. But then what about taking it that step further? Because you can add little trays or boxes within the uh, journal case and start giving gifts. A really nice way to get gifts. Or what about little notelet cards if you wanted, or ATCs. You've got a lot of scope. Uh, to create something very special. $19.99 is your price, but then how about taking your journal case and mixing in characters? Like for instance, we've got, uh, here comes the girls, we've got more uh, designs coming through. We've actually got this is Here Comes the Girls, which we're just showing you. Incredible is that. So that's one way, or how about, I'll pop that down. Another one featuring Here Comes the Girls. Oh, amazing. I've got to tell you, actually, uh, I'm going to show you Here Comes the Girls because it's proven to be very popular. Now you're getting six characters within here. So we're just going to flash the details for Here Comes the Girls. I think they're just at the bottom of your screen. Big, big saving on these, and you're getting all six characters coming through. So let's have a look at these. 27, uh, 27 pounds saving for each one their own personality. I know they have their names uh, and they have their own little quirks as well. Great opportunity to express character within these two. Really like these. Ooh, do you know, I've just noticed the extra freedom discount as well. Charmaine, you've got to tell us a little bit about characters. Who's this for instance? This is Sue. This we is Sue. Sue. They're all DT members. <laughs> oh, of course they are. I knew so that. Sue, that's a wonderful Sue. She's the butterfly catcher. Yeah. That one is Princess Louisa. So she's had a break from DT and just come back again. Lovely. So we do mix them around and, you know, they have breaks now and again. Yeah. This is Anne-Marie. She's the designer of the Under the Sea range. Uh -huh. And she's the safari girl. Bit of a tomboy there. So those are the characters. Look at that price, though. Twenty-two forty-seven. You are getting all of the Here Come the Girls stamp sets. So all six of them. I know I'm not holding it out very well. But you're going to get all of those. You're saving £27. Do split the price up. Uh, there are inspirations around. Oh, I can't get it. I'll get it next time. But I know they're over there. I can't, we can't pass over, unfortunately. Uh, 44 94 is your price. 835-510, your item number. We also have... Can I just show you the saving on this next one? This is a Christmas collection. The saving is out of this world. Now, look at this. I mean, you're getting a lot of the time on the stamp sets, you're getting a 50% saving. But, whoa, £132 saving. So, I mean, we're way past the 50% saving here. And you are getting 59 stamps in total 
But when we talk about stamps, the characters that you are getting I don't here. Mind showing it. So just showing you, we've got all of these characters, traditional uh, characters coming through. I know Shaman's going. Uh, Shaman's going to uh, show you the actual uh, inspirations that I couldn't reach. But we've got trees in the mix as well. I mean, collections building up. Beautiful floral corners. You can see that floral corner. We also have um, three flexi payments on here as well. So if you missed out on this, if you haven't got, this is your Christmas collection. So if you're looking for a Christmas set for this year, something different, and the beauty of a Christmas set is we're going to use it every year, aren't we? Going through, but I mean, it just keeps on going. Use that out of Christmas. Some of the animals. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, the I penguins. Totally you know, penguins they are here all year round. Same with the horses. You got top of white easy here all round. This could be vintage. Yep, definitely. Do you know it works out one pound eighty-six per stamp? I think, Amazing. I think the owl's my favourite. Benny so feathers. All of those. The complete collection saving a hundred and thirty-two pounds. So hundred and nine seventy-eight is your price there. Now, uh, Charmaine, you've got some examples of using this town. Let's yeah. have a look at these. Right. So this one is um, the owl that's in there, and mixed in with that, you've got the um, flowers. So you get them with it as well. Yeah. And that's done with pencil. And then we have the owl on the branch. So that's mixed in a couple of sets. And the trees in there. So you get yep. some trees in the mix as well. And that's done with pencil as well. And then this one's some um, scene building. So you've got Angelica White there, the unicorn. And, you know, the lamppost and the church. Well, the church could be wedding, couldn't it? Yeah. You don't have to put turn. And unicorns all year round. Definitely. And which which little girl or little boy wouldn't like a unicorn I popping like around? Unicorns. You I know, like come unicorns. round for tea. There you go. So, so that's just three of those. Yeah. Three flexi payments, thirty-six fifty-nine at your price there. Uh, I was going to tell you about seasonal girls. So what we try to do, uh, just for the benefit of anyone who might not have access to the internet, is show you all the sale prices on the show today. For instance, we have our seasonal girls coming through. So different options here. I will show you one of the options. So we've got spring, summer, autumn, winter. Here's our autumn going through. Wow. Look at these stamps. But wait, I mean, I'm thinking gel press. Oh, yes, definitely. Then you have, I mean, look at this. Ooh, beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So, uh, what, so is it, what season was this? Uh, it's summer. That was summer. I'm so sorry. I said autumn. That's summer. Of course it was. Uh, then let's have a look at autumn. So you have your main feature, which is here. And I actually remember doing this one with you as well. Yeah, yeah. So that is your autumn, but look at the detail, the colours we can go on to express. So think about your watercolours, your alcohol markers. Then we've got, love these. The are they cool the shrooms? <laughs> yeah, those are rich. We had the Espresso Mushroom Company on her channel at the weekend. You could grow your own mushrooms. Wow. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Oops, sorry, there we go. And then you've got your background. So um, I'm guessing that you've got your main feature stamp. Let's have a look at winter. So you have your main feature stamp, which is here. Then you have your filler stamps, your sort of worker stamps. Worker stamps, yeah. And then you have your background stamp. Yeah. That's just uh, winter. And then if we still got... Um, You've got samples behind you, Yanis. Yeah, I'm just going to show you spring. Have we still got spring? Sorry, spring's just sold out, so I won't show you that. But I will show you. Yeah, you need to see this. I'll show you this and then we get back to demonstration, but this is what we're talking about when you talk about quality of design. Look at that. Charmaine, your stamps are amazing. I'm such a I'm such a big fan of Dolly Dimple. The quirky out there. The quirky just, and the mix and match and the, my and the style. cross with each other. And uh, I think yeah, we've we've hit um you know, a mix of quirky, fun, yeah. you know, it's entertaining value it's, as it's well for me marketing. sitting and coloring yeah. but you can also do them in black and white mm. you know you don't you can make coloring books and give them to somebody else who yeah. wants to color so i just cool. i just like things to be fun and mix and match right we're going to right. continue our demonstrations right so here we go with a demo what i've done is i've jumped to another box which i've done with um what do we call 
with something that I call a UFO. So when I was on with the seasonal girls, I did this one on air and I have chopped her, this sounds really barbaric, I've chopped her down to make one of these suitcases. So the bit that's out the middle has been chopped into into two pieces, if this makes sense in a minute. Should we explain what a UFO is? <laughs> An unflying object. No, it's an unfinished object in my world. So uh, there's lots of different other quirky names that people give them, but mine are called unfinished objects and they're called UFOs. Mm -hmm. So this is a mechanism that joins the two pieces together. So the original picture was like, uh, not like that. <laughs> Don't glue it in like that, Charmaine. No, I'm just be dozy and new to a tea. Yes, sorry, I do mm -hmm. talk to myself. Um, there you go. So that is the picture. And this is the one that I did on um, here when I had the seasonal girls. Yeah. So she's left to one side and I have these unfinished pieces and I want to turn her into a box. Okay. So I've cut out the section that's going to be the mechanism and I'm going to glue that onto the mechanism, which is here. There we go. And then I will, yeah, adhere that one and adhere the mechanism so that the suitcase opens and closes. Now I haven't put on the other bits and pieces. So this piece that I'm doing here now is, is quite important really because mm. if you put it the other way, if you put it inside, your box won't open properly. Now you don't want your box not to open properly. Right. So you've got to have a nice hinge on that. So that piece is getting glued to there yep. and then I need to be careful on this one why would I want to do this on live TV <laughs> <laughs> oh, I challenge myself sometimes just waking up <laughs> here we go so the next one I've got to piece that together so that it looks picture perfect in yeah. my eyes there we go perfect. That looks pretty good. And that, is that going? Is that doing it? I think so. Well, it's okay. Well, we'll go with it. So this is going to be the hinge. The hinge is going to get glued to the box. So I turn the box on edge. So pretty much what I did with the other one. Got all my corners in, but I haven't adhered my corner pieces that I was showing you earlier. So I get my glue on the edge there and just... I probably at home I would use my fingers and then wipe it on my pants, but I'll be good girl and just use the comb and spread it. So, um... I would add that to that piece there and then I am going to close the flap so yeah. I don't know if this show would showing how I did this would still be running and um, catch up or not I I've got a nice email from Steve if you'd like me to read it. Oh, yes. You must show Steve O if he's watching. Yeah. Um, <laughs> totally forgot about this. Sorry, Steve O. Uh, obviously, I put these boxes up on social media yeah. and said I pack my case, yeah. um, <laughs> which they all think is far too small for my bits and pieces to go in. And there was um, some jokes and things going backwards and forwards. And would I fit my pencils in there? I said, no, I'd have to get a bigger van for my pencils. Yeah. Um, but which one I'm going to put my knickers in? Well, you can tell that, you know, I'm a chunky lady. My knickers ain't going to go in one of those boxes, but my undies are in the big box then. There you go. Yeah, so he wanted to know which one do I put my undies in. <laughs> we found out. And Beautifully. I'll, yeah. I'll just see. Oh, yep, they're in there. There we go. Oh, so that's where Charmaine keeps a spare pair of undies uh, in there. So big girl's panties are in the big box. Nothing wrong with those. Now, uh, Steve, I was saying good morning, Charmaine and uh, Yanni. Uh, and all the Hochanda family. Big hello to all the crew in today, uh, gallery and floor. We've got the lovely Shana on floor. There we go. We've got <laughs> Leslie <laughs> producing. I haven't worked with Leslie in ages. And lovely Holly uh, directing. We got to know Leslie at the NEC and she revealed a fact. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll put that again because Leslie hasn't been here for a while. Uh, so Leslie revealed, because we're talking about shoes, shoe size. So, and how tall are you, Leslie? So she's five foot three. How big do you think Leslie's feet are? Tiny, tiny feet? One, two. Size seven. Going for seven? Yeah. Going straight for seven? Going straight she's in five at seven. Three. Yeah, she's five three and she's got size, size seven shoes. Size nine feet. Nine? Nine. Oh, wow. uh, anyway, uh, so. <laughs> Yes, hello to team. Steve-O, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> okay. 
Now, uh, <laughs> while you are sticking down, uh, we have got, uh, I was talking about the fact that anyone who maybe can't get onto the website, let's have a little look. If we jump onto the website, uh, you can see all the sales prices that we have. They're in some incredible kits. So we had a look at Here Comes the Girls. We've got Under the Sea. Uh, we've got the Kimono Girls uh, there as well. So there you can see it, five-star reviews. Something else, and I'll talk to Charmaine about this uh, in a moment when we get back to Charmaine, but Charmaine, there is a real community with Dolly Dimples. I mean, it's, it's a... It's, it's a, a family business. It's, it's, oh, I say it's <laughs> a tribe. You get so many people who... Yeah. You, you, they just get your style of crafting. Yeah, it's like, well, we're on a personal level. I'm a crafter. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a crafter. I want things that are good value for money yeah. and that you can reuse and reuse and revisit and you can mix and match in with bits and pieces as well. But I am about the, you know, how you do it and how it works sort of thing so if there's you know you're struggling with something then people will come back to me and say how did you did do this now that i'm getting into doing like the facebook lives and things yeah. i'll revisit things i'm going to need to do an update in a minute so should we just finish oh. off here and then i'll yep. do a quick recap okay yeah. so get me pegs out so spend more time than me on gluing your bits and pieces together but you can see now that that is um, coming together obviously I need to be tidier on my corners there okay. uh, and, and hold the glue a little bit longer maybe I should have gone for the red line the tape but I w wouldn't want to advise you to do that on a box but it's handy when we're doing on yeah. TV if that yeah. makes sense okay so that would close up and I would have my corners if you want to do a recap while I, I get do. the corners in place nice. Uh, one thing we didn't tell you when we were having a look at our seasonal stamps is that you can go for the complete collection. So spring has just sold out, but you can go for the complete collection, which we're looking at here. So all of these beautiful stamps, 74 and 88, saving 45 pounds. I'm going to pop this down for a second, and I just want to pick. This is why I would want to go for the complete collection. These are the just a portion of the sort of main hero stamps that you're going to be getting in the release so 69 stamps in total you get your background stamps in there your worker stamps and of course your feature stamps in there so we've got winter autumn summer and spring aren't they beautiful spring stunning now spring sold out individually so you can only get spring as part of that complete collection but the good news is two flexi payments of 37.44 and you are saving a whopping 45 pounds awesome saving there uh, okay we can have a look at the embellishments now too so we've got embellishments again value for money here we're going to take a close look you can buy these uh, you can split them into two options so you can get effectively the top half or the bottom half uh, so sets now if you buy them separately 20 pounds a set if you buy them together for an extra four pounds 98 you are getting the complete collection and as we start having a look so should we start up here you look at the got this beautiful delicate ornate little leaf they're all metal embellishments we've got owls we've got butterflies coming through wonderful feather that's one then we're going to clocks now so steampunk you've got your clock uh, hands in the mix we've got little uh, cameras then we have our Alice with the rabbit and the key then we have more keys for you all metal embellishments coming through uh, dragonflies if you love your sewing you've got the embroidery needles uh, in there coming down here we've got mushrooms some more fantasy in the mix and then finally back to our Alice all of those embellishments and not only that with the complete collection so you're saving 15 pounds and you're also getting the ribbon in there as well so we're getting both sets of ribbon you're also getting the uh, embellishments in the mix 559 549 your item number I think you do get the ribbon with the individual options too but take advantage of that 15 pound saving 559 549 your item number uh, we also have kimono girls we have under the sea uh, we have our seasonal girls and the Christmas uh, and here come the girls as well and the Christmas collection right Charmaine what would you like to do next okay so well once I mean obviously that's all drying in position I will go back to that or I'll finish it off and in the next show I'll show the, the next steps so you've got these two pieces put in and you've got all your four corner sides put in after you've actually put the base in like I was just showing you there on the back side so remember your hinge always goes on the back side and then you can open it up and you can ink up the bits and pieces now to decorate the inside 
if I open this out, this is our mixed media card that I stamp on, I do my go gooey portions and things like that, and I've glued two pieces together, which are, if you want sizes, basically they fit from here to here and here to here like that, mm -hmm. and then they will hinge going backwards and forwards, and you can carry on and carry on as long as you want. You can add flaps and tags and things if you so wish. Mm -hmm. Here is one that was done with the Alice and it continues out going sideways so if I move that over so you can go sideways right, and we're gonna have the second half of that Alice collection as another happy hour deal at two o'clock so uh, I know Charmaine speaks to a lot of her fans out there on social media and a lot of people uh, who maybe missed out in the past said when's the Alice collection coming out so some are looking for the one day special that sold out this hour some of you are waiting for the uh, next hour, or oh, this could be your first time. You've got the first half of the collection. If you want to take advantage and get the full collection, we have another happy hour deal featuring the second half of the Alice release coming up at two. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to decorate um, the front of the box with the embellishments and I'm just going to sort of pile them up and mix in things. Now I can either mix in a little bit of Alice or I could mix in a little bit, I think I'm going to mix in a little bit from the kimono range. So this is from the kimono girls. Like um, and it could be plain and you could adjust it up but this is one of the stamps so I'm going to add these elements so I've stamped it and used glossy accents over the top so mm -hmm. rather than you wait for glossy accents to dry that's already done and I'm just going to jazz it up and build a little bit of a scene on the top and it's just a case of what I normally do is I'll pick bits and pieces up and I'll position them so this is from a die, but this is one of the background stamps that is in there as well. And I'll jig around. Of those embellishments. Can I you know we can hear them chinking, can't you? Yeah. They are. Oh, there you go. That's you what know, I wanted to hear. They're, you know, good you old metal embellishments. Metal embellishments, yeah. and you could you can make jewelry with these. There is a bunch of. It tells you how many embellishments you're going to get, but you also get a lot of the little um, pins as well. Brilliant. So you can mix them in the mix. So um, I've got just. Basically, little bits and pieces um, from the collections, um, with, mixing with my dies, so you've got die cut pieces in there, and just build up a little scene, and they all kind of mix and match together, and I need my glue stick to stay in the glue okay. stick. Now, Go we've got on. details for the embellishments on your screen. Just to remind you that if you wanted to get, because uh, the complete collection can be split into two parts, but each part would set you back £20. So the complete collection would be £39.98. Uh, but we're offering you a £15 saving if you do want to go for all 56 metal charms. You're also getting brads and you're getting the uh, six mil of cotton, oh, sorry, six mil, six meters of uh, the cotton lace there as well. So you're getting the lace, you're getting the embellishments, you've got brads in the mix too. All of that for $24.98. I think that's very good value for money. Right, so what I've got here is I've got the key. I want to make sure that my box will open and close. So I'm not taking it too far across the other one. But you could use it as like a closure if you so wished. Mm -hmm. So if this was going to be the front of it, it's just sitting on the top there. So something pretty to look at the front. And then I'm going to build up this area here. So if I take a little bit of the lace and um, it's 100% cotton so if you want to ink it or dye it you can do it's beautiful cotton lace and I'm just going to scrunch that up into almost like a sort of uh, rosette? yeah wow. a little bit like that but not as pretty as a rosette okay. but uh, we'll go with rosette sounds good and chop that so you can use your tiniest little elements great for edging up round bits and pieces so move you I'm going to add a little bit in there and I really need a new glue gun, but that's my problem. So just a little bit in there, which to me gives it a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to add this flower in. And if if I carry on with this, you want to do a recap where I get it piled up. Yeah. Just to let you know about the stamps, because uh, they are proving very popular. The Kimono Girls, we're just going to flash the details. If you do want to get hold of those Kimono Girls, there they are. 
beautiful character filled stamps. $45.94 your price, saving £20. Now, these were very pop popular last time Charmaine brought them to you. 773075, uh, your item number. Here come the girls. Uh, another incredibly busy stamp set this hour. And look at the savings. So, £27 saving. $45.93. You are getting. Now, what I do love about Here Come the Girls, and I will show them to you uh, live uh, as well in a moment, but all of these are characters from the design team as well. Uh, and there is a oh, look at the freedom price $44.94. So that's a £31.99 saving. Uh, we also have the Christmas Town, too. So this is our big, big saving is an absolute bargain 132 pounds you are getting all of those stamps coming through uh it's incredible 59 stamps in total now the actual collection how many how many stamp sets are we getting one two 22 22 22 stamp sets on my website individually the 10.99 each and they work out in that so 22 stamp sets would work out with our price uh oh it would be Five pounds something, I think. Yeah, I think they're working out less than five pounds. Yeah. We'll we'll just show you. I've forgotten here actually, and I'll give you the uh, the mass on that. Well, it's actually four pounds ninety around that region. Each. So that's less than half price. And this hey, is my mass did that. <laughs> So those are, I won't turn each one, I'll just show you, they are clear stamps. Because they're Dolly Dimples, you know the quality of the stamps that you're getting. Look at this for a complete collection, all 22. You're getting a beautiful thing, and they're all themed together. So so many stamps in total. Everything you're seeing on the front, these are the designs that you're going to get from the stamps. All work out at 4 dollars per stamp. Look at this. Beautiful, very, very busy on this. And also there is a uh, three flexi payments as well. So do take advantage of those flexi payments. Modern, I love that, ooh, that abstract tree that you're getting. Then we've got our snowman and our character. Lovely. Okay, uh, don't forget, we also have Under the Sea too. Uh, sorry, we've got the uh, seasonal stamp. So if you want to go through the seasons. Now, we lost spring individually, but with the complete collection, you're getting everything. 74 88 your price. You're saving £45, 276-607, your item number. Uh, and then we have Under the Sea for you. Just show you Under the Sea. I'm a massive fan of this set. The characters are incredible. Saving £51 there. £74.93 your price. £200, uh, so 752 your item number. And if you do want to go for uh, Here Come the Girls, you're getting all six of the fantastic girls, all based on the design team as well. So you're getting all of these. Okay, and we've got to get back to Charmaine. Brilliant, Charmaine. Sorry for that. I'm back. <laughs> Me. So I've been building it up and I've been fighting with my glue gun because I think I need a new one. It's just not working for me. Um, these little strings that you get from your glue gun, if you take um, a hair gun, a hair gun, your heat gun, yep. um, it gets rid of those so you don't have to go in and pick. So I've kind of built it up mm -hmm. and I'm jumping. If I want to mix the, the um, kimono girls mm. into my box, then I can... I've done like a concertina one, like we did oh, yeah. as kids with, you know, the little paper yeah, yeah. dolls. Now, she's going to be a wee bit big to go in my box. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, bless you. I'm going to chop your bottom end off, oh. not a head, because that would be a bit barbaric. The kimono girls on red paper with a white emboss would look incredible. They would indeed, mm. would indeed. In fact, as you say that, I do have... I do have one where a paper piece, so I stamped it on the paper kit that's yeah. on the website and embossed it and then cut, you know, so I've done it in red and I've done it in black, um, stamped and embossed it and cut out and mixed and match. So it does look really quite of, I don't know, the gold embossing sets yeah, it off, yeah. doesn't it? Very in keep. So I'm going to chop a bottom off right. with a pair of scissors, uh, mm -hmm. which I can't find, so I'm going to have to use my baby ones. Yeah. Oh dear. So. It might be a bit wonky, but I can sort that out later. So this is for demonstration purposes. Yeah. But there we go. So those can be used for later. And then I can add that to this box. I know that this looks more like sewing, mm -hmm. but it just gives you an idea Fashion. of what different things you can do. Mm -hmm. So then inside the box, I would glue that one, which would be ready for writing on. Yeah. And then we can open these up, and if you haven't decorated the other side, that's where your personal writing of journaling would go. Mm -hmm. And of course, you're not getting to know my personal. <laughs> 
And so that would be me inside and you could decorate on the outside. So that gives you an, an inside view of how I would do these bits and pieces. Uh, to, shall we have a look at some more of the girls' um, samples? Yes, uh, with the Kimono Girls, I've just got one here to show you. So that gives you an idea with the Kimono Girls and we have also oh, two flexi payments by the way on those, $22.97. Uh, Think about adding your own doodles into the mix or if you have any particular uh, papers that you think would work extremely well with those characters decoupage up really does work it's effective uh, now with regard to the cases so i just want to show you the journal cases you will be able to make 15 but what charmaine is starting to demonstrate is when you have i mean you could then inside start personalizing it and making your own so we can add some jewelry if we wanted isn't that nice? So that's the boxes, making 15 of those. But once they have all been made, then you can go on, as Charmaine's demonstrating so nicely this hour, and personalize. Think about the stamp sets that we're featuring. So what you have, if you wanted to create your own papers, the journal template allows you to make this beautiful uh, journal case. So the whole point is, it's a fascination of journaling, creating those pockets, uh, those layers of interest, but in a little case. I mean, how cool is that to give? I actually think if you want to give a gift card, what a nice way to present a gift card, Jeremy. Yeah, definitely. Oh. And, the, and the other thing about it is you've got a template, so not only do, are you restricted to those 15, you can carry on afterwards once they've gone with your own papers and your own cardstock. Doing something, I mean, okay. So this is where, as crafters, you can really come into your own. So that's from the flowers, so, so we've had the flowers on before. What? That is, that is amazing. Or? Or with the decoupage, so that's with the matching Christmas decoupage that's on the website. And two little, two little cards inside. Beautiful. They're so cute, aren't they? Stunning. <laughs> They're just that's so stunning. cute. <laughs> right, you got two minutes, shall we? Two minutes, okay. I think my glue, I'm, I desperately need a new glue gun, so I may have to uh, beg steal one. Okay, we'll Last time I was here, I stole a pen. Okay. But I didn't, I got it given eventually. Uh -huh. I went home with a flesh pen. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, nice one. So I think, it is not quite taking, but uh, if we get the corners on here, um, so I've got this, so you don't have to put the straps on, but if you wanted to put the straps on, oh, they're not there, but you can change the uh, bits and you can add the straps underneath. So one would go there uh -huh. and one would go up there. In fact, if I turn it that way, put your handles on first, pop these underneath, obviously yeah. it would be matching pink. That will go underneath, same again here, but I don't want to cover up these bits. And then your corner elements, and and uh, that's your box is done. Very, very mm. nice. We'll, uh, we'll sort you out a new glue gun for two o'clock. Yay! <laughs> I hope you. you've enjoyed this hour. Uh, it was a sales show. I apologize. I know I was talking a lot this hour. But if you uh, do have any questions or if you want to see anything particular, we could try and facilitate that at two o'clock. One thing to point out. So we did have a happy hour. It was the part it was first half of the alice collection it sold out very quickly we have the second half of that collection it's going to be another happy hour deal at two o'clock so if you've been waiting on that half do make sure to tune in or equally if you've just got the happy hour this hour and you want to get the full collection it's well worth tuning back in at two o'clock so thank you so much uh, for your company charmaine we've got to give a shout out if we want to post anything on social, on social media. media i'm on dolly dimples um, dolly dimples crafts um, Facebook page and um, also you can find me on um, Crafting Together with All Brands and that's a group like for everybody and loads of different brands are on right. there. Uh, just because we've got about a minute or so left and the design team have done such a good job, let's have a look at the design team because they're featured in Here Comes the Girls. So Here Comes the Girls is very busy. Who's this? Um, that one's Christina as it says on the top. There we go. <laughs> that's oh, Chris Christina. That's Christina. So, there we go. And then you've got Pamela here. And that's our Pam. She actually comes on um, a chanter as well for another company. We know Pam. Yeah. yeah. Then and that's Sam. Sam. You've worked with Sam. She's uh, demonstrated for me. Love Sam. She's yeah. lovely. Then we've got Sue. And then we've got our wonderful Sue there. She's the butterfly catcher. Princess Louisa. Princess Louisa Royalty. and the frogs are horsebound. <laughs> <laughs> she did ask and he is. He's a prince. Very funny. And then we've got our safari girl. And, and, and there's Sam, one of our designers. Yeah. 
Uh, and there is an extra 10% Freedom discount on this as well. So do take advantage of your Freedom member. Uh, Charmaine will be returning at 2 o'clock. What are we going to do at 2, Charmaine? Uh, mix it up a bit. Okay. Uh, another happy hour, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. so do make sure to tune in. Thank you so much, Charmaine. I enjoyed Thank it. you. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. So Dolly Dimples and Charmaine will be returning at Hochanda at 2 o'clock. I hope you can enjoy uh, You can join us. But don't worry, we've got plenty more coming up between now. Sam's back with Stackable Solutions and our lovely Paolo. It's our one-day special. Uh, Deflecto, then be your creative best with Cricket. And after that, Dolly Dimples uh, suits you journaling. So lots to enjoy here at Hochef. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects.
if you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. the one that's special and it is about storage and of course is the flag girl so we have got Sam in the building so lovely to see you and you it's been a while yeah it's been a long time when was the last time uh, February so it's been a few months uh, yes. but the great thing is that we still have got the quality the amazing versatility of the flag girl. Yes, I think we've got some new, since I was last actually in the studios you've got some new product which is it will be good to show you the new product with me actually here, not sat at home yeah, on Skype. It, it, indeed, yeah. It, it's always good to see it in, in life in the studio because when, one of the things with the flag show is like, well, you know, Charmaine, just before the show that like we were watching, she has got no affiliation with no. the flag show, but she chooses the flag to storage and actually the one day special to carry around her, her crafty goodies. Yeah, and I think that's probably one of the, I guess that's one of the easiest ways to promote a product is when someone that's got no connection with a company have chosen to spend their own money. Because I haven't, I haven't given her those products, so I'm, I'm assuming she's bought them <laughs> yeah, um, and she's using them and they're practical and they're, you know, she's getting the best benefits from using that product, which is the caddy. Um, yeah, that's a great... So in the one day special, we get four caddies. Yes, we do. So getting the four, um, the four caddies so you can get... As you can see there, there's the four stacked up. They're all linked with these grey levers that you can see locked in. So that is now one fixed unit. One of the best things about the caddy is the fact you can break it down layer by layer. So now you have four individual units. So if you only needed this one caddy with all your items in, you only take that one with you, you can leave the three behind. And there isn't storage like that where it's like a modular system and that's that's what we think is such a great aspect with this product. I mean, I love as well. We, I mean, I cannot talk and talk, talk about craft storage because I am a firm believer and always, and I've been, this is for years and years. I used to even run a blog called Craft Storage because I think we all spend this money into craft materials. And let's be honest, we spend money in it. Now, if we cannot find it, if we cannot, we cannot use it, therefore we will have duplicates of things, we will not be able to use them for our crafting, and this is why I think investing in the flag show is makes such a, it saves you money in the long run. Well, yeah, and I, I mean, you, you suppose, I mean, I, I don't craft as I've mentioned previously, but I'm always yes. surprised at how much the materials are, yeah. um, so for me it makes sense to put them in something that's going to look after them, but I think as well it's ease of use, so you know you can see all the clear canisters, so if you needed to get to your um, you know, your nice colourful pom-poms in there, yeah. you, know, you can quickly see them, whereas I'd say a lot of storage on the market is either the canvas bag type material, yeah. you know, it's a solid colour where you can't physically see it. So with this system, you've got the benefits of having large storage, but then you can also use even down to like a single canister. So if you only need the one yeah. canister, you just take that out and use exactly what you need. How many canisters do we get per uh, get caddy? Then? So you're getting four of the single canisters per level, so you're getting 16 in total. And then you also get four of the... Right way around, double. four of the double canisters as well within this uh, stack of four. You know, I, I'm, I'm the proud owner of a set of four. I, and what I do all, also all the time is the canisters. I, I use them in a different way of Leone. Leone towers the hers. I use them as they come in the one day special without the wheelbase because I tend to prefer them to just carry them in, in sets of twos, yeah. but also I use the canisters for embossing powders, for instance. Yes. So I have them on the shelf usually, and then when I have to pack away, I can put them onto the caddy. So that's my system, how it works for me. And this is one of the things that I love about the Flector, especially the one day special, is that no matter what sort of a storage crafter you are, this can be 
adapt it to your style, like, you know. And by the way, I need to tell you that the one day special, 40% of the stock has already gone. If you want yours, your item number is 903010. Uh, and of course, you have got the one, the FlexiBuy option that you can spread the cost in two payments of £24.98, saving £12. Right, I think we have got some issues with my microphone. Uh, is it okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Right, uh, sorry. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's just uh, because I, I just kind of wanted to make sure that the people could hear me. Good. <laughs> now, one thing question is uh, we have seen some crafters, <laughs> Leone, uh, you know that she has got uh, the you know the one day special and some. Now, can you add build it up? Can you add more and more of uh, to the? Caddies. Yeah, I think that was one of the reviews that we actually had a look at earlier online on, on your um, on the Hachanda website was that you can just add layer by layer. So you know you may you may get the four now and then you know if we're kind of back on in a few months time, um we probably will be, <laughs> you could then add another four to that. So you can you can just continue to build your stack as well and there's different accessories that work with the caddy as well. That's a very good point because I, I kind of rem seem to remember there was a long one for the ribbons as well. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. so there is that kind of, it grows with you so it could be the first time that you get a deflector as caddy uh, or it could be um, you know, maybe you have got like, I think Lottie and Leone have got about like 12 or 13 or 14. I don't know the number. I lost count. Mm -hmm. But they, they, that's this is the thing. It can grow with you. So you have got the visibility because you can see everything. We also kind of comment on the fact that it looks so stylish. Yeah, we, I mean, we, I mean, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be biased and say that I think it's a great product because I work yeah. for Flexo, but generally I think it's, you know, it's a nice looking product. You aren't going to mind having this. You know, kind of uh -huh. next to you, or have it. You know, if you do some of the crafting in the lounge, it's not going to look out of place if you got it next to the sofa or something like that. Yeah. The fact it's clear, it just you know, it's nice and clean. The white frame, clean lines again. And one thing you will see as we show you more of the Deflecto storage range is the colours, the colour Pantones. They all sort of match. So the grey that you'll see on the clasp ah, for the product that you've got yeah. complements the grey that we have in the handle. Now, for some people, they wouldn't care about that. Uh, no, I do. For some people, <laughs> really would. Um, so you can see the whole range is a family of products. You're going to know it's from the Flexi. Yeah, I, I, I love the fact that also it's kind of, we were saying about the white and the grey, so it's a stylish and it fits everywhere. But also, it's very much non-gender specific. Yeah, you know, I'm that. talking about non-gender specific. Uh, no, uh, of course you can use them for other things on craft. And I need to tell you that we are approaching half the stock of ready guns. If you want yours, you you have to decide basically whether you want to spread the cost or one-off payment. Now, if you wanted to, do a, if you, you are having a twelve a twelve pounds saving, whichever way you are gonna go for uh, whatever options, it works out at twelve pounds fifty, I believe, for per unit for carry. So that's not much at all. Also think about it, as, like a Christmas presents as well. It could be just the one caddy. Yeah, I mean, as, as long as they aren't watching the show <laughs> now, they'll never know. They'll think you've got them one caddy. They won't realize exactly. you've had four. Exactly, or two of them if you are yeah. feeling very generous <laughs> and then, you know, go for it. Now, of course, that is the one day special, but that's not all that the deflector, the deflector has going to show us. But, however, let's see it in action how it would work, the one day special.
And that, of course, is the one day special. But as I mentioned, we have got more products from the Flecto in this hour. Uh, we have got the multi compartment uh, storage case as well as the mini storage box. Now, uh, we all like to, well, we all have got the stuff in at home. And this is the sort of thing that it can be for all sorts of like DIY elements. It could be for knitting needles, fishing, it could be. And can you talk us about what we are getting, why uh, the design of it? Because they, I can see some features that are a little bit different from what you would expect. Yes, yeah, so with this product, you do, um, yeah, as you mentioned, there's a few little kind of really, like we think they're quite smart features on, on this product. So the lid, so even the lid itself has storage in the lid. So as you unclip those two um, kind of latches at the front, you've got a nice area for storage on the top. Now on the very top of that lid, we've even put something on the top of there where we've embossed a ruler, yep. which again is just another handy little uh, feature of this product. So that you know that kind of covers off the lid. There's there's three there's three lots of storage within this one storage compartment. So you've got the top, and as you unclip the lid, and those latches lock on nice and tight on the side. The handle folds flat when not in use. You can then lift the lid off. Oh, it comes off completely. So then you have got. So then you have the storage tray, yeah. which is our second lot of kind of storage solution um, within this one unit. And then underneath the tray, you've got a really good sized area for, um, for storing all sorts of stuff. Now, one of the things that we see, um, and I see it because it's in my house, is that we use these this particular product for storing like children's toys. So my oh, daughter's little, yes, little the models building. and yeah. things, you can put those in there, they fit in the top but also for children's arts and crafts. Quite often what you find is, is that when you buy a child's arts and crafts set, the materials, they're normally loose once you've taken them out, so it just makes sense to, to, to keep them, yeah, yep. store them all Absolutely. in there. Absolutely. Now, also, it's a very good point that you were making because about when you close it all up, so you have got, I love that the fact that the, the, usually the, um, the handle comes up even if it's just a little bit, yeah. so you cannot put anything on top no. or, or anything. That means that if, you, if I had another one, could I put it over the top? Yeah, it would be fine to stack another one on top. Obviously, there's no locking mechanism yeah. like we've got with the caddy, but you know, you are right. When you have that handle that's prominent, it's always there. It's yeah. sometimes difficult, but under something where that does fold away. Because this is kind of a, a kind of a flat surface, so hence what I'm thinking that would be much better for that. And I love that it has got that. So, like you were thinking, children's toys, perfect. But I'm also thinking, for instance, sewing. Uh, sewing, you always have got like the smaller elements. Like for instance, you have got uh, bobbins, so you have got like the needles. Yeah. Uh, if you are a machine, so let me do it properly. This is a little bit easier when you are, fr you know, you are doing it to f towards faces. you. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult when you're reaching over. Sometimes exactly, like, to, um... and I'm very short, so kind of reaching over there is <laughs> not the easiest thing. But you know, like those needles, the extra, yeah. you know, sewing needles, uh, you know, bobbins, uh, things like that, threads as well. And then, of course, you have got here, this would be perfect for f machine feed. Think about all those things, that you, or maybe brushes also. This for things like acrylic paints, and the, the fact that you can easily clean it. Yeah, so, you know, it is clear, so you still, well, it's, it's an opaque kind of finish, so you're still going to see the items that you've got stored in there. But you are right, you know, to keep that clean, it's going to be nice and easy. You can take take that tray out and give it a wipe down. It is. You want to do that. And then we have got with this bundle, and you have got the mini storage box, which is adorable. Does it have more or less the same the same features? Yeah, so it's basically uh, it's basically the this is the little brother of the uh, of the large storage that we've got there. You have the same features with the ruler embossed on the top. You've got the neat little storage in the lids. You undo the clasps on the sides. So it's the same strong clasp mechanism that you see on the larger product. And we've even added the little tray in there as well. So it's a mini version of the the large one and. You are getting both of them for that price as well. And I'll, so for twenty-eight pounds and ninety-eight pence, you're getting the large and the mini. Think about maybe this. I would put my, um, you know, golden mediums, the acrylic mediums that are very specific and they are well, not very. They are very, you know, high-end acrylic yeah. mediums. So you want to have them all together. So when you kind of go and create, you have I, I could have everything in one go. I also like I like the idea of having maybe the brushes in here. 
It is so many possibilities. Now, a quarter of the stock has already gone, so if you want yours, uh, check out those baskets. 078209 is the item number. £28.98 is the price with a saving of £6. Now, of course, we have got more products, and the one that we have got in front of Sam, I have never seen it before. How do you know? Well, I haven't seen it in a show. I know, I haven't. Okay. So, tell um, so me all is, about it. This is one of, uh, we've launched quite a few new products this year. Um, you know, they, we've just shown two. You know, this is another one that we've launched. This is the multi-stack storage. Now, the reason that it has that name, we've given that name, is you can actually, you can change the layout of it. So if you did want to put the large drawers at the bottom, or if you wanted to you know, take a drawer off and use it somewhere else, you can do. So that's the stacking feature of the product. The drawers do come out, so as, as we mentioned a moment ago, if you did want to give them a clean and a wipe, you can do. And if we spin this product round, you can actually mount it on the wall. That's, that's smart. So you see the lugs at the back, um, you know, just pop those yeah. out, drill, you know, drill those out, and then you'll be able to secure this product on the wall. I just want to turn it to the side as well to give you an idea of the size. I think, you'll, you know, when you get this home, you'll be surprised actually at how substantial the product is. So if you look at the drawer, um, I would pass you this to measure on yeah. the ruler <laughs> embossed in there. But it's, it's around about six or seven inches in depth and across the front of yeah. the product, it's around about 30 centimetres as well. So it it's really a, is... A it's a very product. nice size. I'm thinking also if if I'm obsessed with everything fitting into storage and the pre furniture sort of storage that I have. So you say about thirty centimeters across. Yeah. So probably will fit into a cube. Yes, furniture, I know yeah, one. yeah, yeah. You know. uh, that do. flat pack, you know, Swedish furniture store that has got the yeah, cubes. Uh, no, the reason I always mention it is, of course, because a lot of you do have it, like I do, have got so many of them. Uh, and I'm thinking this will look amazing as well, very stylish. I love the fact that you can hang it onto the wall. Also, for of, on top of the desk. You know, it's yes, easy. we see it used. Um, we've had pictures sent in to our offices of it being used on a dressing table, so you could put your makeups, perfumes, yes. nail, um, nail polishes, absolutely, and then like your tools and accessories, <laughs> and brushes, and all the stuff I know nothing about. Could oh, go you in the know all about it, well. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Secretly. Now I'm just thinking the, yeah, I'm th thinking, you know, all the bronzers. I'm thinking uh, uh, the drawers, for instance, you could have, you know, the mascaras and things like that. So it can be incredibly sophisticated as well. Now I would multi-buy these again for a present for Christmas because that could be like, if you multi-buy, like, you can have then customize it depending yeah. how you like it. And then uh, £21.99 and pence for all three of them. I really, really love these ones. Uh, 059292 is the item number. I just kind of thinking that it will look really nice, a few of them, you know. And stacked that up. Yeah, stacked yes, up. Yes, we have about like eight in the office, all stacked oh, up with the, uh, with the ones on top. Yeah, I kind of imagine. Imagine that with crafting a stash or makeup or something like that. Ooh, beautiful. Right, and now we have got the three tray crafters storage box next. Now, this one, again, I don't think I have seen it in real life. Can you tell us more, Sam? So this is, um, again, this is another one of the new products that we've launched um, this year. This is our, I guess you could say this is like a premium storage box. So this one has got lots of lots of different features within there. Um, you know, it's a sizable product, it's nearly 40 centimeters um, in width. Yeah. There's around about, I think there's probably about five different, four or five different storage compartments within this one unit. So okay. as you've shown at the back, We've right, got so the neat, uh, sorry, on the lid. Yeah. We've got the neat little area, quite, quite a large area at the front. Then at the back of the lid, you've got the two little areas as well at the back, as we're just showing you there. So, you know, great for kind of buttons or just smaller needles yeah. or be great for DIY as well. And you have that nice clasp lock, lock system on the front. And as you open this out, you also have the three pull-out trays oh, as well. Oh, I like this. One Look the, at the surprise of that. I like. One of the great things with this product as well that you know that we feel and we're particularly proud of is that you can customize the space within there so you can actually take out the dividers in the oh, top. Oh, I see. Yeah. There. And yeah. 
So if I put it like this, so you can see it. So you can say, oh, well, we have got a video, so we can show everything in the. But you can see this one, so you can see that. You can see it, that I can take. Take the dividers out. Absolutely. Change the size of the space. So I'm going to put it then properly, because I want to make sure. And then you can put it. Oh, this is so cool. I like this, because you're kind of thinking, again, pens, markers, paints, especially as a paint um, tray. That would be amazing. Right, apparently we do have got that video that showcases everything. Uh, but, I, uh, you know, if, if I give you the details, 556-907 is the item number. And, of course, the price, £29.99 is the price. So here, let's, let's have a look. That was a really informative VT. Now, of course, we have got the, uh, no, more products, and we have got this is perfect for artists, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, so we put this together as a bundle. So you're getting the art box, which is great for your longer paintbrushes. Nice little feature on this product as well. So you've got the snap function on the lid, keeping the items nice and secure mm -hmm. in there. And then we also have. We've added in the end of there some foam pads. Now, the reason we've done that okay. is just to prevent any damage of your brushes, just to protect the ends of them instead of them being bashed up against the plastic. That's, that's There's a little cushion. Attention cushion to foam. detail. Again, you've got the ruler embossed in the top in inches, which is just an, you know, a nice little feature to have there. And then we've also got the paint saver. So again, this is one of our products that we've launched this year, and it's proved really popular. So you're getting the smaller version of the paint saver. We're going to show you a larger one in just a moment. So you have 17, you 17 wells in total in there. Now, what I want to uh, kind of draw your attention to is the rubber seal around the outside of the lid. So once that's closed and locked, that acts as an airtight seal, and it helps prolong the life of your paints whilst in there. You also get a handy little mixing palette as well that sits in the top of the lid and yeah I think that's a great little bundle. It is a lovely bundle for £13.99. Again, I'm thinking this is a great present. Uh, you can split them up or keep them as a bundle. I love the palette. I have to say, I have got the larger one, but I kind of now want to come on to the smaller one as well. I want yeah. them all, you know. <laughs> now, because I think that uh, for, I love this smaller uh, area for me, maybe acrylic paints or a mi mixing mica powders, you know, kind of all those different things. And the fact that closure, closure is it and yeah. then you have got a, co a complete seal it means that it will prolong the life of your paints so exactly. again saving yeah. you money hence paint saver yeah exactly <laughs> paint saver yeah exactly i mean uh, 13 pounds and 99 pence is the price 592229 is the item number then of course if you prefer the, uh, the palettes to be very large we have got the painter's companion because this is the one i have got and i adore it i just think it's it's the, the fact that you have got in here uh, again the same system isn't it that you have got the rubber all around it and it keeps keeping it of course in perfect 
uh, you know, uh, how you would say it? the moisture it keeps it uh, perfectly. So if you have got acrylic paints or watercolor liquid uh, watercolors, this is phenomenal. Also, I would imagine even oil paints you could use in here. Yeah, so both products, the, the smaller one that we've shown you a few moments ago, we'd say that's great for oil and water-based products. And then this one for acrylic. Yeah. And acrylic oil and water, just because it's a little larger, and yeah. some acrylic paints are a bit um, yeah. Well, bit thicker, for instance, a lot of us like texture paste uh, to put through a stencil. So texture paste usually come either white or clear, and then we mix them with powders with pigments. Now, what happens is that uh, you do that, and then where do you store them? Then you yeah. kind of all end up not using it all and throw it away. Whether you can have a little bit and then close the lid, and then the yeah. next day still you can use it. Of course, you have got the four lids and then we have got of course this is a paint tray but then we have got the this one is the, now when I saw it I thought okay and then I started looking at it I clo look at closely and I thought it's genius genius well I remember I think one of the things that you uh, said that your dad had told you about how you dry paintbrushes so I I, I always refer to that now because find the closest <laughs> thing that I know to an artist so yeah, um, but absolutely. yeah so you do have to dry your brushes on the side which is why you know when you look at it you might think well it's just a bucket it's not a bucket there's a lot of thought yeah. and innovation that's gone into this uh into this, this painter's it, companion this um, is. you've got the little drip tray at the front for when you want to kind of rest your brush you've got three really good deep wells in there for cleaning your paint brushes out as well it, I just think uh, that is such a genius project product. Also, what when, uh, one thing that a lot of our demonstrators use it, they have bought it and they use it, is because it's a, it's a wider base. Sometimes yeah. we we are clumsy. Well, some of us a lot more than others. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's having a wider base. It means that it's more solid when it's filled yeah. with water rather than a glass that is easily knocked uh, knocked down. I think the and handle as well. The fact you can carry it. Whereas when you say, I notice a few people using the jam jar with the water yes. and the brushes, or you're asking for trouble with that. Whereas with this, you've got the handle, and if you do buy two of them, yeah, um, they will slide into one another. So when they're not in use, you would be able to slide another one. If you look at the bottom of that product, you can see the way it's cut out. Yeah. that would sit over the top. That is inside the other one as well. Everything is always a well thought, and also again we have got the white and the grey that is so yeah. stylish throughout. Uh, Thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. It, this is if you don't if you only buy one thing today, um, you know, from the flatter, you know, and you're thinking, well. I just would go for this. I mean, honestly, for thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, it's just such an affordable price. So useful. Uh, you are saving three pounds, and your item number is one two eight six eight nine. And it's there. Is other products that we want, but of course, is and the one day special also that we want. So we have got sixty percent of the stock has already gone. We are incredibly busy this hour, and you know what? It is, of course, uh, you know, the reflector, the quality and the versatility. Now, I need to mention the extended delivery. This patch date from the 23rd uh, um, to 1, so 21st. <laughs> I just like I couldn't hear that third uh, that first 21st of September uh, right and the uh, of course I mentioned the, the item number 903010 is your item number 60% of the stock has already gone and we started at 40% this hour so to, you know it is incredibly busy so please do check out your baskets right and then we have got can I say another of my favorites you say that about everything, so no, no. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to know which one which one really is your favourite, okay, what I'd like well, to know. I mean, it's like children, you cannot choose one, you know, <laughs> and not that I have any, but um, <laughs> I have to say, I, I, I'm the proud owner of three sets of those ones, and it's just, it's, it is phenomenal, it just looks so good, and can you tell us exactly what do we get? So, this is our, so you're getting the complete set that you see here. So there's two individual products that we've bundled together just because that they work so well together. So you're getting the three individual stacking trays. So you can use that on its own if you wanted to do that. There's a little rubber feet on the bottom. Now this just gives a, a little bit of security on the counter when you've uh, got it there to prevent it sliding around. And you're also gonna be getting the three drawer large 12 by 12 units as well 
So the drawers do come out. So if you're like um, Paolo and you've got this stored in your flat pack shelving system at <laughs> yes, home indeed. and you want something out of the drawer, you yeah. don't have to take the whole thing with you. You could just take the drawer. The one thing that, um, you know, as I have as I keep mentioning is you, you are spending a lot of money on materials to enable yourself to do your hobby and kind of, you know, create the creations that you do. 12 by 12 paper isn't, it's not cheap to no. buy, so it makes sense to store it nice and secure and keep it well looked after, and this is a great, this is a great product for that. Yeah, I mean, I personally, I, as I said, I'm the proud owner and I love them. I just use them for different ways. I mean, I use, yes, 12 by 12 papers, but also, for instance, a couple of weeks ago, I was doing some shows that it was a Studio Calico, and it was uh, papers, it was stamps, it was uh, ink pads. So I had, just in one drawer, everything fit there. So it yeah. kind of is almost like a project drawer. So all the things that coordinate were in there. Uh, the other thing I love is I store my ink pads as well in there. So they fit really nicely. So I maximize the space. Now, if you wanted to go, say, just for the draw, the trays, you can go for them individually. So you can will get uh, the three of them. Uh, so for £20.99. and pence. Again, I love that you can separate them. So yeah. because, uh, for instance, I have got two now separate from another one. So I have it, you know, slightly in another shelf. I know it's just um, random. Uh, but you can do that if you wanted to. 695-301 is just for the three trays. If you wanted to go for the three uh, drawers, which I recommend as well because they are fabulous, they look so good as well. Uh, 29 pounds and 99 pence with a saving of seven pounds, 098553. The other thing is that we were talking about, because it does fit in that flat pack furniture yeah. cube unit, is that you could have that like I have got these cubes on uh, in the living room you can I could have this and have inside you know fabrics or bits and bobs and it, lo it would look really nice well I think you know the, the products you know, I think it isn't just for arts and craft I mean and, and as you said with more of us working at home now this is going to look nice on a desk with your different different things and that you need for the day um, no, I think all the products that we do offer are real, you know, really stylish looking products. I love how, I love that it's transparent and also I like the chrome looking, um, you know, knobs that you have got because they, they means that it just looks so, um, I don't know, stylish, I guess that's the word in that. Now, of course, you could have in here maybe molds for things, like you can have like, well, um, we have got the, what do you call it, silicone molds. So, it's difficult to store them, so you can yeah. see all of them. So then, of course, that kind of gives you that ability to do. Oh, I think we have got an image that one of our, oh, oh, I see. All right, so of course, you have got uh, the FlexiBuy option uh, to buy it, two payments of 22 pounds and 99 pounds. 367901 is your item number. Now, with that saving of five pounds, I do recommend that. Then we have got, um, I like this. I like this as well. I, I do use it. Uh, this is, a, you have got a duo and you have got a tablet and the smartphone. Can you tell us more about this, Sam? So you are getting both of them. Um, for that price, you're getting the smartphone holder and the tablet holder. Um, and I think these are two products that, I, you know, I would, I would imagine everyone um, would know someone that would use these products. The fact they fold down so flat, you know, as you've just demonstrated, and how easily they fold out. They're, um, you know, I think I think what's great about them is they're they're a good price, they're well built, and the fact they do fold flat, they travel really well. So if you were popping that in your handbag or kind of work bag, a laptop bag, they're just a handy item to have around. And so many of us now either watch things online or we follow recipes, or I know. You, know, you guys have the craft along yeah and it's easy if you've got the item you're trying to view or watch at the correct viewing angle not lay flat which you know with the tablet and the smartphone there it demonstrates that perfectly yeah, it, I, I think this is a very, it's, it's the sort of thing that I have got in my living room because it's the sort of thing that it doesn't take at all the space. It can be like on a shelf and it's just nobody notices. But then like for instance, uh, for instance, I use it when I do, a, a, my family, all my family is abroad. So whenever I, you know, for the last, uh, since Christmas, the only way to see them is through a Skype or, you know, FaceTime or whatever the other, you know, kind of 
video calling system. And this is proven so amazing because I can just have my phone or my tablet. I can do, you know, you can do uh, that sort of video calls and then you can see it, read it as well. So it's a phenomenal. Also, if, like you were saying, working from home sometimes like we are using the music system or whatever yeah. so at the same time we are working so to have that on the side year, is yeah. really really nice now half the stock has already gone 12 pounds and 98 pence is the price for both of them and remember that you are not getting the tablet or the phone included in that just want to make sure i love that it clicks and then of course you can have them like this again presents for christmas this can be a stocking filler that is be a good one. Yeah. And if I if I get that, I will be pleased. <laughs> yeah, Even though I work at the place. Exactly, so. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Well, the thing is, you can never have enough because you could have one into the living room, one in the bedroom, and one in the kitchen, and uh, mm. one in the handbag as well. I've always got the a handbag same. on me, so yeah. I will pop. Like, yeah, no, they are good. And I think you're right. Great for children. I think they're great for all ages. To it use is. It. Also, I use with books. I have used it with books, not just the tablets. Anyway, twelve pounds and ninety-eight pence for both of them. Three zero nine and zero nine two is your item number. I just kind of have to swim because the numbers are like the screen is quite a bit, a bit far. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's that? Anyway, let's go into the mark buds. Uh, now, this works with the one day special as well. Yes, you're getting, you are getting both of them. Each pot holds up to 20 markers, or it could be 20 paintbrushes. Um, you, you can use them with the one day special. If I just turn it round to the correct. There we go. So you can see there. You can see the image. Um, yeah. You can see the image of how you would stack them into there. So they're roughly the same size. I'm just going to grab a single canister oh, to show yeah. you. So the same size as the single canister. So you can see that they would easily locate on the top of the unit. And yeah. as if by magic, we now have the, uh, yeah. the stack here to show you. So you yeah. can see that would sit nicely in the top. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to stack on top of that. Yeah. Um, but I think if you have that at the side of you, or if you've got you know a, a really good size stack, it's a great way of keeping your work surface nice and clear, and you can still use yeah, the benefits nice. of that within the caddy. Uh, I use mine to store. Um, well, people will know Phil Martin's beautiful watercolor pens. Um, what I found that is, I, I also see them on the side, so you can store them. So some pens want to be stored or. Uh, uh, horizontally and because you have got the silicon uh, element in there yeah. that means that of course it kind of stays in prepared perfectly yes yeah, so when we look at the silicon inserts on this particular on the lockable marker um, it does grip onto there as well so we just to show you that yeah. very quickly yeah. and see that the rubber in there We'll Pulls just give a little, little bit of bites. Yeah. If we were to angle them down, and obviously I'm not going to tip it over because they're not locked in, but you can see that just helps a little bit. It does. I mean, I found out that because I kind of, again, I'm on, in, you know, going in, coming out, you know, kind of all the sort of thing. And the pens have stayed really nice yeah. and neat, even though they have no lead. Exactly. So, so I kind of really recommend it as well for use. Uh, now, if you have gone for the one that's special, makes sense to add that 11.98. And then also remember that the if you, the one day special has got the flexi buy option. So if you added that to the uh, the basket, you could flexi buy any items that you put in the basket at the same time. And talking about the one day special, here it is, and that flexi buy option. The details are on the screen at the minute. Now, Sam, for anybody who's joining just now, what it is the one day special? So you're going to be getting um, the four Deflecto caddies. So I'm just going to say a little bit about Deflecto. I won't spend too long on that. So we celebrated a 60th year in trading um, around about three, probably three weeks ago. So we're a well-established company. We're well known for making quality products all over the world. And the Deflecto caddy is, is a best-selling arts and crafts storage solution. And it really is a solution. And that, that's how I want you to look at the product is it is a solution. There's lots of accessories that you can add with this. Um, you know, there's a wheelbase that goes on this, which hopefully we'll have back on our next show. Um, there was an accessory that went in the top that yeah. sold out in our first show. Yeah. But I think because it is such a versatile product, it really does act as a solution for storing your craft or home DIY or kind of children's Absolutely. toys, modeling clays, building blocks. Yeah, 
Now, uh, what is the one question? We have got a question. It's like, well, we have got this tower, especially maybe some people who are thinking, well, they are multi vying in this. Thinking, well, I want to access the bottom tray. How do we do it? Does it take, do we do have to take them all out? No, so the, the gray levers that you can see running down the side of the product, so they're folded in the handle when not in use. If you just unlock the level above where you need to get to, you can then lift the top three off and then you can get to the canister that you want. And the fact that the canisters come out, the fact you can use it layer by layer, and that's why I say it really is versatile. So if you only need this level with you to go to a crafting workshop, or if you want to take this to a room in the house, you can do that. You could then leave that on the floor or next to you and take a pod out and only take the items that you actually need. You haven't always got to carry around the fixed unit. Uh, that's, a, that's a very good point. I, I think we talked about it last time you were here because I, for instance, my car has got a very big berth, but it's not, it's very shallow. Yeah. So any craft storage that I had in the past, I had to put it in the back seat rather than in the boot because it, it was too, 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 too tall. Yeah. But this, I can, un, you know, put them into the layers so then I can, yeah, it does, yeah. it's not layer as deep. Layer by layer. And I think that's what proves really popular with this is the fact you can break it down layer, layer by layer. You can customize the storage um, you know, to how you want. So if you wanted to take that one out and put it into there, you know, you can do that. So you can mix and swap the canisters around. We've also got a, a mounting bar that goes on the yes. wall where you can actually hook these canisters on. So it, this isn't a one-dimensional storage item. Yeah. Uh, now, the mounting bar, I have got a question. It, I think it's an end of call item, which means that when you go to check out online, or, uh, they will say, Why, what about these ones? And basically, you do not pay P, a PMP for it, but it kind of, it's, it's just under, I don't know how much it is. Let's have a look at the website, because uh, then you can see it, uh, how much it is. So you put something on the website, so you put maybe, um, we are added to the one day special to the, to the basket, and then when you go in, you kind of say, check out securely how about free delivery add-on so for five pounds and 49 pence you can add that mounting bar that of course as Sam was talking about that is 22 inches and that means that allows you to have it now Sam I'm thinking because I know it sounds a little bit silly but but this is perfect for those areas like corridors or maybe people's into maybe underneath the stairs yeah that wasted space that we could have the mountain bar and then the canisters over there. Yeah, so it's be good for the, um, you know, it's good if you've got like you're right in that areas where you can't necessarily get, you know, like yeah. a whole unit in there, but the mountain bar just enables you to, just enables you to be able to hook them on basically. Yeah. Um, I just I'll quickly, yeah. I very quickly bring it in just to show you for a quick few seconds. So this is the uh, this is the mounting bar right way up always helps. You do get the fixings um, with the mountain bar, just make sure that the raw plug is suitable for the wall yeah. Yeah, you're going it's, into. It's, yeah, I kind of like that. It's and then these canisters, obviously perfect. you won't have the wrapper on there, you can see they just hook over. Perfect. So it proves really popular. It is. Um, for me, again, it's, it's really, I love the idea. I love the idea of having maybe over the uh, you know, if you have got your table, your working table against the wall, you don't want things that, you know, on, on the wall that take too much space because obviously you're losing. So having the mounting wall, uh, mounting wall bar, I would go for a couple of them. And then so you can have them just at arm length as well. And then whenever you need to, you can just put them onto the caddy. Right, uh, if you want to go for the one day special, 903010 is your item number. You are saving 12 pounds and you're paying 49 pounds and 96 pence. Now it will be dispatched from the 21st of September. Now I got it, the number right. And of course you have got the flexi by option of two payments of 24 pounds and 98 pence. And it's a great way because you open that flexi by op option and then you can put maybe uh, put other items like we are gonna see now. But I would be quick because approaching two thirds of the stock has already gone of the one day special right and then we have got in front of us our uh, fabulous now uh, we have got these gorgeous multi car apartment storage and caddy boxes quickly we are going to mention what you are getting you are getting both the large one and the small one don't you know? yes so they have the they have the same design features um, just the one is almost double the size of the mini one so you got three lots of storage you got storage in the lid 
you've got the storage tray and then you've got the main area in the box and the large storage underneath that tray and you can lock it all back together with the two really strong clasps on the side there's one either side of the product you can hear that locking in so you know you you really know that is it's well locked in. yeah and the mini one is exactly the same same so concept so exactly. you have the two clasps on the side the storage in the lid and you've got the storage tray in there as well as the space underneath that. And, and I, lo I love the way that they match uh, together but also they kind of a perfect stand alone and I love the way as well that you can, I just thinking um, you know how some children kind of like to have this exactly the same things that the dad or their mom have got? Yeah. So this could be a really cute present for, you know, this is for dad or for mom and this is for you know for the child as well so they yeah, can that's a cool idea. To, to learn as well yeah. to store and to, to look after their things uh, I think it's a really cool way of um, you know just go for it because it's 28 pounds and 98 pence with a six pound saving 078209 and you remember that storage I think it saves money and time at the end of the day make sure that you get and to, you reach what you are looking for and I think we do have got a VT about them Now, of course, the, the heart, you could see some elements of cricket, which, by the way, we have got um, at the end of this hour, there is an hour of cricket. And this is the thing, deflector products are designed for one product, from one idea, but then there are so much more that you can use them for, including, you were talking about, um, oh, sorry, we are going to go to some first. That's it's okay, you carry on. I, I, I'm more than happy to listen to you. <laughs> oh, no, no, let's go to Sam. Let's talk us about the product that you have got right, in so front this of you. One, um, this is a multi-stack storage, mm -hmm. so it's a three, three layer mm -hmm. stacking storage organization system. You've got the nice open clear top. Um, so we see these being used in kind of bedrooms, in craft rooms. So if you imagine um, a dressing room or bedroom, your different makeups or in a, a child's bedroom with their different sort of toys, little yes. playing cards, mm -hmm. all of those sort of things. Then you've got the clear, well, sort of the opaque drawers um, beneath. All of these do come out. So you can yeah. see, give that a nice clean. And just want to mention the size of this product. You know, it's around about 30 centimeters wide by about 20 centimeters in depth. So, you know, you sort of, you aren't going to be disappointed when you get it home. It, it's going to be a sizable product. Once you uh, open the box, you're going to be really pleased with it. The fact you, sorry, yeah, the fact you can uh, wall mount it as well. Um, so if you did want to put that on the wall, or if you were thinking for your craft room, or shed, or garage, it will work great in there as well. I, I, I just think that this is one of those ones that also the idea that it stacks up and you buy it today and then maybe in, when next time that Sam is back you could buy another one and then you just kind of build it up yeah. again. £21.99 is the price for all three of them and 059292 is your item number. You have saving an £8 as well in there. Now are we going back to the... Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> just double checking because <laughs> I got very carried away. Uh, this is it's just I got got very carried away because it was the first time that I actually was handling this one because I had seen it from far away. It is 
Well, uh, the ruler here says from 0 to 14, and there is 14 and a half. So basically, I would say that this is about 15 and a half inches, in probably. Yes, so great for your, I know you mentioned about the knitting, yep. you know, the long um, needles, but also for longer paintbrushes as well. And I think for the needles, that would be amazing because, of, of course, you have got the foam at the bottom. So if you have got the pointy, the, the sharper end, that would be uh, really cool. I also think that there are other things like markers, brushes, but also I'm thinking, um, what is it, ribbons. You know, like, like l you can then fold them like this, kind of on two wheels. So they can be really, really nicely and neatly done. Also, stickers. Uh, when you have got the stickers, like especially words and things like that, when I keep them with their packaging, but then it's hard to find them. So here, especially when they are just words. Yeah. Um, so if you have got alphabet die cuts as well, they are really, there's lots of different ways to sew uh, things here. And then we have got the paint saver. And I love that. It's, it's such a clever, I love that even you have got that, uh, that extra palette in there as well. And then you have, the other. and even, the fact that you have got that corner, so you can easily take yeah, it, out. it out. Yeah, so that you know that's great for kind of mixing your paints. If you're you know trying to um, experiment with some different colours, you, know, you can do that. The fact it comes out means that you can just run that under. Um, yeah. I want to say run that under a tap. I'm assuming it's okay with oil based. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, under a tap. Uh, I think oil, oil. You need to have a kind of a turbine uh, Yeah, okay. and then you have got something go. else. But, but Thank you for correcting. <laughs> no, 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 that's all right. <laughs> uh, Thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. Five nine two 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 nine is the item number. To be honest, my father put it there, um, puts it under the tap as well. So you know, but it's just a complex, uh, complex thing. Uh, but then we have got the bucket there as well. I it's love. Not a bucket. I know. Sorry, I, I it's got a painter's it. companion. I'm painter's com not a sorry, sorry. <laughs> you're you're, you're going to upset people that work at head office calling it a bucket. They spent years creating this. It, it's, it's, yeah, I'm being told <laughs> off. I'm just like, you know, yeah, shut up now. So um, the, the painter's companion, which does look like a bucket, but it's a lot better than a bucket. So you have these cutouts in the handle. Now that's been designed specifically for enabling you to, to rest your brushes on there. Now, as we know from um, Paola's dad, that's the way yes. you have to dry your brushes, is lay them on their side, and that's why we've designed the handle that well. And then also there's three really deep um, kind of areas for you to clean your brushes. There's a little bit of a drip tray um, on there as well, so if you were in the middle of something and you wanted to rest your brush down, you can do that. It is a really also the other thing I, I think uh, that drip thing I uh, kind of think is very important because sometimes when you are loading your brush you have got too much water or too much pigment and you want to squeeze it out a little yeah. bit but if if you do it against a harsh uh, line sometimes you you do it very unidirectional so when you have got it both sides you have got a much more even um, yes, so so of it. Yeah. so it's not a bucket it's a painter's companion thank and you. of course you are also <laughs> no thank you for correcting me and also you're <laughs> getting the paint train uh, that of course with a saving of three pounds 13 pounds and 98 pence is the price one two eight six and eight nine is your item number and of course it has got it yeah it's just really great to have it for a larger project and especially texture paste and of course a stencil paste right we have got of course the beautiful the stackable uh, storage trays as well with the drawers that comes in 45 pounds and 98 pence it gives you three of the trays and three of the drawers this is a thing of beauty. It is because it looks so good, but of course, for storing your 12 by 12 pa pa pages and so, many, so much more. And of course, the, the little details make it a lot of the sense. Now, if you wanted to go for just a, a stack of all trays, you can go for a set of three, 29 pounds or 99 pence, a saving of seven pounds, 098553 is your item number. Now, if you want, but it works really well to go for both of them because it fits in perfectly in a cube. <laughs> <laughs> Which you, you've done a great job with that. I remember, I think you've shown me a picture yes. of your, it's very organized, I was very I, impressed. I, I kind of, and it looks so good as well. It makes it look so organized. It, I know where everything is, but also it looks good. And I think for storage is that marriage of versatility, use, usefulness, as well as looking good. Three, six, seven, nine, 901 is your item number. You have got a flexi-buy option as well, two payments of £22.99. 
but of course the start of the show is the one day special which is of course is in front of Sam uh, now we mentioned that you have got in here four caddies when we refer to the caddies you mean the tray that contains yeah so we just to confirm we class that as one deflecto caddy so you are getting four of those in total you're getting the 16 clear canisters within the one day special so you're getting 16 of these canisters just to give you an idea of, of size these are around about four and a half inches um, cube you can fit up to the distress oxide pads oh yes you can get a good seven or eight of those in there so just to give you a reference uh, for the size of those they're a great it's a great size product so you're getting 16 of those and you're also getting four of the double sized canisters as well they all interlock into the white frame you can also move them around so if you wanted to I know, put this one on another level you can do that so it's, it's a modular storage solution and that's the key word is it's, it is a solution it's not just storage it's uh, not just a storage but it makes it life much easier uh, you have got a flexible option there remember the item number is 903010 the flexible option means that you would only pay 24 pounds and 98 pence if you're a freedom member if you are if not then you pay P and P thank you so much Sam of course you you are going to be back at four o'clock with I Fiona. Yes. So we'll see more, of course, of the amazing deflection in action. Uh, do check out your basket, so do not miss out. Well, after the break, as we uh, hint, uh, we have got Be Your Creative Bus with Cricket, then Dolly Dumple says you journaling, and then May to Surprise Terrific Towers. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stam Haddocks. We'd started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. 
We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. And a very good afternoon to you. Here we have the fantastic Cricut Maker in action. And uh, we have got a brand new bundle for you today because not only does this bundle have the brilliant and beautiful Cricut Maker, but it also comes with the mat, with the tools, or with some cardstock, with some vinyls, iron on, with the felt and the fabrics, and also the mini easy press. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And we've got that on flexi buy payments, three flexi buy payments of £175 and some pence there because it went too quick for me. Uh, you can have a one off payment of £525 and 38 pence also. Uh, but we've got the Cricut Maker there going next to our lovely Emma. Good afternoon, mm -hmm. Emma. Hello, good Yay. afternoon. She's, she's back, she's back. Yeah. She's our Emma Jules. She's our, our, our <laughs> expert there, our crafty extraordinaire there with the Cricut. And uh, what, what, what are you cutting there? Can you let us know? Yeah, we're cutting a piece of cardstock just mm -hmm. so we can see that in action. Um, it's about 50% done, so we'll have a look in a little bit. Great what stuff. It's up to. Yeah, and we're using the mat there, which does come with the machine. Now, sorry, that was £175.13, three flexi buy payments. I can't remember the 13 pence. So, while that's still cutting, let's talk about this brilliant bundle, Emma. Yes. Uh, because, yes, we've seen the cricket before. Yes, we've seen configurations of bundles, but no, we've not seen it with the mini maker there. The mini <laughs> yeah. press, it, it's fantastic. So talk me through everything we're getting in terms of our Cricut machine and yeah. our uh, So, of course, we're getting the Cricut maker, um, yes. which is the best of the Cricut machines. Um, it's our kind of beast of machines. It does a bit of everything. So with this machine, we're able to cut fabric, um, cardstock, vinyl, iron-on vinyl. The list is endless. Um, so you're getting, with the machine, you're getting your Fine point blade, which is the yep. one we use for cardstock and for just um, vinyl. Just here. That yep. one's already set up. And in then there. you're also getting the rotary blade, which you can just see there, and that is the one we use to cut any fabric. Um, so that could be denim, that could be silk, your cottons, um, any shape that you want to cut out of fabric, you would use the rotary blade for. So those come in the machine. We'll see the changing over that in a moment because you know yep. what will happen, Emma. I'll, I'll touch everything and everything will fall apart. <laughs> uh, we're getting our five point pen, aren't we? To slot yes. in there. Obviously, take the lid off. Yep because you can draw with your machine too so that pops into that accessory port there um, for drawing mm -hmm. yeah that's right just slots yep. in um, so we can draw or write with the machine yeah and then we're also getting our two mats the blue and the pink mat uh, yep. these are what we use to hold our materials um, safe whilst they go in the machine for cutting so the blue mat is your light grip mat that's for your card stocks your vinyls your iron on vinyls and then the pink one is a fabric mat so that gorgeous. one's for all of your fabrics gorgeous now we'll come back to the easy press mini in a moment yep. we have got now this is the stretchy isn't it this is the yes, flexi iron on soaks yeah, sport flex, like for a sporty. Yeah, sport yeah, fabric, or anything that's got a bit of giving it, a bit of stretch. Um, maybe tighter garments that you want the um, iron on to move with your garment. Yeah. So that just stretches with it rather than staying there. Aspect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
So we've got that and the neon pink. Then we've yep. got the gold. Is this the iron on in the gold? Um, this one is a vinyl. It's holographic, a set of three lovely colours of holographic. Oh, so this beautiful. is the kind of holographic you'd put on to uh, the front of a notebook or a mug or something like that. That's what you do with that vinyl. Fantastic, yeah. I mean, look at that. And then we've got that patterned iron on as well. That's the... Uh, we love this holographic one there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, and then that's the... That, is, that the is that the fabric one, the patterned iron on? What's this yep, one this there? is an iron on. Yep, this yep. is patterned. So that's quite cool because you've got all of the different colours already on the sheet. So when you iron it on, that pattern's going to stay on there. Fantastic. Um, we've then got as well... Oh, <laughs> sorry. What have I missed? Premium vinyl, Fiona, 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 back again. <laughs> premium vinyl, talk to me about the big premium vinyl. Oh yeah, the one there. Um, I love this one. This is holographic threads. This is new this year. Um, and this is really cool. That's the one you've got on that sample there. Yes, It's lovely. actually got three colours in that pack. I think you've got a gold and a blue in that um, effect as well. Oh, so, I didn't see that. Yes, really cool. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see them lined up. That's brilliant. Um, and yeah, sorry, the other one here. I know. There's so much going on, Emma. I, I know, there's up. so many things in this there's one. There's so much going I mean, I've got, a, I've got some the other side here now as well, but let's move up to here because we've got our yeah. ten sheets of our beautiful yes, felt. felt. Yes. Yeah, because, of course, the machine can cut felt. Uh, mm -hmm. You can actually do that with both blades, uh, with either the fine point or the rotary blade. Um, yes, yeah, so you've got a lovely pack of 12 by 12 felt sheets there, so loads of felt projects you yeah. can make. Then I'm going to move here. Talk to me about yes. my glitter card stock One of here. my favourites, glitter card. Uh, this is a lovely textured glitter card. Um, beautiful for... All of your cardstock product projects, really. Yeah, we've got a little bit of craft card here. A little bit there That's in just a, card. a bit behind it, but you can actually obviously cut yes, it out you with your glitter card. Yes, you could cut that out, yeah. Lots That's of lovely nice colours there. Effect. And then we've got some mixed cardstock there in terms of pastel shades, corrugated plain as well, roughly yeah. 15 or so of those. Um, th gorgeous. Yes, yeah, lovely cardstock. Um, I love to use that corrugated for uh, 3D flowers. I think Ooh, there's yes. some lots yeah, of lovely 3D flowers behind that. Here behind That's me. got the glitter card and the yeah. bit of everything there in that one. You Gorgeous, can see that corrugated in the second layer. Yeah, beautiful. And it doesn't stop there because we are also getting um, our beautiful uh, material, our fabrics there. Yeah, indeed, because, of course, the machine can cut that beautiful cotton uh, yes. so easily. Uh, you'll see this pillow at the side there. Oh, um, that's, my... All of those squares are cut on the machine. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it's fabric. quite a big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh. then that's got iron-on on for the letters. But, and then um, I'll felt, you use your felt yeah, for your feathers. So great for quilters, um, the oh. maker, because you can cut all of your pieces out and so it takes the faff out of that section of the Doesn't quilting. it? <laughs> if you're doing, yeah, your hexagons for your paper yep. piecing. Exactly. <gasps> Never measure again. Or triangles for lovely bunting behind you. So do look at all these lovely samples behind us. Then we've got our tool set now. Yes. This is intrinsic to the Cricut, isn't it? It is indeed, yeah. This is the weeding tool set, which is nothing to do with gardening <laughs> um, and nothing to do with the dentists either. <laughs> uh, but these are the tools we're going to use to get rid of all of the bits we don't want when we're using iron-on and vinyl. Um, so we use that little uh, tool to pick all the bits away and we get do. rid of everything we don't want. Um, and without that, yeah, those are my go-to tools, they really. Are. My and most I, used, yes. You, so yourself you and Mike, the crafty gentleman, yes. always using the weeder. You've got the hook yeah. weeder in there, <laughs> the piercing tool, um, the hook tweezers and the fine tweezers. <gasps> We're still going. We're still going. I want to show the huge map that has yes. practically got a postcode of its own. <laughs> yeah. 24 <laughs> by 36 inches. You see, we couldn't physically fit it. <laughs> on the table. Yeah. Why do we need our mat then, Em? Oh, this is just, you know, for your craft room to protect your surface. I'm a self-healing mat. It's also double-sided as oh, well. Yes. I find it easy Thank to um, measure out items as well on this. I kind of just put it on there and go, oh yeah, you're four squares, so you're four <laughs> inches wide. <laughs> um, but I love mine at home. It just sits on my craft desk and picks up all the mess and chaos. So Keeps your and surface it looks cute and matches protected. everything. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. Fantastic <laughs> mat. And last but not least, because this has not happened before with Cricut, uh, we've got the Easy Press Mini. Now, this has usually been sold on its own, but we've got this in the bundle today. Now, why is this so brilliant? First time with a maker. <gasps> yes. So uh, what I love about this bundle is that you've got everything from the get-go. So you can use your Easy Press Mini to get going with pressing your iron on straight away yeah. and this is going to give you much better results than your home iron um, 
And I find it great also for just um, pressing seams and things too. But any little projects or 3D projects, shoes, hats, soft toys, anything where you want to get in there, this um, is where the, the Easy Press Mini comes in really handy. So you're going to use this to press on that iron on vinyl to all of your little cute projects. So yeah, yeah, look at these shoes. lovely pumps. Look at these. Yeah, they're so fantastic. That's, this is what I love about the, the Mini Easy Press is that you can grab you know, a pair of four pound shoes there and make them into something. Um, whatever you oh, would like them to be, so something really cute. Absolutely gorgeous, yeah, which is what's so brilliant about the Mini, isn't it, to yes. have that in the set. That is brilliant. Loads of, I mean, we've got bottles, we've got glasses, <laughs> we've got jars, we've got books, we've got bunting, we've got cards, we've got cushions, pots, uh, T-shirts, <laughs> yeah. baby grows, I mean, you name it. Any of your crafty projects, I mean, this is just fantastic. I can't hold it all up. It's all hidden <laughs> behind this massive display here on, on the on this <laughs> books. Um, you name it, and you can actually create your, um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic original designs, and you're going to be yeah. showing us more about that. And, um, you know, we've got this on three flexi by payments, but when we invest in a cricket mater, there is a massive community of support out there yes, as well. Yes, there is. Yeah. And access to... Um, Designs. Tell me a little bit yes. about that. Um, so the uh, Cricut Design Space is the software we use. I'm going to use it on my laptop, but you could use it on your phone or your tablet. Tablet, that's um, right. That's yep. got over 150,000 images on there for Ooh. you to um, look into. But you can also upload your own as well. So it's kind of, there's an, it's an infinite the amount of things you could design on it yeah. because you can make your own designs. Uh, you've got fonts as well, you've got projects. So when you open up the machine to get started, there's projects that step you through. Yeah. Um, you can, if you've got no inspiration, you can have a look in that library and go, oh yeah, I think I'd like to make something like that and you mm -hmm. can play around with it. So you've got yeah, loads of exciting things there. And then yeah, there's loads of support loads. online. Loads, yeah. um, the Cricut YouTube channel has endless videos. Uh, there's really cool Facebook groups as well. As well as yourself and the Crafty you. Gentleman. Do yes, you know what I mean? me and Mike. <laughs> I have my own group as well. Yeah. So people can always come and ha ask for help. And yeah, we're yeah. all there to help. <laughs> it's a daughter, lovely big family. <laughs> my producer's got hers. She yes. loves it. She's got her eye on this map. Uh, but you get all of that. You get all of that. Three flexi by payments of £175.13. It really is quite a spectacular piece of machinery. First time offer with the Mini Easy Press as well, 831767. And of course, your fantastic cricket maker, which is the main attraction. All righty, something else that is a, a new configuration today. We've not seen it in a bundle. That's everything you're getting, by the way, in this fantastic bundle today, uh, 831767, is our large Easy Press. Now, uh, I've had the Mini on its own, I've had uh, the medium. Yeah. <laughs> and this is large, but yeah. it's coming with a lot of extra goodies, isn't yes, it? This it is not it its 12 by 10. Talk to me about this fantastic Easy Press. Yes, so this is the biggest of the Easy Press family. Um, the dad of the Easy Press family. I oh, like the daddy <laughs> Yeah. Um, now, what's great about this is that whole um, plate at the bottom heats up to exactly the same temperature. So yes. you're getting an even press all the way around. Yeah. So no if you've hot been, spots. yeah. If you've yeah. been using your home iron to do iron on, you might have found that it starts to peel after a wash or things aren't sticking. And that's because mm. only the middle, like inch square in the middle of your iron is actually hot enough. Ah. Um, and you have no idea when you're pressing if that piece is actually hitting all of your parts. Whereas with this, this whole heat will, whole plate will stay at exactly the same temperature and the temperature that you pick depending on what material you're pressing onto and what type of iron on you're using. And it's going to stay at that that temperature so you know you're getting the best results uh, usually in under 30 seconds as well so nice and I quick know. and this one is a great size for t-shirts for hoodies for tote bags mm -hmm. um, you know your bigger projects where you just want to do it all in one go boom you're done <laughs> and uh, we've got our mat there that it rests on so it can yes. heat up and cool down we've also got our, our, our lovely uh, press mat there as well haven't we yeah and this is uh, not just a pretty face no <laughs> it actually has uh, layers of it's very scientific things I won't go into, uh, but it's got a layer that helps stop moisture in your project projects, which is really important. It's going to push all the heat back up into the product. Pro uh, project. I can't say that word today. Okay. Uh, into the project so that you're heating the back and the front at the same time and therefore yes. 
um, not a lot of heat is going to get into your surface. So yeah. underneath there, you can, and I actually don't tell anyone, use it on the carpet sometimes. I'll just pop this down on the carpet and press. Well, just hold the nation. A mess. Just hold the nation, then. <laughs> don't tell my landlord. That's the important part. Um, <laughs> but you've got that safety there because you're not going to um, hurt any surface underneath because all of that heat is being pushed back up into the project. And for portability and uh, movement, you have got the fantastic tote to go with it, which is a thing of beauty, isn't it? Yes, I love this. And this is heat resistant as well. So we can pop our easy press in there when it's hot and we're good to go out of the door. We don't yeah. have to hang around waiting for it to cool down. Um, I mean, it's fab. You've got a pocket in the front for your tools and bits and yes, bobs. Indeed. And then a big pocket in the back to pop the mat in too. So you can keep everything yeah. kind of... Um, I like to keep mine on the shelf in their um, bags because they just really neat then and everything's together. That's kind of got the magnet clip there. So you can pop your, your mat in the back there, your tools in the front zip pocket, and uh, that lays down lovely and flat then uh, for your uh, cricket to go into it. Now, we're also getting... Oh, well, I'm going to let you talk through this. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just going to get it all wrong. Uh, we've got our foil iron on transfer there yeah and uh, glitter glitter and look at that you see you've got four different colors there we've got the sport flex that Emma just told us about as well we've got the holographic don't forget you're getting that in the three different colors as well and last but not least you are getting more foil in oh, more foil uh, red, iron on blue, again. green and purple I yeah think. absolutely so that's all included as well isn't that tremendous yeah so we can get started now we've got that on three flexi buy payments or a one-off payment of 314 pounds and 92 pence look at that saving, a hundred and ten pounds. <whistles> that is a bigger saving than the first flexi buy payment of one hundred four pounds and ninety seven pence. Zero six eight eight five five. The extended delivery means it'll be delivered on the nineteenth of September. September, dispatched I should say, dispatched on the 19th of September. So not too long to wait. It'll be worth it when you save £110. But uh, we've talked about it. You can see all the beautiful samples. Let's see what these uh, gorgeous, gorgeous machines can do. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'm going to eject the project I was cutting um, at the start of the show. Um, let's have a look at this. So I just cut a geometric heart just because why not? It's good fun. Mm -hmm. um, so just get peel away the excess. And then we'll peel it off of our mats. Always peel the mat away from your material so that you don't um, curl your cardstocks. And there we go. A nice kind of fun geometric heart there. Wow. It's nice and quick. Um, but we could the the fab thing about this is, machine is we can do this in any size. So we could oh do this gosh. small enough to go, you know, on a card, um, or you know, this big, or we could make it in different things. Put it on a t-shirt if we made out of iron on. There's just endless opportunities. There's no die big enough to do one that big. Exactly. Is there? I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> so I'll pop that to the side, and we are going to oh, um. Our little friend here, <laughs> he's going to have something popped on his belly with ah. the Easy Press Mini. Um, don't tell him he's going to get a bit hot. <laughs> uh, so we're going to cut some iron on vinyl. I'll just clean this mat off quickly. Um, and then we will, yeah, get a little design ready and um, cut it out on the machine. Yeah. And then we can apply it with the Mini onto his Sometimes we do, we get asked, you know, about the uh, the, the easy press. Now, how will I know how long to heat it for? How will I know what temperature? But it's all there on the software, isn't it? We can check. Yes, there's um, what we call the easy press, the heat guide, Cricut yep. heat guide. If you um, search that on whatever search engine you like, um, you'll find that. And all you have to do is put in the material that you're pressing onto and the material that you're pressing with. So I would say, um, I would check his label and see exactly, he's 100% polyester, so I'd say 100% polyester and I'm using the patterned iron on and it will give me the exact temperature and time um, to put my press onto. Um, so it makes it really, really easy to make sure that you've got everything kind of how you want it to be and you're using the right setting. So there's no room for error really. An iPhone, not so, well, not just iPhones, phones, I should say, tablets, uh, laptops, yeah. uh, computers at home. I mean, it's it's the configuration that it matches up with is, is, is I can't think of anything really. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Yes. And it works with Bluetooth, so we That's don't right. even need all of the cables Ooh, to yeah. connect our device. Um, yeah. We can just go straight uh, to our machine. Okay, I've got my design. Yeah. 
I'm going to mirror my design because with iron on we cut into the back of the material. So I uh, uh, mirrored that there and I just need to tell it which machine I'm using and then we can load our material into the machine. So I'm just going to slide it in there, push the arrow and then there's no dials with this, no settings I need to remember. All I need to do is tell the machine exactly which type of material I'm cutting. Um, so I'm going to do that now on the software. I'm going to search for it. And you've got your fabric mat there as well, which is included. So if you try to load that onto your um, light press mat, it just wouldn't happen for you, would it? It would know. Um, you can use a different mat. It would, the machine oh, sorry, does the way around them. Yes. Say. yes, sorry. <laughs> um, but you're just best for to keep your mats. Uh, popped into the wrong thing there. Um, yeah, you want to make sure you're using the right mat for the right for material. Fabric or, but the Cricut won't, won't do it otherwise. If you're trying to cut material on the wrong mat, um, it doesn't like it. It's so intelligent. We've got some of the mats on the show as well. Um, then what was that? What? There we the go. The standard grip mat. Yeah, we'll come to that in a moment. Yes. OK, we're all ready. So I'm going to press the go button. And that's going to start cutting now. let it do its thing it will check it's got the right blade in there if it hasn't it will tell you um, so that you can't go wrong and then it's going to get cutting so I'm using the fine point blade that comes with the machine for this I could stand and watch it all day <laughs> waste all of my time just but you can it just leave it and uh, get going on to something else if you want to it will, it's about halfway done, which is good. Whilst it's doing that, I'm going to heat up my um, Easy Press Mini. I'm going to go to the second setting. So the Easy Press Mini is so small that it can't have um, a screen like the other Easy Presses have, uh, because where, where would you put it? <laughs> uh, so it has just three settings for this one. Um, so the middle setting is the general one you'd use for your iron-ons. Uh, the third setting is the one we'd use for infusible ink, which we haven't got on the show today, but you have got the ability to do that with the Easy Press Mini. Um, so I'm going for the second setting, and it will turn green once it gets hot enough. There we go. Well, that was good timing, all, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> as, as if I magic. Uh, so we'll pop that back in its holder for the second. I'm going to get the mat out anyway, um, just so that I, in case I accidentally put it down, I'm protected. We'll get our bear ready there as well. And this is almost cut. And there we go, I think it's done. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to remove that from here and remove it from the mat. Oh, a pesky letter came off then, but that's okay. I'll rescue him in a second. And now all we need to do is weed our design using our weeding tool. And I'm just going to cut um, around the vinyl so that we can use any excess for another time because we don't want to waste anything. So if I cut around my design, we can use this bit again um, another day. We can pop that through the machine again. Um, so let's go in with our weeding tool and all we're going to do is lift away and leave behind um, our design. So just do this carefully, peeling back and then you want to go in with your weeding tool and get out the middles of any letters. So the middle of O's and things like that mm -hmm. and this is where the tool really is what you need for this because there's no way you'd be fiddling around trying to get these tiny little bits out especially when it's quite small lettering oh didn't want you to come off pop him back there and there we go and i lost the bee for some reason it was just wasn't having it so i'll pull that back off the mat and pop that back into the design And now we can see, here's our design. And we'll just pop that onto his belly. Now if you're doing a soft toy, you want something with um, quite small, a short fur. The long fur, it won't, it won't work. Right. So where he's, the kind of fur he's got on his belly or his paws will work perfectly with iron on. So we're going to pop that down on there. And line it up. 
and we're going to grab our easy press the difference with the mini is that we keep it moving all of the time with the um with the other ones we just do one press but mm -hmm. with the mini we keep it moving um for about 30 seconds um so you can set a timer on your phone or an egg timer if you like mm. i'm going to be naughty and just do it by eye I've put this on a little bit wonky, but I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> there we go. And some iron-ons are um, peel off when cold and some are peel off when hot. So make sure you just double check which one um, you've got. This is a peel off when cold. So we need to make sure we wait for it to completely cool before we peel away the plastic carrier. I feel really sorry for this bear. <laughs> Poor thing, but you'll look cute after, I promise. Okay. There we go, I'm gonna peel that back. Now I'll just pop that bee back on because he, he was having a moment, didn't want to play. And always make sure if you if you're doing shoes and things anything that could melt if it you know you've got the bottom of shoes make sure you protect it with um, you know a piece of baking parchment or something so that you're not melting it. Cause you are it is hot. They have those sort of plastic caps on them. That yeah, exactly. The area of the heel. Yeah. yeah, the bear is fine because he's he's not going to melt, but that can happen. Okay, and there we go. He's now got a lovely um, sentiment on his belly. <laughs> oh, we've lost the A in the, in, the, in the process there, but you can, you know, I'll try and find that and add it on. <laughs> Perhaps, Perhaps our, little bit of, our little writing was a little bit small. He's only got a small tummy, isn't he, yeah. to be fair? that was my fault. I should have done it a little bit smaller <laughs> to fit in, in his belly, but exactly. he looks cute anyway. But that shows you if you spend a little time, especially for Christmas coming up, to do little um, soft toys with people's yes. names on, things like that. It's a really cute idea with the mini press. Yeah, and great for personalisation. I'm just loving yes. these Emily socks here. I mean, yeah. I mean, she's posh, our Emily, isn't she? Look at these, Emily J. I mean, going back <laughs> to school, she's even got a socks monogram. <laughs> yeah. Well, you never know these days. <laughs> well, I know Emily J, Emily Jones. You need a monogram. I mean, that's that's what's so great about you could really transform a pair of towels or monogram something, couldn't you? We've got the lovely personalised book here, pencil cases. Um, how, how many times do we, you know, the mugs, the bottles, you know, it's fantastic. Uh, a, a makeup bag here as well, a toiletry bag. Um, love, the, you know, even for you card makers out there as well. I, I was just talking to my producer and she's using hers to help her brother's girlfriend's business, cookie business. So lots of stickers being made for the cookies. Yes, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, stickers is another thing we can do because we can print out something on our printer, yeah. pop it on the mat and oh. then cut around it. So that's another feature that we can do um, too. Yeah, I love this card. I'm obsessed with pop-up cards. They're lovely. <laughs> They're it's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So, yeah, and loads we can do uh, with the Cricut Maker. Getting very busy. Now, this is uh, a very different bundle. This is the first time with Cricut we've included the mini, the mini press, yeah, the Cricut Maker and the mini press together, okay? We've had the, the Cricut Maker, um, but uh, we haven't had it with the mini maker as well, the mini press. 20%, yeah, 20% of the stock has gone because it is a massive, massive bundle. Very quickly, let's take you through everything you are getting again. I'm going to uh, start with the giant mat. <laughs> the giant, I mean, it's huge. Like I said, it needs a studio of all of its own, and it runs up to uh, 36 inches, and it is reversible. Yes. Yeah, 24 by 36 inches. So you're getting the giant mat. Yes. Do you work? We're getting our stretchy, sporty vinyl. Yes, which is fabulous for any stretch fabrics, your lycras, you know, if you've got leggings you wanted to put something on, or kids that go dancing in leotards, things like that, you could add that kind of vinyl to that. We're getting a holographic vinyl as well. Yes. So again, I this suppose... is perfect for, yep, yeah, uh, mugs. Um, it's on that drinks bottle over there, oh, all yes, those kind go. of things. Yeah, that one, yeah, that's got there holographic. There go, a lovely gold vinyl there. It's, it's on tricky to bottle. see because it's so sparkly, that one. <laughs> um, but <laughs> yeah, you can add that to anything. Um, anything you fancy, really. Any hard surfaces, your bottles, your mugs. Beautiful. Even the car, if you wanted to, pop it on the car. You've just been using the patterned iron-on. 
yes, as well for our, our little bear. baby bear. And then we're also getting the premium vinyl, which you can see in the holographic here, which is on this lovely plaque as well in the holographic that you also get. And there's a few colours in there, did you say? Yes, um, yeah. three, I think. Three colours in there. That's just starters. Then we're getting ten sheets of our beautiful, beautiful felt, the bright, fun, medium weight felt there as well. And uh, you can cut that with the deep by deep blade 12 by 12 so uh, that was just some fun coasters there made with the yep. beautiful felt love the feathers there on the cushion as uh, Emma was saying you know in terms of your quilt making or soft upholstery uh, beautiful beautiful idea then moving across we get our cardstock yes our cardstock and the pastels corrugated and the plain there's over 15 sheets in there again 12 by 12 um, oh sorry the glitter cardstock your favorite Em it is my favorite yeah yes I the love glitter the glitter cardstock glitter. <laughs> um, gorgeous, gorgeous set of colours there as well. You're getting 10 sheets of that and then we've also got our materials and again this is what this big beautiful cushion you, you know was inspired by and then the vinyls then for the letters, is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Some really cute kids projects to kind of have to point to the letters and the numbers. And, and you saw the weeding so tools there that Emma's just using to take out the little letters. Invaluable. So mm -hmm. you're getting your set of your weeding tools as well in there and your tweezers there. Um, and you're getting your two mats now, the light grip and uh, the fabric grip. Within the Cricut itself, what are we getting, Em? Yep, we're getting the fine point blade, uh, which is the one we use for cardstock, vinyl, all those types of materials. You're getting the rotary blade, which is a tiny little um, rotary uh, cutter, and um, that's for any fabric, so it can cut through any fabric with that blade. And then you're also getting your black pen as well, because you can, of course, um, draw and write with the machine too, and that just pops into the accessory port there. And there's loads of blades as well on the Cricut uh, website, you know, on ours as well, actually. Wavy blades and all sorts. Yeah. I mean, there's so <laughs> yeah. many blades on there, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, there's lots of add-ons for this machine. Yeah. You've got the knife blade, you've got lots of different blades, perforation, wavy, <laughs> debossing, engraving. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they add on to what you'd like to do with the machine. So those are extras if you'd like to have them. And last but not least, our fantastic mini press. Yes, yes, our gorgeous, lovely mini press in there as well. First time with a maker, £525.38 or three flicks by payments of £175.38. Uh, like I said, very busy already. 20% of the stock has gone. Um, Shall we uh, have a little look at these as well? But I'll briefly mention the, the large yes. press because, again, we've got a new configuration of the bundle. But let's have a look at everything you're getting in that brand new configuration today. Loads in there to get you started. Remember the support group. Remember uh, the, the, the individual uh, Facebook pages as well. Um, all of the access to the designs. There is a library you can subscribe to as well. A quarter of the stock has now gone. Promise, promise, promise you. I mean, it's such a massive, massive support group so that you get the best out of your cricket and really maximize the potential as a machine because it is so intelligent it's so brilliant um, now talking of brilliant the big easy press for fantastic even heat distribution for your larger projects yeah yes indeed perfect for t-shirts perfect for tote bags hoodies oh, yeah. um, anything where you want to just do a big design in one go uh, this is where this the biggest of the easy presses comes in really handy this is 12 by 10 inches so you really get in all of the plate there to do your big projects with. You've got your on off button, timer button, temperature button to increase or decrease that um, uh, lovely uh, heat there. It's very, very simple to use. And then we are getting our lovely uh, mat as well. So we really get that fantastic adherence to our projects as well as protecting your surface. You've got the glorious tote bag, which can you have your tweet, uh, tools in there, your Cricut maker, and of course your press mat there as well. And added to which we're getting all of these as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh my word. Yeah, loads of iron on vinyl, so you've got stuff to play with as soon as you get this home and give everything a good go. Uh, you've got foil iron on, uh, glitter iron on, sport flex, sport flex, holographic sparkle, and another foil iron on with all the different colours. Yeah, like oh. this leopard project yes. behind me. That's one of the red um, foil iron ons in that pack. I know, and then we've got the glitter t-shirts behind us, we've got bows with glitter, we've got, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't know, it's just so much glitter, this is fantastic, <laughs> just anything. Uh, you think about how much you pay sometimes to personalise a t-shirt, uh, a sports bag, uh, I mean, to change a yeah. boring pair of shoes, you know, <laughs> yeah. just to uh, totally transformed 
into whatever you want. I mean, the possibilities are endless, aren't they? So they are, a whole yes. new world of crafting. <laughs> Fantastic. So again, brand new configuration there. First time, £314.92. Got that on three flexi buy payments of £104.97. 77 pence, sorry. <laughs> and you're saving a hundred, a hundred and ten pounds, was it? Yes, hundred and ten pounds. Hundred and ten pounds. Get out of town. What can you show us now then, Em? <laughs> um, let's use the big um, easy press let's since we've just it. been talking about it. Um, I'm going to do a layered iron-on design onto a t-shirt. Lovely. Um, I've pre-cut one of the pieces, but I'm going to pop the others in to cut now. Um, so I'll just bring it, the, bring it up on the machine. Um, so I'm going to cut this lip design. Um, oh, so I've already cut the stones, yeah. black. I'm going to do it out of sparkle and foil, so it's not going to quite look those colours, but it, I hope it will look cool. <laughs> um, I've already cut the black piece because it was a little bit more detailed, so I didn't want to, um, for us to just be stood here waiting for that to cut. But we'll do the red layer and the white layer. Um, so... I'm going to pop this. We're going to do gold teeth, <laughs> because why not? Uh, so this is this layer. Again, popping it face down onto the mat. Make sure it's really well stuck down. And I need to make sure I mirror all of my pieces. Now, would you say our brayer is very useful there, uh, if yes. you've got one at home already as a grafter? Yes, yeah. indeed. Um, because so if stuff is not stuck to the mat, it might not cut properly. Right. You might think the blade has gone dull, but actually it's because you're your material isn't well enough stuck to the mat okay. so that's where the brayer comes in really handy gets out air bubbles things like that just makes sure everything's really well stuck down so i highly recommend it it's one of my most used tools so what are you what are you seeing there now then explain to me what you've seen and what you've just done yeah, there. so it's just loading up so it's telling me which mat to cut so you can see i've got three mats here yeah um this is the the white mat which is going to be our gold color yeah and now we're going to choose exactly which material we want it to cut so we're okay. cutting the foil iron on so i will just search for foil it's got the list there isn't it yeah so, so you can see this is just foil options <laughs> <This line. laughs> i know there's actually it's somebody's job in america um at cricket to test all of the different materials so they will put materials in loads and loads and loads of times and find mm -hmm. the best setting so you'll find all sorts of random you know you'll find uh things like uh different tapes or shopping bags things like that yeah. so they've tested them and found the setting so right. always make sure you're using the exact setting setting for the type of material that you're cutting and then it's going to cut best because someone's already done that work for you yeah you don't need to take some guesswork out of it doesn't it exactly whilst that's cutting i'm going to start weeding this piece that i was cutting earlier um just while we do because we've got three layers here so i don't want to wait for them all to cut before we weed away i should also mention the dispatch date is the september the 19th so uh, for, for, for your cricket bundle there uh, September the 19th. Okay, that one is already done nice and oh, quick. quick yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was only a little shape that piece. So whip that one off. Now I'm going to add the red for the lips. So again, face down onto the mat. Give that a good. Make sure it's well stuck. And we'll just select which mat we're doing on there. And I need to change the material because. I'm using a different type of iron-on now. I'm using the oh. holographic. So I'm going to search for that holographic sparkle iron-on. There we go. So now that's on the right setting too. And we can put that into the machine. So I'll finish weeding this one. There we go. Whilst that cuts that piece out. And we get all the little bits out here. What do you like doing on your cricket um, at the moment? Oh, everything. My whole house is covered in something or other. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my boyfriend is like, Emma, we don't need to label anything else. <laughs> if he stands still long enough, he'll be yeah, able. Yeah, you're going to have something on you. Um, yeah, see, I bought my machine originally for papercraft. That's what I, w I was a papercrafter. I was really into papercrafting. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's just kind of developed to all areas of my life are now cricketed. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, there's nothing that isn't, uh, yeah, ironed onto or, yeah, I just love making things, you know, t-shirts and things where people would say, oh, where did you buy that, Em? And yeah. I'm like, oh, I made it on my cricket. <laughs> <laughs> now they know, though, now they just assume I made it on there. Um, but, yeah, uh, a bit of everything, really. If I make a card or 
add it to add some bits to my scrapbook they're going to be made on the machine or if I you know want to make a cushion for my sofa it's kind of there is that done and you can design your own can't you your yeah. own designs you can put through the Cricut Maker as well it doesn't yes. have to be a design that you've found in a library or no not at all or, yeah. um, if you are an illustrator or you've just you know drawn some designs you know there's mm. lots of things on the tablet now where you can draw with the pen yeah. things yeah. like that you can save that and upload it uh, there's lots of file types you can upload as uh, so yeah you can be cutting your own original designs so if you've mm. got a small business and something um, you want to expand yeah, yeah exactly um, you can do that, which is really cool, I think. Right, that's uh, another layer, and then this layer's just finished. So we'll just weed this quickly. I'm just going to cut around this piece again, because we don't want to waste any vinyl that we don't aren't using. And then we will press all of these layers individually to get a really cool layered up design. So, pull this piece off. This is going to be fantastic. I didn't realise it was going to be so big. I don't know why. When I saw it, <laughs> when I saw it on the computer there, I just thought, oh, what a little mouth. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to get my mat out. And pop our t-shirt down. Now the first thing we need to do is pre-press our fabric to remove any moisture. So we'll okay. just pick up the press and pop it down. You can give it a good wiggle this time when you're um, pre-pressing. I'll just give a quick update, update if that's all right, Emma, while yes. you're um, pressing. Um, now, uh, just a quick update as well. A couple of important things to tell you. Uh, a third of the stock now has gone of the Cricut Maker with the Easy Press Mini Show offer. This offer as well is only for 24 hours. Should have said that right at the start, forgive me. I just went to clean up my head. 24 hours, limited time offer, or on a first come, first serve basis while stocks last, once the stock's gone. If that, go, if that happens before the 24 hours, then that's it. Um, first time we've had the maker with the Easy Press, just to reiterate that in terms of the mini Easy Press, and I'm sure you agree, a fantastic bundle in terms of all the extras you are getting as well. And dispatch is the 19th of September. So, uh, yeah, next week. But so this could be this could be with you. This could be with you. <laughs> Fab. Right. Let's right. press our Back first our, layer. Yes. So we've got the lips there. Ooh. So I'm going to pop the easy press down on top. I've already set the temperature and the time. So I'm okay. going to press the green button. Because now, I don't have to press down hard. No. There's no like, you know, putting yeah. all my body weight. Just a light kind of rest. Okay. <laughs> rest is all you need to do um, and you, we can see it counting down here and it will bleep at us when it's finished it's 30 seconds too okay. um, so we don't have to count in our heads or anything like that or really concentrate <laughs> some kind of bizarre countdown going on in my ear <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're almost there there we go beep to tell us we're done yep um, like I said earlier and we need to wait for some of these iron-ons to cool a little bit before we peel off the carrier. Um, so I like to give a good waft. waft. Meanwhile, has the large press, has it just turned itself off now or is it just no, waiting? No, it's still there waiting. Still there at that temperature yeah. unless we adjust it. But so um, if we don't pick it up for five minutes, it will bleep loudly at us. And say, I'm and done with you. I'm still on, I'm still <laughs> here. Um, and if we don't do anything, we don't press a button or anything like that, it will turn itself off. Oh, so that's so, yeah, measure, that's brilliant. You haven't got that to worry about. Uh, let's peel this away. So when doing your layers, this is why we have to do each one at a time, because we need to remove that carrier sheet before we do the next piece. Okay. Which I've now conveniently... There it is. <laughs> it's disappeared. Uh, so I'm going to lay this up on top, make sure I've lined it up nicely. And I'm going to pop this piece back on top to protect the pieces the I've already done. Yeah. So that doesn't have to be neat or anything and again let's go down another 30 seconds okay so it's just so handy that you can change the temperature and the time here so you can do really obscure things like I've done a yoga mat for example oh. or velvet because you can put oh. the temperature right down um, and the time down so you're gonna press for 
for the time that that kind of material what did needs. What you put on your velvet? Um, oh, I've got... Um, <laughs> This is what I mean about my whole house. Um, <laughs> we got some old chairs that are um, like a pink velvet, oh. and I've put black stars on them. Oh, I love in my, it. my dining table chairs, yeah. I want to see your safe. house. You've got to take pictures for us next time, Anne. <laughs> I know you bring all the beautiful projects with you, but we want to see the my whole pink house, yeah. velvet chairs with the stars. My downstairs loo is a whole wall of vinyl. There's nothing, ah. I promise you, nothing that's been <laughs> left. Fantastic. <laughs> well, sometimes you get those lovely stickers that you put on the wall, don't you, from bedrooms, yeah. names. You know, they cost a fair old bit. Do you run? Yeah. And they don't always fit, you know, your room. No. Um, or the size that you've got. Whereas with this, you can make it exactly how you'd like it to be. Make your own stencils. Yeah. Okay, so there's our teeth are in place, and now let's add the detail on top. This will be the last layer that will really make this happen. So, I'm going to pop this down, make sure you get it lined up. There we go, and one more time. Love the gold teeth, it's goldy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we had to. We didn't have white vinyl on the show, but we've got gold, so why not? Here we go. Another 20 seconds to go, and our design will be finished. And I just love this, that you can get a basic top from anywhere, you know, even from the supermarket, and then pop something on it that you love, it. Yes. make it cool. Or even, you know, you're going out and you think, oh, I wish I'd have got that top, or I wish I'd, you know, got something with that on it. You can do it. Okay, give a quick woft, but I think it's going to look quite cool. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Look at that. That's so good. And let's peel this away. How cool is that? And there we go. How brilliant. We love it. <laughs> that is fantastic. I'm upset I didn't do this in my size now. Should have thought this through. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Goodbye, I'll take that from you there. Thank you, Em. That's lovely. <laughs> That's gorgeous, yeah. Do we, I mean, in terms of washing or anything, what, um, I mean... As long as you don't tumble dry on a high temperature, you can yeah. wash and wash and wash. I've actually got T-shirts where the T-shirt is degraded and gone bobbly, but the iron-on on it is <laughs> perfect. perfect. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Oh, thank you, Em. Yeah, so this is using your fantastic, the large Easy Press. First time we've had the 12 by 10 on the show in terms of this configuration with uh, this must saving and this bundle with all of our iron-ons as well. Uh, you're getting your lovely mat as well. You are getting your gorgeous tote bag to accessorize and travel with it. Uh, and obviously the mat just fits in the back and your tools in the front. You are getting your fact fantastic iron-ons in the foils there. You are getting the glitter iron-ons. You are getting the stretchy one there as well, the, the uh, sports flex. You are getting a the uh, the glitter iron-ons and then you're also getting the foil iron-ons absolutely brilliant first time we've included the iron-ons with the easy press there and we've got it on three flex by payments of 104 pounds and 97 pence 110 pound saving that is key i've had my producer in my ear going i need to make these t-shirts my dad's on i need to make a t-shirt but i don't have the big easy press what can i say now you need to get it you need to get it charlotte zero six eight eight five five split those flexi buy payments up so that you can spread the cost because it's an investment for life isn't it absolutely brilliant you are loving the cricket maker first time on the show with the cricket easy uh, press mini included in this fantastic bundle which you know is, is a library of goods to, to go through quite frankly you've got your rotary cutter and your lovely fine point blade and of course your fine point pen your lovely fabric mat and your light grip mat uh, you've got your sports flex you've got your iron on foil you've got your lovely uh, the what do we call this again our patent iron on and our holographic fantastic um, vinyl there as well you're getting your 10 felts you're getting your glitter card you're getting your fantastic uh, gorgeous corrugated card for your sculpture your 3d crafts uh, whatever your beautiful material yeah your beautiful material there as well your weeding tools and your tweezers oh, and then you're also getting the mini but mighty easy press mini yeah i mean there's a lot there must be at least 15 sheets of this in, in terms of the card and all those beautiful um 
pastel colors in there. Gorgeous colors, aren't they? Some are corrugated vertically, horizontally, some, 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 some of the plain there as well. And then um, Em's favorite, at a risk of destroying this beautiful display, um, we've got all of that lovely, lovely glitter card. Look at those, and those beautiful, beautiful colors there as well. Should have a look? Should have a look quickly? I know we're gonna go to, it's open. No, it's not open, I won't destroy it. You know what I'm like. I only have to breathe them and everything falls down. Let's go back to you. Show me what else you want to yeah, show. Yeah, I just thought we'd do another quick um, mini project. I've got some pre-cut um, iron on, but I thought let's pop it onto this really cute little denim jacket. Um, ah. So let's. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> the big resounding ah. Oh, <laughs> um, so I'm going to undo this because we don't want any of the zips and things to get in the way. So we want our surface to be as flat as we can. Uh, so I've got this one that says "Be kind." I think that would look quite cute on there. And I've also got this little pencil. I'm not sure why these are already in my bags. <laughs> I'm not sure what they were <laughs> why from. Not? But they look quite cute. And for going back to school and things, um, it might be quite sweet or even staying at home schooling. Uh, so we're gonna go in, um, so this is why this is great for 3D and your flat surfaces as well. Um, just go over for that 30 seconds. Make sure you're getting all of the pieces and I get the pencil as well there. And keep on going. And remember, you have to wait for these to cool before you peel them off, else it will look like it hasn't done. So um, I see that happen a lot. Everyone pull, pulls it off too quickly because they're a bit impatient and excited, and then they think it hasn't done. So they keep on doing it and keep on doing it. Um, but if you just waited a little bit longer till it had cooled down, you'd have that perfect result the first time. So just be aware of that. Wait for it to cool completely before you go back in and add any more if you're not sure you got all of your bits. Um, but we get all everything there. So dinky do. I mean, I know we can get it on our own, but why would we? We can get it with the cricket now. The first exactly, time. Exactly. Exactly. You've got everything in there. And you know, I love this just to have. If I've got my sewing machine out and I'm doing a bit of sewing, uh -huh. just to depress seams yes, and things. Yes, exactly. So yes. not even for iron on, but just instead of dragging everything over and getting the ironing board yeah. out or all that faff, I can just have the mat set up and the mini and just press, press those little seams. bits perfect. and bobs. Yeah, that's a perfect complement with your sewing machine, isn't it? So let that cool and always pick it off the mat because remember that mat's still pushing out the heat. Yes. Um, so if you keep it on there, it's going to stay hot. So make yeah. sure you bring it off yeah, and give it that too. little waft. <laughs> <laughs> the cricket waft. And then let's have a check. Yep, there we go. Any clubs or, you know, if you run clubs or hobbies or, I mean, you just create, create your own identification, don't you, on all the uniforms. Yeah, exactly. You can put yeah. names on that and how cute is that to send a little one into um, That's gorgeous. preschool We should be something. kind. We should smile yeah. more and be kind to each other. That's what they're saying. It's stressful enough these days, but yeah, just yeah. be kind. And Good nice and quick style. shows how quickly you can just, yeah, um, yeah get something and personalise it. Got five minutes still. If there's anything oh, else amazing. you want to rustle oh, up, my I mean, goodness. no news. What can we do? Could do. <laughs> um, should I run through design space quickly so we can see some of the yes, images please. and the projects? Yeah, that might be I a will good... just quickly say while Emma's setting that up that the, the dispatch is the 19th of September, and then this is a limited time offer only for 24 hours or while stocks last in terms of this fantastic uh, new bundle that we've put together for you from Cricut. So yeah. back to you, Em. Yes. Uh, so let me just show you some of these projects that are in Cricut Design Space uh, that we can have a play with. So, I mean, there's hundreds in here, if not thousands, but you can see kind of guitars how much. Yeah. So those are cut from using the knife blade, which is an add-on for the maker, yeah. um, to cut. I think those are made out of um, balsa wood. Wow. Um, put together. So, yeah, little dolls house guitars. I mean, this is the breadth of how many different crafts this machine is great for. You know, it's not just for your soft crafts or even your paper crafts, but model makers, um, you know, so many uh, uses for it. Um, and these are great ways to get started and, you know, to have, if you're not sure about ideas, um, yeah, you can find them on here. I'm loving these masks. <laughs> yes, we've got, <laughs> uh, we had a mission to make two million masks uh, worldwide. I'm not quite sure what number uh, Cricket is on, but really? by different, uh, by, by makers with their machines. Yeah. Um, I know it was over a, a one and a half million masks cut on machines no, um, because uh, so they added the free projects there for face coverings. So, yep, yeah, that's quite cool. So that all incredible. around the world, there's 
which Cricket blows nuts. my mind that there's that many people with machines that can make. Yes. Yeah, and lots of amazing people are making them for their community as yes. well. So oh. that's quite incredible too that that was yeah going on. <laughs> Jane has sent in a question, Em. Oh yes, we love a question. If you put vinyl onto a mug, which you've got yes. to there. Can it be washed then? Can it go through the dishwasher? Um, dishwasher, we say no, okay. only because we can't test every single dishwasher with every single ah, different yes. detergent. Now, okay. now, I personally have some that have been through the dishwasher fine, but it does depend on the vinyl. So okay. I would suggest hand washing um, any of your vinyl creations just to be safe. Good question. Good question. If you've got any other questions, you with, were you with me at you're not with me, but you're at five. I'm here back at five. Five yeah. o'clock. I can't yeah, remember so who I'm with. If you do think of your lovely uh, cricket questions, then five o'clock with um, Emma and Yanis. Uh, we've still got two minutes. Anything Ooh. else you want to show me there? Yeah, we can uh, have em. a quick look at the image library as well. Um, I can browse all images. Um, so you can see, I mean, oh. there's so many things here. It's crazy. Gosh. This is just, you know, a random selection. Um, but it's very rare that you search something and you can't find. And I'm a very picky person. <laughs> 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 um, you know, you've got these really intricate, um, detailed, like, mandala-style um, images. You know, we've got lovely kind of sentiments and then layered images we've got all the halloween ones creeping in ready for <laughs> halloween crafting yeah. um, but you'll see you've got so many options here you can um, create your own sentiments your own designs and they can be any size you said didn't you em? yes exactly you can resize these to fit whatever you're making them into so um that's the beauty of this it's not just one die which you can only cut in that size we yeah. can cut small we can cut big we can cut it out of cardstock out of fabric out of felt out of iron on um so we've got so many different options here you know things for weddings and hen do's yes. when those are yes, allowed indeed. again Don't get those t-shirts printed or aprons yep. or having those what else yep so so many things um well, this is really popular at the moment making uh these frames with uh, oh. this kind of, uh, you put your favourite song and then the QR code to your favourite song and you your frame QR it. QR code to your favourite song? Yeah, on uh, f some famous streaming software. <laughs> um, I, know can, yes. I know what a QR is. I know what a QR code is. Yeah, so you add code. that in, cut it in vinyl, add a picture of you and your loved one and if it's your favourite song, well, that's quite a cute thing as well that's just been added this week. So yeah, you get all these different things added and um, yeah, it's kind of really easy to use. We say if you can use a smartphone, you can use uh, Cricut Design Space. And you can, of course, download it now uh, before you buy a machine to have a go to. It's free to download as an app or as the software onto your computer. So you can start designing your projects ready for when your machine arrives at your door. Fantastic. Remember, it is a limited offer or while stocks last. So please remember to check out your baskets. Emma, thank you so much. Thank you. So it's so, it's so insightful. I, I just love it. I always learn something new about the cricket every time yourself <laughs> or our, our lovely crafty gentleman's on it's just absolutely brilliant don't, oh, do you know what I forgot to mention the last recap? The massive mat. How are <laughs> sitting there right in front of me? It's in front of you, Fiona. 24 by 36 inches. You get the mat as well. I forgot to say that. We didn't mention that, did I? I did at the start. But anyway, uh, so Dispatch is the 19th of September. Enjoy, enjoy. Emma will be back with us at 5 o'clock with the lovely Yanis. If you've got any questions, keep them for then. And, uh, yeah, enjoy your cricket. We've got Charmaine up next with Dolly Dimple Suits You. And then we've got Major Surprise Terrific Towers. And then I'll be back with Sam for the last chance for our stackable solutions with Deflecto. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks, which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. 
back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important was a Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture of this shows on Achanda. Well, hello everybody. So another opportunity for us to spend a quality hour with the lovely Charmaine and Dolly Dimples. It's going to be a fun <laughs> hour. Hello, Charmaine. Hello. Yes, How are you? I am fine. We are, are already busy. I've got to tell you, so if you were watching earlier on, we had a show and uh, we had a happy hour and it was half of the collection of the Alice stamps. So we got as another happy hour this hour and we were uh, promoting that earlier on. We're going to have the second half of that. So if you want to get hold of it, it's already busy. So just showing you now the stamps you are going to get. Oh, we're busy for this. Thirty-four ninety-eight. Look at the saving, so you can get that complete Alice. All this beautiful artwork. It's faithful to the sort of original artwork that you would have seen with the story. So you've got a and lovely hatched lines in there. That would stamp like a dream. And then you've got the rabbit in there too. So you're getting all these iconic images that we can all relate to. <laughs> you know how busy it went the first uh, uh, earlier on. If you were watching earlier on, I think we sold out of our happy hour within the first uh, five minutes of the show, actually less. 
uh, equally as busy for this one. So a lot of you, if you want to complete your collection, if you've got the happy hour earlier on, you want to get this, there is a danger it could be, again, selling out within the next, there's the Mad Hatter there as well. It could be selling out within the next five minutes. And then we have Alice as she's growing, she's taking that pill and then she's growing. So you're getting that complete collection. Uh, well, you're getting this half of the collection. If you bought the happy hour earlier on, you will have the complete collection. Look at the saving, 35 pound savings, and they're Dolly Dimple stamps. You know the quality that they bring. 13 stamps in total, 399606. I will show you, can I just pick this up? And we are limited now for a happy hour. We knew it wasn't gonna last. This is what you could be doing with that complete collection. Isn't that stunning? We like it. If I pop that down, I'm just gonna show you something else very quickly. Now, we're gonna get onto these in just a moment. These are our fantastic journals, our journal trunks. But look, using the stamps in the collection. Wait, look at this. So that is your rabbit in there, and then I'll open that up. And then you've got Alice growing, isn't that lovely? So, oh wait, wait, I think it's going to be this way. Hold on, bear with me. And, oh no, it wasn't that way. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's sold out, so I'm afraid. Again, well done to everyone who got hold of it. Remember to check out your baskets, so you do not miss out. We're going to talk about these fantastic journals. So uh, what you're able to do is make a little journal trunk, which your case, I should say, here. So with the papers, or what you're getting here, you're able to make 15 cases in total. It uses the mixed media paper, so it's 250 GSM. You're getting 30 sheets in total, and most importantly, you're getting the template. So half the stock of this went this morning. We've still got 50% of the stock, but it was very, very busy. I'm not surprised when you can make journals like this. So these are all the journals that you're going to make. You'll be able to make two of each. This is very clever. Just going to show you here. Oh, Ow. what's going on? What's going on, Charmaine? <laughs> <laughs> just going to open this up. I think Charmaine just dropped a little scoreboard. So if you wanted to give jewelry or add some boxes into the mix, you can, so you can really personalize them. But isn't that stunning? As, as it is, what you're seeing there, that is the trunk, the I keep saying trunk, the case that you're going to be able to make. Then we have our pink tones coming through, lovely papers. And then finally, isn't this nice, subtle butterflies in the mix. All right, so those are the cases. But then, when you've completed, made all your cases, you've got the template, you're gonna start exploring. Look at, now look at this. That is absolutely incredible. That's where you can take it to the next level because you can then suddenly truly personalize. If you want to use any of these stamps, we've got the fantastic Kimono Girls on the show, the uh, collection of Kimono Girls, again, a, a monster saving. Or if you wanted to go for your seasons, we've got another collection of stamps. We can use those. Uh, we can go under the sea. We can use all the stamps that we're seeing here. So you're gonna go on and create your own journals. And how are you gonna be using your journals? So what are you gonna be popping inside? Now, this is clever. Just adding the journal, so that journal case, onto the top to further embellish. Doesn't that look good? Or something like this. If you wanted to give a gift, we could put, oh, this is lovely, little notelet cards inside. But equally, you could be putting some tissue paper, and it could be uh, a gift of jewelry. Or if you wanted to give someone a little voucher, just a lovely way to do it. Having that template, you're going to make these again and again. If you do want to really go to town, and I will just show you this. So the idea and something that Charmaine was, uh, I think, really championing uh, the earlier hour is turning it into a journal. So we've got our case, but suddenly we're going to add the pockets. We're going to add the little leaves of interest uh, in there. And we have got, these are the Here Comes the Girls collection. Another stamp set will feature this hour. Uh, okay, so 19.99 your price, saving uh, that is saving 20 pounds there. 054510 your item number. Now we're going to move on to our embellishments. Look at the price here, and it's not all about the price because obviously it's the quality as well. But I mean, picking this up, that's heavy. You can you, there's a sense of weight because all of these embellishments they are metal embellishments. 
If you were to go now, what I've got here is the complete collection. You can get half, you can split the collection in half, effectively getting sets one to four and then sets five to eight if you want. But if you do that, each set would be uh, not well. Each collection, each half of the collection would be nineteen ninety nine. Here you're getting the complete collection, and you can see there the embroidery sitters, they're all metal embellishments, the vintage sewing machines, the clocks, the dragonflies, keys, rabbits will go well with your Alice stamps, uh, you've got the hands, uh, you've also got the uh, so clock hands, the more, there's more butterflies, uh, the feathers, all of those. Alice. There's Alice in there as well, yeah. Yeah. So all of this. For twenty-four ninety-eight, you're saving fifteen pounds. Now, considering one half of the collection was twenty pounds, so for an extra four ninety-eight, but then you're also getting uh, both of the ribbon in there too. So six meters of beautiful lace ribbon, three meters on each. Uh, five five nine five four nine. Your item number there. Okay, here comes a girl. So I feel like I should be singing. I won't. Don't worry. Uh, but you can see you're getting such characters. Now all of these are actually inspired by the design team. So these are all characters from the design, I say characters from the design, this is all uh, Dolly Dimple's design team brought to life. I love it, having your own stamp coming through. And they are, they are incredibly quirky, really imaginative, and this is why we love Dolly Dimples, because it's getting to play with something a little bit different. So you can start creating something like this. Or you could make something like this. This is actually a I remember this demonstration uh, we were doing last time Charmaine was here. But beautiful stamps, they're endearing, they've got a lot of personality to them and that's a great, uh, I think, statement for, of intent for Dolly Dimples. Whenever they bring you any stamp collection, they want it to be absolutely full, lavish it with personality. Two flexi payments if you're a Freedom member. Now, I do need to point out there is a further 10% saving for Freedom members. So, £27 is a great saving. But if you're a Freedom member, that saving gets even higher to £31.99. Uh, it's £44.94. Do you know that works out? £6.44 per stamp. £6.44. I know. Shana Flormans is impressed. Just have a look at the first flexi payment. Twenty is it twenty two pounds as a freedom member? Your first flexi pay well, even not freedom member, twenty four ninety eight is a great price for all these stamps. As a freedom member, your first flexi payment would be twenty two pounds and some change. We'll just flash that for you in a second. Uh, eight three five five one zero, your item number. If you do want the girls to come home with you, and why wouldn't you? You can have so much fun with these. Uh, there we go. Twenty two forty seven, your price if you're a freedom member today. Uh, okay, we're going to move on. The saving on this collection. Well, actually, the savings across the board are huge. But look, you're getting twenty two stamps in total. Do you know, it works out at £4.99 per stamp. Isn't that incredible? So 59 stamps in total. 109.78 is your price, but we have got three flexi payments on this. So the other collections we, where there was a flex payment, it will be two. But here we're able to spread it over three months. This is your Christmas right here. So think about injecting the humor, the character, the charm of Dolly Dimples. And I know there are so many fans out there of Dolly Dimples. I love all of these. So we've just got <laughs> the robin in there, the owl. The, I'm going to turn these last three around so you can see them. So they are clear stamps, beautiful quality, thick, thick stamps. So I'll just turn those around, I won't turn them all, but then you get an idea of the amount of stamps that you're getting in here uh, to build up your image. Let me just show you something, because this was made using the, oh, this is very cool. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> all right, take a look at that, right? That's really cool. But then, let me just show you here, what about that? Charmaine? didn't even see that before. That was the demo I did when I brought those. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so you can see. Scene building. It's all oh. about scene building. That is incredible. There you really get an appreciation of the horse in there. You've got the robin, the snowman, the owl, the, uh, the mouse, uh, and then you've got Saint Nick. 
And then, what is this? Who's this, Charmaine? So you've got Saint Nick. Is that just Saint Nick again? Different pose. I can't see. Them. Oh no, you've got two. Well, you've got Santa, the yeah. real Santa, yeah. and then you've got Father. Uh, sorry, Grandpa Wilson. Oh. Now, if you know my other half, it's Mr. Wilson. Oh, okay, that's Grandpa. Okay. <laughs> that's Grandpa Wilson. He's he's ninety plus, yeah. and he has one single red button, and he's training to be Santa, because they have to go to Santa school. Oh. Don't you love his knobbly knees, though? I love. I love more. <laughs> Incredible saving on this, £132. Look, you can see the price when you break it down for each of these sets. Uh, 10978 it's 4 99 per set, it's incredible. 637 uh, 336 item number. Right, now we do have uh, some seasonal stamps for you as well. They're over the journal, so we'll get to those in a minute. Uh, I'll tell you what we might do is just jump onto the website and we can... Oh, we've got a picture. So we're going to show you a picture of the seasonal stamps. So 69 stamps in total. There is a stamp collection for everyone on the show. Uh, 276 607, your item number. If you do want to go for your Dolly Dimples, complete seasonal stamp collection there. 74.88 your price. Two flexi payments of 37.44. Your... You're so good when you release a stamp collection, but being able to get them at sale price... I'm not good all the time, though. I think so. I think you are. I think you are. I'm not so. a good girl. Well, what, what are we playing with right now? I'm doing a mix, but I do try with the sales prices to give good value for money and well, you things. Really do. You know, especially at this time of year. You know, yeah. We, we kind of need every little house, doesn't it? I'm just... I'm playing, basically. I okay. am playing. So I did in the first hour um, the box and I did the two. So mm -hmm. this one is from the kit. This one is, um, it was the leftover piece from the previous show. Um, and in fact, if I jump to this, it started off where I started masking them. So mm -hmm. here was my blue Peter style. And then I started colouring and then I jumped to one that was further coloured. So I've trimmed them down with sections in and ended up with this piece. So I did this in uh, at 11 o'clock and built it in a box using the template from the kit. Um, and, and then I've added all these bits, but you can see I've used the stitching. I've done the stitching on them. I haven't done the other, um, what's it called? Um, handle. But I've got stitching stitching on the top and I need to finish off the stitching and I just use, oh, I've got glue going on there. I just use a Secura um, fine liner pen. What do you call them? A oh, fine liner pen. Yeah. Well, Fine on a pen on it okay. to do the stitching on there, and I've got the back side which matches all the way around, if that makes sense. Inside, I've um, coloured in the inside bits because this was done on my mixed media card, and I've added in some paper. So that's ready to decorate um, either using the boxes from the template or so using it that coloured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or actually using it from the kit itself. Nice. You can put boxes in, or you can do what I prefer to do, which is to make something like if you put inside this one, doo -doo -doo, like a journal page. This is from the Alice. Sorry, it's uh, gone, but at least those that managed to get it can see what I'm talking about. But not only on there, if you look here, Yanis, can mm. you see the... Oh, from the seasonal, from the, so, yeah, from the seasonal yeah. girl. So that's from autumn, and I've just stamped part of it up. And as we slide along, this is from my um, flower collection that I previously had on. So um, here are the mushrooms that come with um, one of the collections and the little bee in there. So you can see that what I like to do is mix my collections so they all mix with each other. And if you're not into colouring, then colour with your inks and just stamp in black and white. Nice. So you, that's basically what I'm going for. Okay. So I'm mixing up the collections. So I have started with this little tiny one here, which is, oh, another glue gun blob, which is from the Under the Sea range, um, which has come from, not that one. <laughs> it has come well, from... Well, you show the Under the Sea, I've got a couple of inspirations actually using that mermaid, which we see there. Look at this, it gives you an idea of what you could be making. I love it. Who did this one? Me. <laughs> Charmaine, this is stunning. Well, when I did you know, that, I've never getting... done the light effect before, and I know it's not perfect, but I'm not perfect, and I don't aim for being perfect when I mm -hmm. go into a colour zone. But I was actually abroad 
Yeah. And it was chucking it down, believe it or not. When you did that? <laughs> Before the lockdown wow. appeared. Yeah, I was abroad, so I sat in the hotel yeah. room all occasionally with a bit of sunshine out. And it just helps. I was actually away near the sea and playing away. Yeah, I'm just going to show you pictures of what you're getting under the sea. So 76 stamps in total. Look, what I would say at the bottom, because it's hard to gauge a sense of scale uh, in pictures, but the two stamp sets, the larger ones at the bottom, are A4 stamp sets absolutely chock-a-block and they are beautiful stamps they really are I'm a massive fan of under the sea uh, so there we go 74.93 but you can split that price in half so I'm using two colors of ink um, and I'm not cleaning in between because they're really quite juicy ink pads which will give me a crossover of color and then I think I'll re-stamp so I'm kind of making a little bit of a background that doesn't want to be the focal piece and just switching it up and then I can over stamp and over stamp to create to create, to create tongue twister Charmaine some layers in there and a bit of character behind so if I don't want to go heavy with my pencils I can do this I've gone in partially with um, the kimono girl stamp number four if I remember rightly and just partially popped her head in there like so now if I remove her mm -hmm. and pop her back where she belongs there you go matey and I can then go in with the stamp that comes with her Mm -hmm. uh, one of their back in background stamps and I can pop part of that on as background as well so I'm going to go in with a, a different color now maybe mix it up and go in with some brightness so I'm going to go for an orange ink and then I'm going to chuck on the turquoise in the middle of it so you get what you get and I'll sneak that in as a background Lovely. just a little a little rock I don't want a perfect yeah. image and a little rock at the top where I didn't use the ink. Just a cheeky registration. Yeah, just, a, just a little bit. So I'm not looking for a perfect image there. And I'm going to do the same if I flip that back so that I've still got ink on there. Move it around because I'm working on a piece. And a little rock of the stamp. So I'm not aiming for that perfect image. If you want a perfect image, or you want to see that it does a perfect image, I will show. Mm -hmm. So I want to still want to mix the colours up. So I'm now going with pink and orange and I will sneak it in at the top coming down here. There we mm. go. So I don't know why I've got my stamp platform with me, but I'd like to do both. So you can see that you can still get a full image if you want, but I just want a little bit of that. So I'm creating a bit of a background going on there. So I'll pop that one back. Um, on there and I like to do this for those that have already uh, managed to get the stamps beforehand right. um, they can mix to show that you can mix them in with you know existing kits um, mm -hmm. and just keep going you can add to your collection so we've got her sneaking in move that one over move that one over and you over there and we will have maybe a mermaid popping in so we mm -hmm. go to under the sea and this one is rise to the top and she's going to bob in upside down. So she's the same mermaid that I've got on this box. Lovely mermaid. So she's going to come down there. Or I could just have her tail in. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to have her. So let's jig her around. Oh, in the speaking of under the sea, um, yep. we've had a lovely email in. This is from uh, Karen, just saying, uh, just dropping a line to say thank you for fetching the Undersea Collection. I bought this thinking my granddaughter would like it, but I have to say I probably like it more, and even my husband loves it. A simply stunning collection, and I'm so glad we bought it. Please don't be deceived thinking this is just for younger members of the family, because as Karen was saying, uh, you've got such characters here, and they really are very, very cute. I think all your collection of stamps, but equally, this is from Under the Sea. Now, that... Nothing to say that's for you. That just looks like a beautiful journal cover. But there is a secret, because as we start to open up, then you get to see. Look at the characters within this collection. And be perfect for shrink plastic if you wanted. Aren't they great? So, I mean, it just keeps on going I mean, on and that's on. It's taken me a while to do each image and put it on there. But the background was just some spray. <laughs> yeah, and the saving and I, as well. I love the shark. I think when you turn the, it over, I've actually carried on on the back, but I've not finished it. Maybe I should have been carrying that one on. Oh, what? See them UFOs? <laughs> they get everywhere. 
So just showing you, the UFO is an unfinished uh, project, if you're wondering. What unfinished the UFO object. Is. Unfinished object, rather. Uh, at the moment, we've got three minute queues on our phone lines. We are very busy. If you do want to go for under the sea, saving £51. And if you do love a saving, and if you're looking for the Christmas release from Dolly Dimples, we have 22 stamps. A hundred and thirty-two pound saving over there. We'll get that to that in in just a while, but we will uh, maybe just get a shot for you. Twenty-two stamps in total. Getting all those collections. Uh, Thirty-seven forty. Oh, sorry, no. I'll just give you the details. Three flexi payments here. I just turned the last three around just to show you the stamps uh, there. So one hundred nine seventy-eight. Your price saving one hundred thirty-two pounds. Okay, Charmaine, you okay? So the uh, image that you see on the front of all the stamp covers mm -hmm. is the same actual size as the image of the stamp. So you've got something to follow. So we always give you inspiration. And a lot of our characters, including all the Christmas ones, when you open them up inside, they've all got ace stories to tell about their lives. Uh -huh. Now, we don't always tell stories about our lives, but we do with them. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I am going to throw some colour on. This mm -hmm. is my technical term. Okay. Um, because I can't speak technical, I'm going to throw some colour on the wee little wifey here, as they say in Scotland, nice. and give her a little bit of character. Now, with the Japanese ladies, you can do the, you know, the whitewash if you want. Yeah. I'm using my mixed media card, which will take alcohol pens, it will take acrylic and um, watercolour and all those sort of mediums. And then I am going to give her, can get back to that one, I'm going to give her a little bit of shading just underneath her hairline, just mm -hmm. a tiny fraction of shading there. And it always looks very, very bizarre to start off with until I tone it down and put a hair on. I suppose it's like putting a stocking on your head um, ready for putting a wig on. Mm. There we go. So a little bit in the cheeks here. Do you tend to find, because I know with the Here Comes the Girls, the DT... Uh, team were featured there. Do the designers kind of look around for relatable characters? Yeah, I think I think so. We do, we generally we play and have um, great fun with things, and we all come up with different sort of effects and stuff. And I base a lot of these things when I'm colouring in on on people that I know. So it's, you know, in the stories that are there, that our Sue tells about the characters. Yeah. Um, yeah, things just come to life. Do you know a lot of um, the customers that I've bought, or say, on my following, whatever you like to call mm -hmm. them, you know, they're still my loyal customers that have bought our products, are doing storybooks. Oh. So they're also doing colouring books as well, and I've seen some absolutely awesome work. I can imagine. You know, what you're showing is you're, you're filling that in. Look at this, showing you the kimono girls. How incredible is that? Ooh. Love that. And the thing with a kimono is the traditionally kimono, the fabric used, beautifully lavish. You've got wonderful gold metallic thread coming get, through, yeah. different contrast of colours. We were talking earlier on, uh, you mentioned like red with a white emboss, how beautiful that would look. Yeah, I mean, the gold embossing on black and red is just absolutely awesome statement piece. And then the very, very simple to cut up as well. Sounds barbaric there. But if you want to fussy cut and build the actual outfits together and you don't do colouring in, then you can do that as well. So what I'm doing here with the hair, I've used a blue. Mm -hmm. Why not? Because, you know, you can these days. You can have whatever colour you want. And I'm going in with a grey. So I've left a patch and I'm just going to scribble over the top because I just want to, oh, to tone that, that down. Yeah and blend it in and usually when I'm using alcohol pens I do everything twice and then I go back in with the pencils now I know I don't always have enough time to get through everything and I've got a lot on today haven't I <laughs> a lot mm -hmm. of bargains on so um, I'm just gonna stick with the same color and yeah. do the same sort of thing I'd like class this is my flicking yeah. and uh, bring the color down there as quick as I possibly can and then I can move on to the next one she's definitely got to have some bright bright pink hair or something so, chuck yeah. some colour on. So, if I finish this bit off, do you want to show some more samples? So it's going I'd to be love the same to. Thing I've got another one here from the Kimono Girls. So, this is using our journal case that we've got the templates for on the papers. So, once you have used up all the papers, carry on using your journals. You're going to really like this. So, isn't that beautiful? But then, when we oh, upside down, sorry. Then, when we start to open up and discover. Look at that. I really like this. That's uh, Emma. Emma Blakes. 
you know she made that in yeah. less than a day what <laughs> stunning but it gives you an idea just having characters that you're uh, that you're in, um, able to bring to life so those are the kimono girls i know we're very busy for the under the sea i'm gonna say a bold statement i love the kimono girls at the moment if i if i was torn between if i had to pick one collection today um i have to do you know what i i'm very torn between christmas or uh, under the sea. What yeah. I would say with the Christmas, I know it's a little bit more expensive, you're obviously getting more, but there are three flexi payments. But if you do want to, and that is your Christmas that we're seeing here, uh, we'll just flash the details. I mean, the saving, if you love a bargain. I personally, I think I think I bug my wife doing this because if I get, if I buy something at a good price, and I tend to always want to buy something at a good price, I will always tell her, I'll brag about it, <laughs> I save this. Uh, so you are saving, I mean, £132, that is something you are definitely going to brag about. And also being able to spread the cost over three flexi payments, 36 59 but real characters there. We like that. How are you getting on? Right, okay, so I've got some coverage on there. So what I tend to do is I then go in with a pencil. So this is the same, same as I usually do. And I'm doing a flicking technique up the top, which to me is an easy way of, of doing hair to give it um, the depth of, you know, the lines in the hair, if that makes sense, or the, follic yeah. the hair follicles there. An easy way of doing it. So I always try to do easy things, easy techniques that anybody can follow who turns around and says, I can't colour, I can't cut, I can't cut, I can't, cut. I can't cut. Yeah. You know, I'll try and find the easiest way to get a result that I'm happy with. And then you can always progress from that. Mm -hmm. So going back in, you've got a base coat on there. Yeah. And then I'm going back in a little bit more intense with a pencil. Probably better if this was sharper, because then I'd get more lines. And you can see from one side to the other, I've not touched this, which we call it bobble in the hair, of yeah. hair, bunch. bunch. And, I've yeah. and I've done Bun. it on this one. And if I go underneath and follow the line art halfway along, mm. it does make a little bit of difference. And it is only tracing. You're still making it your own, yeah. but it's just tracing what's already there. And if you don't go exactly the same way as it it doesn't matter there is no rules in crafting except for have fun, fun yeah. and don't throw it in the bin no. so this area here to me would be the darkest where it's bunched up so i'm going to kind of scribble a little bit on there to make that area yeah. darker and, and that's as simple as it gets for me you're guided by the stamp yes. so it will give you an indication and also we remember we've got that artwork on the front of your stamp too so just adding a little bit of uh, texture seeing the fibers of the hair adding the shadow and if that is as technical as you get for looking that good i think that's an absolute win well i'm up for that one thank you mm. so i'm just going to put a little bit of color um in the flower i'll go around the outside of the flower and i'll flip to the next one and i just carry on Perfect. I just carry on. If I want to add sprays and change the colour of the background, I can do. And then that is it that would go in my box. Incredible. Okay. okay. Now, what we're doing here, we're building the centre of our journal case. We have got the uh, collection for the journal cases. Great saving on this. So, uh, just showing you here, an introduction price saving £20. You are getting the templates, but you're also getting the beautiful mixed media printed journal pages. So, what you're getting is this beautiful artwork allowing you, and that actually, if I just pick one up here, so this gives you an idea of the elements you're going to be working with. So you're just scoring them and bring it to life. But listen to this. You really, you can hear that mixed media, but it's a good, good quality. You feel it when you get that home. But that's all printed for you. So then you can go straight to building up something like this. All of these cases that you're able to make. So you can make 15 in total, but you've got the template to then go on and make more of your own. So think about your own designs. So these are the, what will come with it, but then you can make something like that because you've got the template to make your own. $19.99 your price, saving £20 if you do want to get hold of those. Uh, we have more to share as well. We've got the embellishments. So with the embellishments, you can split up the complete collection into two parts. Each part would cost $19.99. Have a look at the saving though. So you can get half the collection for say £20 just to make my uh, maths easier or for an extra £4.98 you get that complete collection. 
or 4.99 then if we want to get on there spot on. So you've got the uh, keys, they're all metal embellishments. So we've got keys, we've got Alice in there, the rabbit. Uh, you've got all eight complete sets, embroidery, scissors, sewing machines, more keys. It is a stunning, stunning set. You're also going to get six meters of beautiful cotton lace in there as well. So seeing down here, you will get both those sets. $24.99 your price, $559.549 your item number. Uh, we're going to go back to demonstration. <laughs> what were you getting, Charmaine? Do you need me to give you a bit more time? I, I needed a mouse. Uh, I <laughs> there can was give a loose, loose about this. Do you want me to give you I can. You're okay, I've got yeah? him. Okay. I've got Bless him. you. <laughs> we're going to go back to demo and my backside's up in the hair. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a ridiculous shot, wouldn't it? Oh, here we go. Right, so I go back to. Now I'm going to go mix in Christmas in here. Um, I've just put a little bit of colour on her hair, mm -hmm. but here's one of the Christmas stamps. So let's have Peter Pew. This is the large Peter Pew, and he's going to pop in there. Now, does he have to be Christmas? How many Christmas mouses do you get? Yeah. Well, a mouse is for all year. Yeah. So, and of course, all the scarves on the owls and the mice and uh, the. Other characters that I've got, scarves, could be football colours, as I oh, keep saying. Yeah. Oh, that's people. very true. Well, any sport, really. Football, rugby. Yeah, yeah. Now, shall I mention three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, you don't. I'm just saying. You get golfing yeah. scarves. <laughs> as we're doing this, yeah. and you please c continue demonstration, now let me stop you. Okay. But you're going to tell me a story about a bank. What happened? I'm, I'm desperate to find out. Just before we're going live, Charmaine turned to me and said, I got kicked out of the bank. And then we'll like count it into the show. So you can't leave me hanging. Well, how did you get kicked out of the bank? I got kicked out of the bank. Can we tell this story? <laughs> yeah, no problem. I was in the bank and I was trying to sort out my business banking. Nightmare mission. I couldn't yeah. get onto the online banking. Mm -hmm. So the guy on the phone had told me to go in in branch. In branch mm -hmm. didn't want me to be in branch with my business banking. And in the end, he wanted me to go out with the COVID-19 and actually be outside on the street with a security guard to go through my business banking, my personal um, passwords and things like that. And I'm thinking, have I lost the plot or have they lost the plot? I was just like, and then and the queue was big, so obviously this was going to take Everyone's some time. Everyone's eavesdropping, so what were those passwords? I was jotting them down. Yeah, and all the cameras about. Yeah. I was thinking, for real, um, have I lost the plot? Oh, no, seriously, the branch manager wanted me to do this. So I had a bit of a padder. Wow, well, I don't yeah. blame you. Yeah. Sorry, okay, that was a good The story. lovely lady behind the counter eventually, after two and a half hours, did manage to sort me out mm -hmm. with my um, internet banking. But the branch manager, I don't want to speak to him anymore because I think he's lost the plot. Well, there you go. Yeah, so. So what I am pleased about, because we're working with the Christmas stamps, and they are, <laughs> uh, that collection, we've seen a real spike now. A lot of you are going for this option. Details are on your screen. I always love it when we're able to offer three flexi payments, especially on something, you know, over the £100 mark. So you're saving £132. It is the biggest saving of any collection of stamps that we're featuring uh, with Dolly Dimples today. So it is a way better than 50% saving. You are getting three flexi payments. So for £36 and a few pennies today, we send everything out to you. You're spreading it over three months. You are getting the Dolly Dimples Christmas Town and Friends. And I would imagine this is something already you're building up that whole town, the whole scene. But in the future, you could be adding to it. So what you're able to do, and this, this is a huge compliment to Dolly Dimples, you're able to create, if I just show you this in a second, apologies, I'm making life hard for uh, Holly, our director, but if you just have a little look, this is the whole town together, how well they all work together, and it just gives you so many possibilities from a crafting stance, whether you want to create home decor, uh, ornaments for the tree, bunting, uh, characters, construction, cards, I mean, this is your Christmas collection right now. Um, great, and Christmas crackers, there's so much you could do. Okay, sorry, Charmaine. No, no problem. I'm, I'm just doing basically exactly the same thing that I do before. And if I jump to my same blue pencil, doo, 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 mm -hmm. my famous blue pencil, or have I left it out? Yep, there you are. You know what, I'll put it away. 
actually invested in a new one because this yeah. one's did and if I go back to the line art mm -hmm. that's there for you and highlight that area and go underneath where his arms are I look at objects so if I get a stamp and I'm coloring somebody else's stamp and there is no um, you know inspiration there to follow yeah. I then look at that and look at objects or if it's like people and the way they're positioned and where the shadows would fall you know sometimes I'll hold my arm out or this that and the other and look in the mirror um, mm. to see where them shadows fall I don't look at the lights coming from above or here or there because it just it's what's happening at the time yeah. and the more I do it the more I think this is how it's going to be it's not always right but it's what I'm happy with um, and I'm not spending too much time worrying about things, if that makes so sense to you. In the Christmas collection, yep. we've got so many characters to play with. The snowman is incredible. We've got Santa in there as well. What I will do, I'm just grab the snowman and Santa just to show you uh, the actual stamps. This is what I'm talking about when we say characters. And it really has, I think, the Dolly Dimples, excuse the pun, stamp on them because you see their own uh, sort of personality. So there is Santa, ho ho ho. Then we've got our snowman, but also there is a kind of vintage charm as well. It's kind of it's Dolly Dimples, so they're they're cute, they're character led, a lot of personality, but equally there is a, a touch of timelessness to them too. Uh, drawing from it, that's just two of the stamps. You're getting 59 in total. They are so cute and quirky, aren't they? They just, I mean, look at him. He's just like. Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> you could just like, oh, I was going to say eat him, but we don't eat mice, What's, do we? Do, do they get their story in this as well? Yes, their story in him. This is Peter Pugh. He's quite shy and would really like to get out of the oh. um, uh, the church but that he lives in. But um, he hasn't ventured out yet, but you never know, one day he might do and he sees his friends in there from the oh. corner of the pew. Has he got, has he got a girlfriend? He's a good boy. Well, good boys can have girlfriends. No, he's no? a good okay. boy. Right. He's not got a Sorry, girlfriend. Sorry, Peter Pugh. Not yet. He's too young. Okay. Oh, he's a good boy. He doesn't mess with girlies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also get a pleasant stroll, maybe one day holding hands. Uh, later on. Maybe, okay. maybe later on he'll get a girlfriend, right. but not yet. He's a good boy. So I just give his cheese a little bit of a colour, and he's got cheese in his pocket, so I'll do that at the same time. And I I'll give his, I can't his believe cheese, you're asking like about his girlfriend. That's a bit personal, isn't I it? Didn't, I didn't realise it was off limits. This was meant to be a probing No, it's a daytime TV. Don't talk about his love life. You know, he's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put him some little pink cheeks uh -huh. in there because why not? You've made him blush now. Oh, I've, so, I've made him uh, blush. Yep, that's it. I'm you sorry, did Peter. it. <laughs> so no, he's shy. So we'll give him his tail in the same colour uh -huh. as well. Uh, <laughs> maybe we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> there go. Uh, sorry, that's the voices in my head there. <laughs> We're learning more about so, Peter's backstory. I know. It's very intriguing. <laughs> well, you'll have a nighttime version later. It's after nine o'clock okay. on the Facebook group. There you go. <laughs> so, okay, giving him brown in his eyes. Now, this area here is going to be the black of his eye, and that bit is going to be the white of his eye. So, a black pen will do for now. So, we'll mm -hmm. pop that in. But that's not looking Christmassy, is it? No. So, no, not at all. pop that in, pop that in. And then the old favourite white gel pen's got to pop out in the box yeah <laughs> here we go and the white gel pen there and there isn't yeah. so cute yeah. now you can spend a lot more time on him and give him fur which i've done and i've got you know pictures up of, of social media mm -hmm. with flicking and things but that to me is enough color i would probably go in and do the same thing with a pencil highlight areas and it'll really make him pop but obviously haven't got mm -hmm. like time to it so if we then take this out, I really need to add more colour to it, and we're bringing one of um, the Diddy boxes here. So these are your journal cases, and we've got a great introductory price on these. So you can make 15, but you've got the templates in the kits as well. So once those 15 have been made, what uh, Charmaine's been showing us now is how we're going to go on and customise and make our own. So this is a combination of Under the Sea, uh, our fantastic stamp collection, using the journal cases. So we've used the template and then you can fill it and create your own sort of journal case. Yeah. So as you can see with the other ones that we've done, and this is the one that I did, which is actually using the template. So if I move 
um, to it. So they're very, very easy to do, especially if you're sat at home. So you've got the two pieces, which is the front and back. You get five different ones. Mm -hmm. And you also get, um, the obviously, these are the mechanisms as well. So there's five different colourways and two of each, which gives you 15 in total. And, of course, the template to redo, 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 until you've redo as much as you want. What I would like to do is, yeah. you know how we got them stacked? Is I'd like to make a drawer system for them to sit in and actually use them for some of my embellishments you know because i like to keep things that i've made as well as well, give that's nice. so if you've got the stacking system like that yeah i made a draw system for them to go in which would be quite easy to do and then you could keep your embellishments in there as well that's so, a good idea you know, not just sending gift cards out who made this that one's our lupe <laughs> she's called um, yeah. louisa price yeah and what she's done is she's used the komodo girls um backing papers from the uh, decoupage collection and made up all those little origami uh, folded bits and pieces and so it's a little gift in there that but popping in you know some jewelry at christmas time or a birthday into a box it's you know a keepsake so then she's used yeah. the kimono oh. girls on the inside of that one yeah i'll show you I'm and just all of those are from the template not from okay. the kit so, so we're going to be doing the kit and this is the another one seat. from the yeah using the template so just showing you you can make with this collection 1999 this is going to be a brand new skill with that template and a new way to imagine all those stamps and stencils you have in your stash because ultimately you can make as many of these to your heart's content so uh, as gifts if you want to give these uh, maybe some jewelry if you want to present a gift card or a lovely little journal you can put pictures in there as well uh, Charmaine showing you how easy it is to personalize these fantastic uh, cases these journal cases okay so I'm now coloring in um Peter Pugh, and Peter Pugh has now got pink pants on. So could Peter be? Um, I like it. What? Patricia? No, it could. Well, I'm wearing pink shirts. So nothing wrong with pink trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's say, a good com didn't combo. Say that's a good comeback as well. Yeah. I didn't say there was anything wrong with. Subliminal, pink. you were just you were drawn to the pink. Of course, yeah, because you know hot pink pants. Yeah. I don't know how you'd look in hot pink pants, Janice. Maybe this is a would be a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say hot pants or did I say hot pink pants? You said hot pink pants. <laughs> now, well, how did you know that I always coordinate my pants and my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> and you know that they'd fit in that big box there, don't you? There you go. <laughs> It's a topic, so, if you're wondering there, Steve, I messaged in because there was a topic on your, was it Facebook? Yeah, it's on the Facebook page. Uh, it was actually, I put it on my main page. I, when I'd done um, some of the uh, suitcases, I put one up. I was actually holding it in my hand so you could actually see the size of it as I make it take. And I said, I packed my cases and I'm ready to go. And it was like, you won't get much in that. And it went on in that way and a few found it quite funny and then the next one was you know you won't get your pens in there no I'd need a bigger van for my pens um, I wouldn't even get my undies in <laughs> let alone my pens well that's why we came up with yeah. the box yeah mm. so there we go um, do you want to say that again so um, I've got a scarf done I've left a little bit of white area went went a bit peaked on here but then I can go with my white pencil or my white gel pen which is there on the table and I can add a little bit of highlight nice. back into that one Good so one. I think he's really cute I like him and it just darken up um, his pocket areas and underneath so just a little bit underneath where his jumper will be overlapping darken up the pockets because obviously it's usually a darker area on pockets of things well I think it is mm -hmm. and um, it's just sort of random softness of uh, the pencil instead of that solid yeah. Um, colouring to give it a little bit of shade. I just find it's just so easy and mixing up the different mediums that I've got and then finally I'll probably go around the outside of the images and I, I just rinse and repeat you know the only time that I'm doing something different is if it's acrylics or watercolour but sometimes I'll do this as watercolour and then go in with another one. Shall I add another stamp to it? Uh, so while you're doing that, can I just give you a quick mm -hmm. heads up? We have got our seven day savers. They're proven very busy. So uh, a, a few of you actually just checking out our seven day savers at the moment. So we'll flag those for everyone to have a quick look at. We've got the blue ribbon collection for you. Taking a look here, 24 rolls, two of each design, 13.99. Oof. 
Good saving, saving ten pounds there. Uh, three nine two three six one, your item number. We also have a believe in magic. Uh, paper pad. So if you believe in magic, I think you're going to like this one. Uh, really nice paper pad here. You're getting your uh, every craft's a bargain. Three believe in magic paper pads. You are saving more than you are spending. We always love that equation. So you're getting your 12 by 12, your 8 by 8, and your 6 by 6 for 14.99. That is an absolute bargain. Uh, just another one of the seven savers that might tickle your fancy. Last one before we head back to Charmaine. I've uh, got a couple of dies for you, so if you do love your die cutting, having a look here. Ooh, Tutti Designs, and we've got these lovely die sets. The Flying a Kite and Cross Stitch Nesting Star. Four dies in total, saving £7. Fifteen ninety is your price there. Right, OK, I have gone for, we have got winter left, haven't we? And Well, I know we've still got the big collection of the seasonal yes. girls at... Um, mm -hmm. There we go. This is the winter one. So spring went um, earlier. <laughs> spring went yeah. quite soon, didn't it? It did. <laughs> Actually, I think uh, we might have had uh, literally one bounce back uh, individually for spring. So if you want to get a hold of that, details are on your screen. Spring was the first to sell out and think one bounce back. Uh, we've also got the complete collection, so if you can stretch for the bundle, there is a great saving on there. So we will show you the savings with the bundle. I think it was like 40-odd pounds uh, saving. Uh, we'll just show you now. Uh, 45 pounds saving if you do want to go for the bundle. So 6.24 percent. Uh, that's how much it works out at. 74.88 your price there. 276.607 your item number. But when you talk about, let me just show you with regard to, I'm just going to pick up the feature stamps in the mix. So, bear with me. With the large ones, uh, I think they're $16.99 individually, and well, the others are $10.99, so be that's a really good price. I wouldn't be surprised. So there's your spring that's sold out. Look at the size of that stamp. And you, you can break that down, so you can just have that section, we can just have that section coming through. You can maybe just use the, uh, the picket fence. So that is your spring. Now you're getting more than these. I'm just showing you just one aspect. So we're getting background stamps. Each season has three stamps comprising of your hero stamp, your background stamp, and then your worker stamps. There's, I really like autumn. But again, you can just pull that out. And then you've got your uh, pumpkin in there, or we've got a character. And then finally, you have your summer in the mix. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do her face. So I've just had her sneaking in, a little bit of sneakiness. So she's sneaking in, and you can see that I've still got that stamped area. So I've aimed for a clean area of her face there. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will give her facial colour as quick as I possibly can, because I okay. know that time is time and go in with a, a flesh colour here. So I'm using what they call a, 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 a hybrid hybrid ink pad because I never know what I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. So with that, at least I can uh, mix them about. So get that on there. And I should have left it a little bit longer before I start colouring in because the ink is still wet. But I'm going to go with it. and. That's all the skin that I think I can see. No, I'm going to do her partially naked down here. So underneath there, there we go. So a little bit of skin going on yeah, there. Nice. And then our hair. So on the package, so the inspiration, you have her with kind of pastely pink hair. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go in keeping with my oriental lady and I'm going to go in with a blue because it's out. So I'm going to go in with a couple of shades. I'll start with the lighter one first and I'll get coverage on there. If I miss any areas, I'm not bothered because that'll be where the light hits it, if that makes sense. So just down the bottom here, leaving it almost like brush strokes with the pen to fill in later. So it, it is like kiddie colouring in um, because I'm a big kid and I mm -hmm. can. So it's, it's to me, it's about I get some coverage on there and nice. work it and work it and then I'll go make a coffee and I'll come back and if I'm happy with it or I chuck it on the floor and I look from above mm -hmm. and I'm happy with what I've got, then being up close and personal with it, then stop. I really like these said. characters. Yeah, she's, she's really quick, quirky. She's called Noelle. 
These have stories um, to the characters as well, mm -hmm. um, but they don't come with the stories like the other ones do, because it was kind of an afterthought. Okay. And Anne Marie did the stories to match. So I'm going in with a, um, a darker blue now and kind of following a hair flow, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. and a little bit darker where it would cross. Now, a hair is actually the mountains. So that's what the seasonal girls are supposed to be. Their hair is supposed to flow like autumn. It's leaves that follow into the field. Spring mm. is the, the spring field that follows over. And winter, she goes into the mountains with the igloos, yeah. if that makes sense. So mm -hmm. pop some colour down there. So I'm working with an alcohol pen because it dries fast, whereas, you know, quite a lot of time if I was doing samples, I may use watercolour and then wait for it to dry. Now, I don't know anybody personally that wants to wait for paint to dry. Mm. I don't want to watch paint dry. So that's why I choose to use those. So it's very streaky and very yeah. wishy-washy. And then I will go in with my next colour, which is the first one that I use, and scribble over the top to tone that down. Okay. So the two kind of blend a little bit. And then I work it and work it and work it with pencils to get the detail. Because I'm happier with a pencil, because it's fine, and it's what I started um, using when I was about four. So, you know, yeah. comfort zone. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, of course Comfort so. zone. So, seeing as I've got the blue out, I'm going to give her blue eyes. I would go in with a black pen, a mm -hmm. fine liner, and darken up um, the areas and, you know, really bring it, pull it together. So yeah. if I grab my fine liner... As we're getting that, mm -hmm. just to... Oh, we can see you do that. OK, so we go back in with a pupil, and of course the white pen will come in there, and then give her flicks of her eyelashes if I wanted her to look like lush. So I'm going to carry mm -hmm. on like this. Do you want to do a recap? Yeah, I just want to tell you that the Under the Sea collection, uh, just because time's been us, and we're really quick on this, remember you're getting two A4 stamp sets and it has been a, a very popular option this hour so you've got so many characters that is one a4 stamp set then you've got it's huge right then you've got another a4 stamp set in the mix there you go absolutely chock-a-block full of characters and then you're getting five a5 stamp sets look at the characters on each. These are the full size of the stamps. What I'm showing you here is just stamps coloured in. How cute is that turtle? Full enough. I really like her as well. Then we've got our mermaid with our friendly shark. So he, he is friendly, don't worry. Uh, and then you've got he's another... A <laughs> he's a vegetarian. He's vegetarian. He is. He's then a vegetarian. Another mermaid in the mix as well. All of these, we've got another mermaid coming through. But look at all the stamps on each one. Now all of that you're saving £51, £74.93. Uh, also really busy on our journal cases as well. So with these, you are able to make 15 of the journal cases, but you're also getting the templates in here. So once you have made a beautiful journal case, then you can, and this is an example of the journal case that you can make. That's just one of the styles. You've got all these different looks. Everything's printed off for you, uh, and you're saving £20 there, 19.99, and you are getting the template. OK, so I've carried on with her hair, and you can see that I'm just going in and darkening up areas. Again, this, what I class as a flicking, and bringing in some more colour with a pencil in exactly the same way that I've done throughout the show. And if we go like half on, you can see it starts to come together. I know that yeah. I'm not going to get to finish this well, okay. because post I'm it. a slow colourist. Well, maybe post it on your page? Yeah, so I definitely I always, I always post up samples yeah. in the group. Okay. So I just add a little tiny touch to her eyes and the nose and oh. then power them down. Thank you so much, Charmaine. Uh, thank You're you for welcome. your company. I really hope you've enjoyed this hour. Now, I'm really interested next hour because it's made to surprise. We've got traffic towers. Do not miss that. Afterwards, uh, we've got stackable solutions. Our one, oh, it's terrific tower, sorry. Uh, got stackable solutions. And then be your creative best with Cricut. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly. And we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning. And we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. 
We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil. And in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on her channel? Hi, I'm Tracy from Paratex UK. Paratex is um, a non-toxic, water-based fabric hardener. Whether you're making a sculpture, creating a fantastic canvas, we've got products that can help you to do that. We can all use it. You can craft with your children. It doesn't matter what age you are or what ability. When we bring the product to Chanda, you will see the possibilities are absolutely endless. As a family run business, we love being part of the Hachanda family. So watch the Paratex shows on Hachanda for some fantastic creative fun. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us, it gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. Look at that beautiful card. Now, this is an incredible card, isn't it? And that falls completely flat, but it has got that dimension and that architectonic nature. Well, 
It is from Make to Surprise and of course is by Sam Kalker. Now if you're just joining us, welcome here at Hochanda. We try to inspire you with beautiful com different products from different companies and amazing designers. And we have got Sam in the building for the first time. Hello Sam. Hi. <laughs> now it's the first time that you are in the building. Yes. However, you have had uh, some releases already here yes. at Hochanda. So this is the third release. So the first one I done all the demos pre-recorded. Yeah. The second I done them live from my craft room and now I'm finally here in the studio yeah so you made it uh, yeah you who you did it <laughs> you made it this is why you know everything had a, you know a purpose now the concept from the tower falls eyes is is a really clever idea and um, what how did you come up with this idea concept I actually done it two years ago and um, I shared it and it was really really popular and it's always been something my mum loves it and um, it's just really well received every time we do it so I it was one of the ones when I was given the opportunity to put these into die form I wanted to do these in three sizes and have all these extra additions so the edges the panels we've got alphabet and we've got fantastic stamps which I love now you, can see. you mentioned the additions as well so we are going to go exactly with what you get in, in each bundle but I just wanted to give you a sample a sample kind of a flavor of these beautiful designs right let's go and see the first bundle that you are get, that you can purchase now it's the six by six tower card a, with the excellent edges and pretty panels you're getting a lot for your money, Sam, in this one as well. Yeah, I was surprised as well when I saw it all, because obviously you, when you sit there, you, you're designing it all and you're putting it all together, but when you actually see it there, there's a lot of metal. So here you are getting the base die. Uh, that is, in one die, does it cut it everything? Yeah, so the, the main card blank is your big one there, which has kind of got all those kind of tiers, I guess, and uh, that will cut the main shape, and then you have your mats and layer dies. Yep. So it's nice that this is taking all the maths away because you know you sit there with your ruler and your scoreboard and you do it all with this you just pass it through and it's all cut for you and all the score lines are there as well. So and then you have got the mats as well here and then of course the decorative elements. Yeah. But that's not all. You also are getting in this bundle uh, the excellent edges which let me which I'm going to put them here. So the edges is these ones and I'm showing you the uh, the actual dies. And then I'm going to show you the die cuts, the negatives in here. So you can see that that's your uh, die cut. And then you have got the panels, the pretty panels in here, which they match. The butterflies is the same shape as well. And of course, yeah, ooh, it all ties together. Knocking things out. And this is the die cut uh, that you have got in there, which oh, is this a partial die yeah. cut? Yeah, so on a few, we can do it on the hearts, but we've got the partial die cut butterfly and also the bow there. And that's great for shaker cards. So you can put a sheet of window sheet behind that, and then you can have your shaker elements there as well. So that is actually a lot for your money because as some of the samples are show, show, well, it's, 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 it's 34 dies, but I love as well the fact that you have got hearts and you have got butterflies. So you have got all the different and the bows. So you have got the kind of different possibilities of theme wise as well. Yeah, I wanted something that you'll be able to use throughout the year. So obviously we're a bit way off from Valentine's, but once that comes around, you've got cards for that occasion as well. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I love them. I did, this one is the six by six tower card, excellent edges and pretty panels. Remember 34 dice in total. Forty-one pounds and ninety-seven pence is the price. You are saving eleven pounds nine seven six four nine three. Now I need to tell you that we are busy, very busy. So there are queues on the phones. If you can access to the internet, hotenda.com or the app on the phone, mobile devices also will work. Also, remember that you have got a flexible option if you want to spread the cost into interest-free payments. Now. <laughs> If you are a fan of 5x7s, well, the size of cards, these ones that we have got next for you will be absolutely phenomenal. This one is the landscape, the landscape, isn't it? What's the difference between the landscape and the 5x7 uh, um, tower? So with the landscape one, we wanted to give you the option to be able to, you don't have to have all of your sentiments as a vertical ah, sentiment. Right. So through that middle center panel, you could have stamps you've already got at home, but we've got stamps there that are in the stamp set that will fit within that section. 
So it's just to give you a different way of, of you know, using your sentiments, yeah. really. Oh, I see. Yeah, I love this one comes as well with the dragonflies on it's the edge. It's probably one of my favorites, the dragonflies. I really like and, it. And of course, this one is the ones that I started to show with because it, I love the way that you can use them for the inside. So there is some, I'm thinking, could you do this and many, many times? So, uh, oh, is this one? This one is for this card or? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the panel. Yeah. That's score around the yeah. middle. The difference with that one is I actually did make the mats and layers to, to create that inside. So, I mean, I can show that one yeah. if we get the chance. So, so basically, it's scored on the middle. Yep. So that kind of has that, that score. And then, of course, we have got, I love these ones again, the numbers which we have got on the show. Uh, fabulous price uh, alphabet for such a large numbers and alphabet as well. And look at that. And by the details for uh, that chunky alphabet at the bottom of the screen, only 15 pounds and 99 pence. Um, is that also the party time using that alphabet? Yeah. Oh, perfect. This, you know what I love about your style as well, Sam? Is that it's such a architectonical, I would say that, because then you can dress it up in any style you want it. It's like yeah. almost you give the foundations and then somebody else can interior de design it yeah. uh, as their style they want. So you can go more pretty or a less, um, you know, less kind of more, more kind of. Uh, Gender, non-gender specific. That's as well. why I like this style as well because it's a great one for masculine cards because of the, the sharp edges. It's just got that. It has when you start to change the colours, you've got perfect masculine. Mates now there. in this bundle, you also get in the uh, five by seven landscape pretty panel that I said, so you can see the here all the cutout, and also you are getting the five by seven landscape excellent edge dies. So you are getting all those flowers dies. You can layer them, but use them on their own as well. Yep. Especially the dragonflies and the presents again with Christmas coming up. They'd be great in your Christmas colors. It would actually. Yeah, you are absolutely right. And of course, this is the die to create the base card. Is this the matte and layers as well? Yeah, so you don't have to cut all those little ones out. It does it for you. And look at that more. Oh, oh that was like <laughs> so clumsy. Uh, everybody's so fine. Nobody, no dice were harmed. No cards were harmed in the making of this uh, program. And then we have got, of course, the, uh, the dice. You can see them. Uh, 307677 is your item number. 41 pounds and 97 pence for these three beautiful dice. 41 individual dice. 11 pounds saving. Now, that's the landscape. Now we are going to look at the 5 by 7 portrait. So that one, of course, has got, it's a slightly different, but coordinates beautifully as well. This one was more for the stamps when you, you should be showing those shortly. Mm -hmm. There's a, a real big fashion at the moment with the landscapes, um, sorry, your portrait style cards and those longer vertical sentiments. So yeah. this style card will do that and they look great. I love that one. I love the fact that it falls flat, that it has got that, again, I just think, I'm thinking a teenager would love that because yeah. it kind of has got like fun right sort of element to it. And then look at those ones as well. Look, yeah, it's just so fun. I love, 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 love that. Can you look at that? It's just, and the fact that it falls flat, but at the same time you have got this, which is very um, bright and youngster kind of thing. And then you have got these very traditional, gorgeous, delicate, beautiful flowers as well. Uh, now, of course, this is the tower folder, the 5 by 7 so will it fade in a 5 by 7 envelope? And it, it will, but once you add your edges on, that is going to create a larger card, so you would then have to use your like envelope punch boards, things like yeah. that, to make your own. Okay, and then we have got the flowers and the balloons as well. Here you can see the pretty panel uh, die set as well. Now, of course, you have got uh, these different panels in here, so you can see there. So look at the panels, so you can see that. Now, these panels are all different across the boards. Yeah. So if you or somebody went for all three bundles, yeah. they wouldn't have any repeats. There's no repeats at all. That's important, and of course you remember that you can flexibly. Uh, you have got a flexibly option too for this. Uh, uh, also, also this bundle, uh, twenty pounds and ninety nine pence, and of course you're saving eleven pounds or one of payment as well. Zero two six seven eight eight is your item number, and then we have got more goodies and brand new. Now we have got the embossing folders and stamps. I have to say, I like a big bold stamp, and you deliver that. I, I mean, just, yeah. look at them. And it's just beautiful. Now this is a stamp out. And are they? Um, what type of uh, stamps are they? So they're clear. They're photopolymer photo oh, stamps. Yeah. Fabulous. 
So you have got the quality there of foreign photopolymer. And look at the year, and that parts it. I'm thinking that stamp onto and the stamp on the bottom acetate and putting lights behind it, yeah. the LED. I mean, and look at the price, £12.98 for this amazing set of stamps and an embossing folder here at 6x6. So again, coordinates that, that dragonfly with the, pre, the, the dies. Yeah. yeah, so you could use the dragonfly separately and you could use the embossing folder and you can make cards, just, you know, standard cards that way as well. So you can really move the dies around. I mean, you are awesome. Not awesome, but awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like, and the whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, and this is other sentiments, again, that we, we, you were saying that you like things that are across the genders and ages. And definitely, there is something to your designs that definitely uh, do have got that. And I love that. And we always complain that men are difficult to make cards for. You know, this, of course, uh, is a perfect sample it's of done. what you could do. Yeah. £12.98 and pence is the price. I see a saving £3.397910 is your item number. And then, of course, oh. Oh, right. Yeah, there is a little, yeah. Right, I need to, to, to say something, yeah. Okay, so that one, uh, the, sorry, I do apologize. Uh, it's just... I look from the back, so can I say why? What, because I double check with this one, so that's this what 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 uh, I got my mistake. That is completely and utterly my mistake. Uh, so uh, this one was the previous one. So the embossing, uh, the dragonflies come with this one, okay? So there is, it's like the details are three nine seven nine one zero, and of course that it comes with the dragonflies and the embossing folder. Uh, now you'll get twelve pounds and ninety eight pence. All is correct. If you have ordered less, just give us a call, and we, of course, we will fix that for you. Uh, now, if you want the stamp set that I showed you before, the one with the party, uh, that comes with the bow embossing folder. Those details are now on the screen, which is the five by seven uh, embossing folder, not the six by six in here. And so you can see in here. And then we kind of put in this one in here and then just make sure that you have got the right um, uh, uh, stamp in there. I do apologize, it's just because it's confusing from the back. Right, and that of course is uh, the beautiful stamps and embossing folder, the 5x7 embossing folder. And then we are moving on to the final item that we have got, which is that chunky alphabet uh, die set, which we have got in here. Uh, now, this is such a useful alphabet. What, what did you want it to do when, with an alphabet? I just wanted a modern, simple alphabet, something that's just going to never go out of fashion. It's going to stay around, and it's a great size as well. It's just over, I think they're about one inch, um, so they're a nice size, so they fit in your car as well. And I love that you are getting also the, the whole, uh, the numbers as well. It's, it's just not an alphabet. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, and I love the way that you have used them here because you have offset them. So yeah. it gives them a more playful element as well. So now you're getting the full alphabet and the uh, numbers as well. 36 size in total for 15 pounds and 99 pence. Now, I, I don't do... If I show you this, again, yeah, we are going to get in a magnetic sheet because, I do apologize for the noise, because you are getting, let me show you, individual. So if I put them here, you can see that they are larger. As Sam was saying, it's about over an inch, a little bit yeah. over an inch. Uh, so being individual means that you can spell any words as well, so you can do multiples or something. And, and also, do you find that this sort of size would be excellent for when you have got leftovers like scraps of paper? Yeah, it does. I use that a lot with when I was doing these because you always I was looking for like that last glittery piece of card or something yeah. in the bin and it fit perfectly. It, it, with it, the, it's a really nice size and yeah. it's not too difficult to uh, fill it. Like sometimes some alphabets are gorgeous, but they are fiddly. This is going to be if if you somebody struggles with the smaller alphabets, this is a perfect size because they're easy to glue. Exactly, yeah. indeed. Fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence for this phenomenal, uh, you know, alphabet. Also, I have to mention, I love the packaging. Of course, it's a fabulous packaging that is cardboard, so you can store them in here. And of course, you have got more inspiration. I love the whole design. It just feels classy and of course fun because it's made to surprise of course it's going to be a, a fun now we can find more items including individuals of what we have seen 
during this show because if maybe you are you just want the borders and now uh, if you wanted to go for the borders you can do that on your own or maybe you just want to have the kind of landscape tower card for instance on its own you can of course the saving is when you go for a bigger bundle but there is nothing to stop you to go for the smaller bundles if you wanted to there you can see them now of course we have got this is an amazing collection a made to surprise the third release from Sam Calcott and he, she is is here uh, and the studios and the first time of course she did pre-record for her first show then she had a, a Skype and now finally she's made it to the studios yeah. and we couldn't be more happier to see you and can you tell us a little bit what, what are you gonna show us then well I thought first of all I start off with it's simple but beautiful and it's the bow one because it's just one lovely die that you can edge the side of the six by six card Perfect. so rather than doing all the individual butterflies and hearts which are beautiful i just thought i'd start off with that so i've done a lot of the die cutting to start with should i get straight into the tutorial demo i'm so used to saying tutorial because i do live tutorials all the time but this is a little bit different so yeah it is a bit, but don't worry <laughs> just you and me that is just you else. and me so yeah. i've just got some cardstock here and the six by six you can see there yeah. It's just all done for you. Mine are already well used, so I'm just going to pop that on my board and just pop a little bit of tape just to hold it in place. Yeah. But even if it's well used, and by well used it means that it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit kind of weak, yeah. you know, but it's, all right. it still will cut beautifully, yeah. won't it? These ones will. I mean, they're you know, they're, they're, they're thin frames, aren't they? But um, they cut beautifully, so... And the cracking is good. There's nothing wrong with cracking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's in a doubt because there's a lot of the straight lines, isn't it? Yeah. So don't, yeah. So. What's the size of the, um, this, the outer piece of card that you have put? It's, it's not that big, is this it? This piece here, I think it's about 10 or 11 inch. It will fit onto normal A4 okay. or letter paper size cardstock. So you don't need any of your, oh, I must have missed a bit. You don't need any of your, um, you know, 12 by 12 papers or anything like that. Perfect. So you can see there, make sure I don't get these all messed up. So that is how it cuts. And you've got all of these. I've used this shiny paper because I thought it might show up well on camera, show all your score lines. Now, the easiest way that I found to do this, and everybody, you know, you're going to have different ways of doing it, but you'll see the score lines yes. here. Those ones there, you want to lift up towards you, and you just want to kind of just put a little, you know, just start to yeah. burnish it into place. I love the fact that it has cut all those lines in one go, because I'm thinking, okay, like you, like you, I mean, you know, I've been crafting for many years, so I thought, well, this sort of I can do it myself, but I can never do it that many lines in perfect parallel. Well, the thing with this one now is, obviously, if you make this, you tend to do a score line all yeah. the way through. This one hasn't. You've got these lovely finishes here where there's no score oh. lines. So then all you want to do is when you've, you're just lifting it, it doesn't matter which way you do, whether you have it this way up or that way. You know, it doesn't matter. You might want to have that as the base. Um, you just put, well, I'm just doing it this way, but just lift them up, fold them over. They will hit those score lines there and then just fold the whole thing down and just use... I'm not used to working on a glass mat either. Oh, right. <laughs> I just well, realised my ring was hitting it and I thought, oh, that's unusual. Yeah. There we go. And then I just burnish all of those and you've got one side. So it's like I said, it's up to you whether you want it with that at the bottom or you could have that one at the bottom. It's entirely up to you. So again, just those score lines that face you, just bring those up. But you might find a different way to do this, and I can show that through other demos. You can um, fold the whole thing as well if you would think that would be easier to do. So, but it is, as you can see, it's very easy. Is there a specific uh, type of GSM that we need to be conscious of? I've used everything across here, really. I think the lowest I've done was maybe 260, no, one, 180, I think I've done okay. actually. So that's, because by that's the time, the well, by the time you add your mats and layers, yeah. that's going to strengthen it. Of course. So, so yeah. you could even say be saving money by using cheaper cards, thinner yeah. cards, and then matting and layer with more expensive papers, and then that would add the bulk. Mm -hmm. So that is the card done. I mean, I have used a glossy one. Whether that was the best one to use or not, but I think it's okay. Yeah, there it's you can beautiful. see how easy. Yeah. You know, and like I said, that way or that way, 
it's entirely up to you and you can also have them that way there's no harm in adding your mats and layers and all here so it, the card actually faces that way and that's the back so you know it's entirely up to you so also then in your set you get your mats and layers okay. so you can see them there so I've already gone ahead and I've stuck it down so that's the larger one I've done in the white and yeah. then I've used the same and then I'm going to do a bit of heat embossing with the other one now you have your mats and layers for here if yeah. you want to keep it as a plain card and that's when I think it's quite more masculine so if you don't want to add any of the fancy edges so I want to show off this beautiful bow one that we have here and this is using your pretty is it the pretty edges pretty panel mm -hmm. and um, it's this one here so you just die cut two of this one and two of this one in whatever cardstock really because you can see although that's all using this lovely green I've actually die cut the background in white and those are going to yeah. stick over the top there and then I've die cut two of the bows and they will stick on there so I'm going to get that stuck down and um, Where's my other glue? Well, there we go. I've got too many glues here because I thought, which ones uh, are we well, going to end up using? We have had a, a lovely email from Elaine, I believe. So oh, Elaine, Elaine. She, she loves, uh, she says, uh, it's just lovely to see you on, on this TV. Oh, uh, the stamps and the dice are amazing. Oh, no, she has to have them all. Oh, Elaine, <laughs> bless you. She's so lovely. She's oh. always supported me. Oh, so good. thank you so much. That's really sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think there's a few of, um, I've got a Facebook group and um, I told them that I was going to be launching, so oh, I think there's a few well, people watching today. So if, if at that Facebook group, uh, what, what, how can we find it? Um, so it's um, Mixed Up Craft, which is my kind of thing that I started with mm. about four years ago now. And um, it's just a place for people to share all their makes that have inspired by me. Oh. So, you know, a lot of them follow things that I've shared on YouTube and all of this will all be on there and there'll be different ways of doing them that bigger card style that you mentioned earlier um, I will be you know sharing a lot over time so there'll be lots of inspiration now the six by six of course is the one that you are using uh, some and now that one oh, we are over 20% of the stock already gone now we are very busy please do check out your bus uh, if you do not want to mess up because we the stock is going very fast so please do check out your basket okay. sorry about that so, that's okay but it's, I don't want anybody to miss out um, so you can see it all nicely lines up and you get a little white border there yeah. So you can see how that's transformed it straight away and um, it's one of my favorites I love this one okay so I'm gonna do a little bit of heat embossing so I have because I've got that's the mats and layers that come in the set but I have just cut another piece slightly smaller because I want to use this is one of Phil's um, was it one of Phil's ones no I've got one of his for another one yeah. um, really nice embossing powder so I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna do some stamping with probably one of my favorite sentiments in the oh, in the set yeah. And that's the large happy birthday. Oh, it's a beautiful. Yeah. So that's yeah, so that's the one that comes with the dragonfly. Yeah. That's the one that comes with the dragonfly embossing folder six by six. So that would be perfect uh, off as well with for the six by six. Uh, of course, the the tower card because it's a six by six um, embossing folder. And look at the beautiful stamp in there as well. Gorgeous. Twelve pounds and ninety eight pence for photopolymer A five plate as well as six of basics and folder okay so just sat that on there obviously you you will have a bit more room because I've added this I've cut this down a little bit smaller but it's fine so we just sit that there and do a little bit um, I do love that that stand is just beautiful and bold and you know I use a lot I met you know I do when I do a lot of my cards I have big stamps and I was like again I've been given this opportunity to be yeah. able to have some of my own and that was one of the ones I wanted just really big block ones that you can do great embossing with you can do loads of nice stamping so if you're someone that just likes stamps yeah. you know these are great ones to add to your um, your collection yeah. I'm just gonna pop that one there yeah, it, it is and also because I'm thinking also the fact that you have got the birthday individually so I'm thinking um, even if you have got like maybe a script font that says happy you could incorporate it to soften it a little oh, bit yeah. or the opposite if you wanted to make it a little bit more masculine you could do that as well so there's so many possibilities yeah okay I just think on its own it's just a stunning like a simple classic card birthday happy birthday 
against bowlers. Well, that yeah, they sometimes you just want those quick cards, don't you? Yeah. Um, and this, these, the sentiment will just do that for you, you know. So they're just lovely. So I'm just going to use this one here. Okay. Because your style is, is very much like, you know, quite bold and, yeah. and she, but also very, whenever I see your cards, your projects, by the way, of course, uh, Sam is on Instagram as well. I do follow her, Made to Surprise, and uh, Mix Up Crafts, is it? Um? Made to Surprise is this, and then, yeah, Mixed Up Craft is, is kind of my YouTube and everything, because yeah. that's, yeah, I just share everything on that, really. So, so. are you kind of, uh, because you always have got such a cheerful project. And I think the brand will correspond that. So it's kind of almost like, you know, the cheeredness kind of impregnates everything you do. So really I struggle to do plain cards, and if they haven't got like pink or something <laughs> bright in them, um, it's just become like, yeah, my style. I've always been quite bright, I think. So yeah, it does come across in my, my card designs. Okay, Oh, I, do you know the stamps that you are using and the embossing, embossing folder as well? Uh, now, they are a quarter of the stock has already gone. We are very, very busy, so please do uh, check out your baskets, uh, whether it's these or other items on the show. Please do. You can see there, that's just, it looks so nice when it's heat embossed. And they're nice to um, mix with the alphabet dies because those dyes you can color oh, right. you know when yeah. you've cut the letters out you can color them with your alcohol hinge you know things like that so you can match them as well so there we go okay, okay so let's assemble i think i dropped a bow on the floor which i did <laughs> So, um, you've also got all your mats and layers, which I've got here now. Probably shouldn't have done it for TV, but I've got glitter, double-sided glitter. But you can see here, they will go perfectly. So we've done all of that for you. You don't have to, um, you know, cut it all. It's quite nice having them done. So I'm just going to pop a couple of... And also, the, the whole system is such a quick and easy, like... I'm so shocked at how fast it you know, takes to assemble it all. But that's the thing, you could give that to someone and they think you've spent you know, hours yeah. doing it, which you could still do because there's still lots you could add to it. But um, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't take long at all. So I'm just yeah, fighting. The like my producer is saying, the mechanics have been done for you, so it's easy uh, yeah. to do it. You, know, you can just do the decoration, which is the, the bit that we mostly enjoy. It's the fun part, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just popping that one down there. I'm using foam because it's a glossy cardstock, so I just want to make sure it's going to stick on TV. So pop that one there. And, and also the fact that you can put quite a lot of dimensional foam pads on the front. Yeah, I always do. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I probably put too many. I'm no, always no, no, using no. box envelopes it's, it's for my um, my. Uh, Whenever I make cards, they usually go in a box envelope yeah. or a bouncy envelope, as I call it. So just to give you a bit more dimension. Um, what I meant is one. that it is great to have a design that allows you to have as much dimension yeah. and yet to have that paper engineering mechanics uh, out, you know, there, which is not hindered, hindered no. by, by it. Look at that. And then I'm just with my heat gun going to pop the bows so we can have let's just put one there Ooh. and one at the top oh. and then yeah. I just I need to stick them. these on but if I just do a couple just to give you an idea yeah, yeah it's funny because uh, that there's white pre uh, elements if you don't put them it's absolutely fine yeah but you if don't you have put to them. there's just so many variations there's so many different ways to put these together and um, like I said I don't want to do every single one but it gives you an idea and I've used the wrong this is one my mum would be watching now going she'd be panicking for me uh, don't, don't worry she panics uh, you know for what? me my mum does that she does a should yeah. I just leave it yeah just leave I've it I've got them for the other one it's because I've used the glossy yeah. cardstock on it what's, so I'm actually going to take that one back off what's your mum's name Julie Julie well hello Julie if you're watching of course you will be watching <laughs> Sam is doing fabulously well isn't she and then I've got this one just for the back which is the same mats and layers which were on the front and then just gives you somewhere to write your message and it just will you know strengthen that card as well now 
That's good. Mm. Now, I have another question because I see the element like this, and I know that the, you, one of your samples had one back to back. Could you do that as well with a six by six? Yeah. So you could have yeah. um, glue like this. So and you, you could put an aperture in the middle and you could turn it into a diorama. A, a and di oh, I love that. Yep. Imagine this, so you can see them back to back, glue them here. So I have an aperture here, and then you can have it, and that would. I like that. But you of can course. see all the mats there on those side yeah. pieces as well, so you can of see course. how they yeah. look anyway. But That's gorgeous. Now, thank you so much, Sam. Uh, now, while you reset for the next demo, uh, we are going to give you a reminder of what we have got for you. Now, is, this is the latest release from Sam for that made to, to surprise kind of, of collection. Now, a quarter of the stock of the gorgeous 6x6 tower full die card has already gone. You are getting them with it. Of course, you are getting the 6x6 a die set that comes in with the clicky aspect of the tower but you are also getting the gorgeous the pretty uh, panels as well as the excellent uh, edges so this is the structure that of course Sam was using this is the uh, kind of matting and layering the beautiful hearts butterflies and bows then you have got the excellent edges with the butterflies the hearts and the bow that's the one that uh, of course Sam was using and then finally so I'm going to show you the die cut because that kind of works amazing. So you can see all the butterflies that you can get. They're all separate dies, so you can do all sorts of different techniques. And then finally, we have got the pretty panel uh, that I said. So you can see here that you have got the dies that will cut it, uh, that pops out as well. You have got the leftovers as well. So there is a lot of potential with this one. It's, well, with all everything that Sam designs, will have that potential in the terms of what the style you're going to do. If you are one of these people that struggle to make cars that are paper engineering, that has got a little bit more construction, but you love the look of it, Sam's designs make it so easy. If you are somebody who wants something a bit different, something that is this kind of wow, something that you could find in a shop, a very expensive shop, you know the ones, the ones in London, the ones that are the trendy ones, this is the sort of thing that you say, the boldness, the kind of the having, but also think about it. Maybe you like to do stamps, stamping scenes, and you want to frame them. This is perfect because you could have, imagine here, a beautiful distress oxide background. Even maybe I'll uncreate the stamps. You have them in here and then frame them by this architectonic kind of a structure of a card. So easy and it falls completely flat. Of course it does. Now, if you use it though using the panels, of course it will fit on a six by six card because it's a six by six tower card. Now we are very busy for this bundle. Now approaching 30% of the stock has already gone. Now, you can flexibly, which means that you pay two in, you split the cost in two interest free payments of 20, 20 pounds and 99 pence, or one of payment of 41 pounds and 97 pence. You are saving 11 pounds, whichever way you go for them. Uh, 976 493 is your item number. Now we are 30% gone as well for the 5 by 7 landscape tower cards. Now this one, of course, we're going to show you like this so you can see. Now um, the being landscape, what it means is that it has got a solid element in here, maybe not the flag, but I'm going to show you another sample because you can see it here. It has got that element in here, so you can put an, uh, a, a die cut in on the top, a matte and layer, again, a stamp, maybe a stamp scene. Think about Christmas cards, and you want to make them stunning. You have got beautiful Christmas papers. Do them with the Christmas papers. This is, I think, the card that uh, Sam was referring on when I asked her about the GSM of the card stock. Now, this feels to me 190 or something like that. So, yeah, she says she's saying it. This is pattern paper. So this is not a thick car stock, and look at the stability that it has got. Does it feel floppy at all? I would never dream to make a blank card with 180 GSM paper. Yet with this, does not feel at all flimsy, does it? This is, the, of course, the beauty of the design. Now you have got here the tower fold, I said, with the mats and layers. You have got, of course, the ones, the, uh, the uh, horizontals as well as the verticals, the ones for the little elements in here, the dragonflies, and of course, the presents and flowers. 
you are also getting excellent edges. Uh, you are getting the landscape ones with the dragonflies, the flowers, and of course the presents. Now, the presents, can you see them? They have got um, the boss effect that engraved. Think about bringing color ink pads to them so you can create that letter press effect. Not only a cuts, but also bosses. I don't know what's to go with today, but I have got dropping so many things. Then we have got the landscape uh, panels as well. Now, these ones will work on the card, of course, it will work horizontal, but think of the flowers and the dragonflies. Think about they will work as beautiful panels for any of your creations. 41 pounds, uh, 41 dollars in total that you are getting there. And uh, you can split the cost in two interest free payments of 20 pounds and 99 pence, 11 pounds saving. And also, th I need to tell you that 30% of the stock has already gone, a third of the stock, sorry, uh, 3079. 677, sorry, I'll do give it again, the number. 307677 is your item number. Now, five by seven, but this one is the portrait, so this one has got like kind of that towering effect uh, both sides. Uh, now in here also the panels are different, so remember that no dolls are duplicated on any of these bundles. Now in here you are getting, of course, the tower full die set, so the five by seven, so again, once it's folded, it's a five by seven sort of card. You can see it here, that you can see the elements in there, the mats and layers, the beautiful decorative elements, so straight out of pack, you have got elements that will create beautiful creations. Then you have got the 5x7, the gorgeous, excellent edges that I set, the 5x7, so of course that will be uh, 7 inches, those beautiful flowers that you can layer them, and the, butter, the, the of course, and the stars and balloons. And finally, you are getting the matching uh, pretty panel that I set. Now, uh, if you want to, to go for this, please do check out your baskets. We are incredibly busy. There are queues on the phone. So, of course, uh, hochanda.com or the app of, of, on your mobile devices will be the fastest way to uh, put your order and check out those baskets. 026788 is your item number. 41 pounds and 97 pence is your price. It's saving 11 pounds. And then we have got uh, we have got the stamps and the, the dragonfly embossing folder. Very busy for that one as well. And then I'm kind of just gonna make sure that I do. Oh, I'm just gonna yeah. Uh, right. So this is the stamps in here. You can see the the real size in here, so you can see the completely crisp crystal clear impression of those gorgeous photopolymer stamps in there. 397910 is your item number. 12 pounds and 98 pence. It's an amazing low price for an A5 stamp set photopolymer as well as a 6x6 embossing folder. 12 pounds and 98 pence. You're getting 21 individual stamps and some of them you can see, I mean it's the birthday that Sam was using. It's actually quite, it's really big. Then you have got a look at that. Big, bold, beautiful. Uh, so twelve pounds and ninety-eight pence is the price. I love it because this is the sort of thing that you have got all these individual elements in here. You should that kind of sparkle and celebration. Now. I'm going to say, you know, not everybody celebrate Christmas. Some people don't celebrate, but celebrate the new year. Celebrate the new, their birthday or celebrate that kind of party atmosphere. That is sort of, I like these things because then you can use that kind of celebrations in here as well for other, other occasions. And I love amazing. Think about also memory albums because you don't have, this is an individual birthday. So you don't, it's perfect for memory albums when you are kind of recreating the memories or, or you kind of using the pictures that you may have. And I love that for uh, uh, this stamp set. 12 pounds and 98 pence is an amazing price for both of those. And of course the embossing folder as well. 397910 is your item number. Next bundle we have got a gorgeous a stamp for, a stamp, this one is, the party one. Again, think about it. Think about all those memories that you may have from different places, that it might be party, celebration. Somebody has got a new job, a new promotion. Somebody is celebrating that, you know, excellent results. So, so, you know, look at those beautiful fonts. Think about, I, you know what I would do with this one? I would stamp it with um, sort of maybe a stamp and emboss into white and then go in with colors in between the lines and maybe do a rainbow in there. So it's a proper bright, uh, you know, 1970s party. Uh, think about your memories, think about celebrating and, you know, 
is it going to come the time when we go back to, to of course, the, the time the parties as well and now let's not forget you get also an embossing folder as well in this bundle so you can have it all uh, for just 12 pounds and 98 pence in this case the embossing folder is a five by seven and it features the bows which corresponds as well with the gorgeous bows and the dice and the six by six bows and two seven five three six seven is your item number 12 pounds and 98 pence is the price with a three pound saving now this is, uh, you know what, we are very, well, we are very busy across the board, but exceptionally busy for the alphabet. £15.99 for a full alphabet and numbers. The fact that it has been featured across the, uh, the, the samples, uh, it showcases the versatility of this alphabet. About an inch in size, in height, it means that it gives you, just a little bit, it gives you the ability to put in all sorts of different size cards. I also think um, monograms, alphabet, you know, when, when you want to say, for instance, um, you know, like you want to maybe in your notebook, you want to have your initials. So for instance, our producer would be KC. Uh, our director would be M uh, C as well. You know, <laughs> they're not married, just making it clear. They're happily with some, you know. <laughs> oh, now that, shall I say what the producer just said? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, you have got here uh, the different uh, ways that you can personalize it, and of course the alphabet, uh, the numbers. Now you can do anniversaries, of course. You can do the birthday, the dates. Think about dates as well. All that alphabet for just fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. You are saving three pounds. Three eight eight six six eight is your item number. Now, Sam, are you ready for the next demo? Yes, I am. So, right, start. What are you going to show us? So, I'm going to do the five by seven portrait, and um, we're going to use the blues balloons edges and the balloon panel. So, I want to try and throw as much as I can in this one. So, I've just popped the five by seven there on some cardstock. Again, it will fit on A4 or letter paper size. You will need a larger die machine for the five by seven sizes. The six by six will go through through a standard but it's right on the edges of the plates obviously it's the same width but it will go through so because I know a lot of people do need to take that into account as well so okay. yeah indeed yeah okay, get that one cut I love the colors you have chosen <laughs> are you so cheerful all the rainbow colors and did you think that it, it, this is where your collection it, it's it's a perfect timing because we all need cheering up on and I think the simplicity to assemble it but just the, the complexity of how it looks it fulfills, it takes all, all the boxes. Yeah. It's a good one for batch making because I always say it a lot when I'm, you know, doing other demos and stuff is that, you know, sometimes you don't know what to make, but you want to make something. You want your hands to be busy and you just want to do something. And sometimes just making up lots of, you know, card shapes, and these are great. So you could make a load of these up and then keep them to one side until you're ready, so especially with Christmas, you know, you've got a lot of Christmas styles. So again, it's the same way, I've just die cut it, I'm just pulling up the ones towards me, I'm just pulling them, it's just every other, and then the opposites you're, you're pushing underneath. Um, and like I said, there will be tutorials as well, and I know this is on Hachanda for, yeah. is it 90 days or something like that as well, that they can still... Watch the tutorials. Uh, or 60 something, days, I think. 60, 60 days. days. 60 days. There we go. Yeah. So again, then just bring it towards you, and it will find those other score lines. Yeah. Let's lift that one up there. Yeah, I've got some glue on the uh, from before. There we go. And then again, I just fold it over like so, and you can burnish that some more. So again, just do the same on this one. Do you know what I've thought about it? If somebody is a piano, a piano, yeah. I'm thinking doing the black keys. and white. Yeah, 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 it's definitely. It's just like a piano. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that, actually. That would look really cool. I'm not thinking of a <laughs> What other musical instruments can we... Th I'm thinking of the movie now, Accordion. when they dance on the piano. Um, accord <laughs> uh, I'm sure that I've got an accordion and uh, you know the um, uh, concertina as well. It has got that kind of sort of concertina. Uh, yeah. Uh, and again, so you can see how quickly, once you do them, you'll whiz through these. They really are easy to do. So I'm just going to burnish those score lines. So like I said, when it's this size here, this will fit into a 5 by 7 envelope. Um, get these again. So I've gone ahead and I've already die cut. So again, you can see that I'll just hold it up so you can see 
you've got your shape okay so using the uh, pretty panel five yeah. by seven I've die cut the balloon one already and then what I've gone and done is I've got the panel here and I've just popped different colored cardstock over the balloons there and I'm gonna keep it up this way and I'm just gonna run that through my dye machine because I want to have all different color balloons that match the balloons that I've already got on the panel there so I'm just gonna sit them on there I, sh I would tape it down if yeah. you've got more time I'm gonna be very careful cross my fingers and I hope they stay this in place. Is in but you get the idea. Of, yeah, in uh, the words of my producer, uh, a, a, a scrap buster. Yeah. So Everybody knows what they've got to do. So yeah. it's just, oh, you know, try and get this uh, lovely rainbow card to come together. So let's hopefully they've stayed in place. Yeah. Oh, we've got a little slip, but I can cover that. Oh. I always say, you know, you cover it with an embellishment or um, yeah. your sentiment you anyway. Yeah. yeah, it's all yeah, going to be yeah. built up. But now you can see just a quick way, and I can just pop those all out and I'm going to keep those because when you die cut that I would have had them all in white so you could color them if you like you know you've got your alcohol markers and stuff you can do it that way if you want to. And that's a shaker card as well. And this is like... what I was saying before so now yeah. if you put some acetate, acetate behind that and you could have all sequins and if you want to be really you could you know frame each one with foam and you could have different color beads yeah. in all the balloons which would look really nice yeah, as well. So there is just so many when I was putting it all together and deciding what to do for demos It's really difficult because you've got so many ideas know, You want right. to get them all out there, but it's It is difficult just can't to do find it all. the yeah. time, isn't it? So I'm just gonna stick this one now the panel is the same size as the largest matte layer that comes in the set So there's the largest matte layer the panel is the same size as that But I wanted another little border so I have cut that yeah. one myself, but again, that's completely optional so I'm going to stick that on here first, get it all right. So, and then this would just give me now a base for me to now paper piece those back in. I'll use this glue because it's a bit quicker. Yeah. And the, I'll, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Some of the balloons are different sizes as well, just to, you know, give it a bit more interest. We didn't want everything That's good, yeah. all the same. While you're gluing this, can I remind everybody yeah. uh, to check out their baskets, especially the alphabet. We are exceptionally busy for the alphabet. So if you want the alphabet, that of course gives you these size die cuts. Uh, they are fabulous. £15.99 is the price that for all the alphabet plus the numbers, 36 size in total. Uh, £15.99 is an amazing val value for money. Uh, please do check out your baskets. Sorry about that. That's uh, okay. It gives me time to stick them down. So <laughs> I've stuck all the balloons the orange is missing a little bit but that is perfect because that's where my sentiment's going to go so you will never know but I'm just going to sit that one there and let that dry for a second so you can see now your panel in the middle and then I'd already done these so die cut the yep. two um, edges, edges. Yep. so if I take this one out just see so you through yep so I've just die cut two of this one here flip one over so it's on the opposite side and then all you, the good thing with this is as well you just put all of those through one pass and you've got all six balloons at the yeah. same time uh, can i double check that, that you have put the magnetic sheet in there right yes yeah yes. yeah this is one to do. make not sure that people don't so think i could transport can. it all yeah no that you don't unfortunately do you don't get that well, yeah. i don't know but it's just to make sure that nobody thinks that it comes in yeah. our way then so uh, make sure I've got it the right way up so it's facing you guys so I've just got that one on there and the pan the these edges fit perfectly within that one inch okay. edge I've already gone over and put glossy accents I tend to put it on everything it's uh -huh. kind of my thing so if you can see some of them shiny it was just so you could see the contrast from uh, yep. having them obviously just as they come or if you did want to add some shine but now straight away you just get this really fun wow. card now, to get all of my little accessory pieces, these all come in the main 5x7 set. So you've got your large star, your small star, you've got your large balloon and your smaller balloon. And you've also got your die there for all of your yep. smaller mats. I've cut a load out, but again, I'm probably not going to stick every single one down because of time. Yep. But I've got my hot glue here, and now I'm just going to start building up. I love that. A few of these. Is, 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 is this sort of perfect card for those people that the traditional cards that many sometimes we make don't, you know, I say, oh, you know, I know when I need to make a card for maybe my niece who is eight years old, but she's a bit of a, 
I don't say tomboy. Tomboy is not the. I don't want to like the word. But I know what not, you mean. I was not, not the girl. Yeah. I wasn't the one that was into Pencil, flowers yeah, and like, all that kind of thing. Yeah. I was on my BMX bike, yeah. you know, and being reckless on that and not yeah. really bothered about how my hair looked and things. Yeah. So it's. It, I would have been good for a card like this. <laughs> yeah, and it's and also for cards for teenagers, for men, you know, yeah. for for. Also, I'm gonna say it. You know, the neighbor that you may not know how how much they are like I don't know what sort of hobbies they are into and their style you don't always yeah. know what other people's exactly. yeah exactly yeah you can definitely yeah. um, now the the yay is that a stamp the yay yes yeah. and I've just cut it out so is that the one that is in the party one yeah that is the this one here yeah so the one that comes with the bows the embossing folder with the bows so uh, the details are on DL for that as so that means on the screen uh, 12 pounds and 98 pence is the price for that beautiful set of a5 uh, photopolymer stamps uh, 20 individual stamps plus a B5 by 7 embossing folder now just finish it off with my sentiment again you've got all of those to add all the color which I've showed on the other demos but you can see now Love that. If I hold it that way, then you can see. No, no, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. Uh, now, of course, I love that positioning as well. Uh, now, um, we are incredibly busy. I want you to, if you want to go for these um, beautiful dies, we have got, you know, just check out our baskets. We are incredibly busy. We have got kids on the phone, so we try to get as soon as possible to you. But if you have got access to the phone, uh, the, to the internet, that would be perfect. Now, we are approaching, uh, I believe, we are 40% of the self stock all gone of the 6x6, the beautiful tower cards. Think about this. Think the beauty of making a traditional card like that now the excellent edges that feature the butterflies with the uh, intricate in here uh, that the panels that also those beautiful pretty panels and that comes with this bundle 34 dies in total that allow you to I mean I love the samples because they showcase just the dies that you are getting just the dies look at the gorgeous now if you want to go for the six by six the tower card your item number is nine seven six and four nine three forty one pounds and ninety seven but remember, there is that flexi buy option to spread the cost into interest free payments. Now, of course, we have got the 5x7 landscape full die set. So, I'm going to show you some samples because I don't think I have shown you all of them. But think about look how gorgeous. Now, this you can see that it's a 5x7 when you fold it like this, but you can have the beautiful panel in here, the pretty panels that you can die cut into here. Those alphabets, of course. Now, if you you can see it here what it is is scored down the middle and then you kind of insert and use it as an insert i absolutely adore this i think it is incredibly architectonic it's a, such a beautiful bold statement and of course you can do panels in here of whatever papers you have got now three zero seven six seven seven is your item number but you know what the alphabet we want to see it in action don't we sam is going to show us how you can use it in action uh, now a very quick demo quick demo we have got about two minutes so don't worry just 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 use it yeah I'm just gonna just cut some random ones because I haven't got these laid out but you can just see again here the size really nice perfect for coloring and I like to layer them up as well so I may you know die cut it with the red but then I die uh -huh. cut it again with some foam yeah and that gives you that instant dimension to add to your cards yeah. and I do it yeah. pretty much with every sentiment but like you were saying earlier some alphabets and sentiments are very very thin and it's hard to add that dimension you have to use like double-sided sticky oh, tape right. with these you can just add your glue on the back there's enough surface area so they're really easy to stick to stick down so okay. let's take that one out and it, like you said as well it's great because you can just make your own words so if you've got a funny nickname for somebody oh, yes definitely then this is the way they cut beautifully and you can see there just yeah. how those look Ready to add on to your yeah. cards. Oh, and then you have got a perfect, and of course, and now, of course, that could go in, for instance, you could say, well done, or like you would say, dead nickname. Um, you know, you can have, oh, what, 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 do you have a, a, a cool nickname for yourself? Um, I probably don't want to say it on TV. Oh, oh we are, <laughs> this 
Lisa! Oh, no, should... because if I say it, it will come across not in the way that it's intended. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's um, fine. We and my friends, gloss over that Yeah, one. my friends will laugh. So, <laughs> yes, I do, but I'm not going to say. <laughs> uh, well, you are back at seven? Uh, yes, back at seven. With the others. Of course, do check out your baskets uh, for this beautiful lot to not miss out. Do stay tuned. We have got more, of course, after the break. Now, uh, here at Shachanda, we have got... Uh, we do a thing. We have got more uh, of in the way of a storage. Now, do check out your baskets because we have got an incredible cues on the phone. So please do make sure that you check out your baskets. Remember that you have got a six by six sour card with the excellent edges, the pretty panels, and of course we are look at that. Now, the six by six and the five by seven, we will have in the different heights of it. So if I put them side by side, so you would have an idea of the difference. So this one is a six by six. This is by a five by seven. So you can see here how gorgeous do they look together. Don't they make a lovely pair? Well, you can go for both of them. And if you flexibly them, so it means that you only pay for one today and then you get them both. And then the next month you pay for the remainder. And that is how flexibly up works here at Hotanda. Right at the six by six, of course, the item number nine, seven, six, four, nine, three, and of course, you have got the details on the screen, 41 pounds and 97 pence for the sale. Of course, that is the one of payment and you have got that 11 pounds. Final, final reminder, I want you to go check, look, check out your basket, especially for the alphabet, incredibly busy for that. Stay tuned after the break, uh, the final look at the one that is special from the Flecto. Indeed it is, a stackable solutions one day special after the break. And then we have got a five, be your creative best with cricket. And then we'll launch a one day special chocolate baroque. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. We're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel.
Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hello, my name is Catherine Sturrock, and I bring to Hochanda my company, Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself, we cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities, so I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the Character Craft Shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? We have got a fantastic hour for you, and it is the last chance saloon for these fantastic Deflecto storage goods. Sam's still here. He's had a nice lunch. I'm not going to say any more than that. He had a nice lunch. <laughs> yes, I'm well fed. But we might and have to get the electric paddles out for him, because he <laughs> might get snoozy woozy on us, because you know what happens when you have that afternoon lunch? It can fill you up, and then you get a little bit, ooh. I promise to stay away. Yeah, I'll just I start, because I can't prod you. I'll have to get no, a stick can't. and just sort of Safe shove distance. you or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just shout, Sam! <laughs> right, OK, let's get started. Come on, we've got a cracking hour. And if you haven't seen Deflecto Storage, then let us introduce you to the one-day special and the fantastic storage caddies. Take it away, Sam! Thank you. It's very upbeat, so I hope I can continue with that That's upbeatness. It. Go, go, go! <laughs> so we have, here we have the one-day special. You're getting four of the Deflecto caddies. So as you can see there, it's the four sort and storage caddies. The way that they all work together is I just want to turn this round so you can see the grey levers. Now that's a real key feature of this product because it actually locks all four units together. So you then have one fixed storage unit. Now if you don't want to carry around this stack of four, you can break them down layer by layer. So if you only want the item on the top, you can use just the single layer. The canisters that you're going to get, so these also come out, so again, you know, you can keep taking apart this storage, it's not one fixed unit. You're getting 16 of the clear single canisters, and you're going to get four of the double canisters as well. So I'm going to lock that back together. I just want to kind of get your attention on the bottom. So we, we try and cover off making the product as easy as possible to use. So the way that we've designed the base of the white frame and when you look at the lid, it's been recessed out so it sits on there and it just helps you at home when you're using it, clip it back together and there you have it. Yeah, really robust. Lovely, like you said, because you can see through it, lovely and clear. Interchange it with your other caddies at home. And uh, we've got the end of call, which is the rail, obviously, which you can put on your wall. And then those caddies just lock in place and slide on there. So that's really well worth having as well. And this is Leone's. We love showing it because it is literally uh, what the crafters use. Julia this morning, she was saying she cannot even get these from trade at these sort of prices. So it's an absolute fantastic deal. She was trying to butter up Sam for an extra freebie, but he was having none of it. Uh, so she needs take you out for lunch, doesn't she? she That's does the indeed. way forward, take him out to lunch. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so this is our, 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 our lovely, well, part of Leone's, because her stack's about 24 high, look at this. There she is, looking like the gorgeous air hostess there. Beautiful with her trolley dollies there, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. So loads, let's have a rummage. I've got my gloves on to be safe or else I'll do some Marcel Marceau, I'm not sure which today. Uh, we've got some fantastic wow embossing powders there. Look at all of these, how much you can fit in there. Um, and then all of now this is no longer available, this is sold out. Poor old myself and Sam didn't even get to show you that, the, the caddy. But look, I mean, how many of pens has she got in there, honestly? Crafter, this will grow with you. This is what's so fantastic about them all uh, storing on top of one another. Um, and then 
Again, we've got some of, oh, what do we call these again? The uh, squickle, stickles, yeah. And we've got some more pens and sharpies in, in there. Round here, we've got some Phil Martin uh, sent Sentimentally Yours uh, glitter. And cosmic dust, yeah, loads of pots there. And then some more patinas and waxes and, yeah, all sorts. So this is work, actually the working ones. And then they lock into place, as Sam was saying. Uh, interchangeable, change them with the rails. But portable and you take with you what you need to use as and when. I think Julia, she just came with a one tray this morning. But then, of course, she's got loads more at home. So fantastic storage solutions because this is a company that's been going around for 60 years, isn't it? You're not, I mean, obviously, you've not been there 60 years. I'm not implying no, that, you know, you look old and haggard quite. or anything like that, <laughs> Sam. Uh, no, you've been with the company nine years, is that right? Yes, that yeah. is right, nine years. Great company to work for. And, uh, you know, people obviously love what they do. They have a passion for creating great story solutions that work, that aren't yeah. out there. So it's not even so, so, saying solving problems, because perhaps they're not problems to begin with, but it's just new, innovative, innovative ways that... Um, make life easier isn't yeah, it? Yeah I think that's what it's about is you know is trying to make it as easy as possible you, you don't want it to be difficult to store something or no. you don't want it to be difficult for it to for you to find something and yeah. we sort of feel that we cover those points off when we design a product. Absolutely and we know you love your fantastic storage solution. We've been trying to encourage you all to uh, e email us in and show us your pictures. People must be very shy today. Not had any. We've only been looking at Paola's and Leone's. Let's see if we had any. At, did, you have any did you have any at 12 o'clock? No. no. Nobody loves us. Nobody loves us. There's some, there's some, definitely somebody out there because they're buying <laughs> the lovely deflecto storage. But not to worry. We just we just like having a nose. Uh, over 70% of the one-day special, there you go, locked into place, has gone. So uh, if you want to tidy up your storage right now, you said you use all yours for the children's, uh, Max and Stacey's, all their bits and bats, isn't it? Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, it's exactly that, really. Because I, I don't... Darcy, not Stacey. Darcy, not sorry. Close. I'm sorry, my darling. Um, it's a C-E-Y at the end, so it's yeah. fine. Um, <laughs> with the, the stuff for... Why, why we think this is great for children is... Um, you know, you can just put the smaller items in these ones, but I think also when it's tidy up time, which Darcy never does, that would be <laughs> myself or mum, is you can easily put the items in and then you can just store it away nice yeah. and simple. So then when you're ready to kind of bring the stuff back out, it's nice and portable. And the fact yeah. you can just use one canister if you need, That's you haven't it. got to take them all with you. The whole thing with you, yeah. Exactly. You tidy it away, store it away, but it, like, like, like you said, it's accessible as well because obviously we don't want them not to use these things or you, you the crafter. So brilliant price point there as well. I promise you, as Julia said this morning, she cannot even get that at trade prices. Like, so that is brilliant. Two flexi by payments, £24.98. If you've got some, perhaps you need some more, £40, £49.96. You've got saving of £12 there. Loads of storage to get things tidy in the home. 903010. Let's have a look at some more inspiration. £40! £40, £40 holds up for £40 as a small child, isn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah, so uh, please don't miss out. It might be another couple of months before we see Sam. And he has said that, you know, in the autumn, we'll hopefully get those wheelbases again. That's what we're hoping for. I'm going to all that promise, 99% yeah. will have wheelbases for you. Mm. And if you do see that show and we do get them in again, then make sure you get it straight away. So I suggest get your storage caddies now, you're prepared then, and then when the wheelbase comes in, sorted.
Sorted. Exactly. Right, two quite new items here. If you haven't seen the previous shows, obviously with the, with the one-day special, I've had the privilege. Uh, but these were recently developed, weren't they? So yeah. More so ones. these were a product that we launched um, earlier this year. Yep. Um, you are getting both of them within that price. There's uh, three lots of different storage compartments within each unit. So the first mm -hmm. one I just want to run you through is the lid. So even the lid has somewhere you can store stuff. Yeah. With the clip-down lid on there. It's got a ruler embossed onto the top, which again is just a real handy feature on that product. So there's always a ruler at hand when you have your storage. Mm -hmm. And as you unclip the clasps on the side, and the clasps are really strong, so they're going to yeah. keep that lid nice and tight. Yeah. You then have the single tray in there, which is the second level of storage that, um, that I want to show you out of the three. Mm -hmm. And then the container itself has got a really deep, you know, it's a really good size container, and you can yeah. store items underneath the tray as well. I've decided now what's going in here. My son has one of those very irritating rhymes with earth guns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I and you. Those pellets. Does your little boy have have that? It does about Max. twenty four. Oh my word! You find them behind the, yeah. the the plant pot. You find <laughs> them by the settee, into the piano, the cat bowl. I mean, oh, it drives me round the twist. So he can put all his those those things, those pellets. Foam um, pellets. In, you yeah, know the ones I mean. Ones. Yeah. They're everywhere. You find them like months later. It's <laughs> like, oh. So then go in here. That's what I've decided. That's what's going in there. Uh, but of course, it could be your yarn, your knitting. That's what's so brilliant. We had that lovely crochet show on earlier. Could be an actual toolbox, the kids' toys, your little uh, Darcy's dinosaurs, um, your cricket vinyl. Yeah, all your odds and ends. It could be just all, all your sewing fabric. Yeah, your fat quarters, whatever. And what's so lovely as well is we've got the Dinky Doo one as well. The Dinky Do, uh, our, our, our smaller version as well. So, so the thinking behind having the small and the large, Sam, sounds obvious, but um, I'm, I'm going to try and come up with something that would sound like I know what I'm going on about now. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I, I think we just basically. <laughs> We've only done about five <laughs> shows together, Sam. Come on. Um, I think we just went with, you know, not everyone would want such a large storage yeah. unit, and we really like the design features on the largest one that we have. So we tried to replicate that in the Absolutely. mini version with the clip clip lock lid. So storage in the lid, you've got the ruler embossed into the top of there. You still have the feature of the single tray within the unit, which yes. is, as we said, great for small in, um, storing smaller things on there. And then you've still got the underside of that to uh, store more things in as well. Exactly. Might be for your little seed packets, might be just for the portable one, just to take the one, a few items out of the big one. You, you mentioned like going away when we go camping or on holiday and you just think a few kids want, you know, they want to take a few little bits or you might just want to take a few utensils or whatever with you. So you don't want to take the big box, just take out what you need to travel and go. So, or you might have a completely different application there for the smaller box as well. But both are equally brilliant. Both provide great storage solutions. Lovely, tidy it away, keep it all together and an amazing Saving price of twenty-eight pounds and ninety-eight pence. Zero seven eight two zero nine. Great durability, but also yes, we can see through the top there. But it's frosted. It's frosted, so we don't have to look at all those little bricks that perhaps we've all collected in there, or those pom poms, whatever we're storing. So let's have a little look at some more inspiration. we go you find out some interesting things when those uh, adverts are happening but uh, yeah it's just placing it in your life there whatever you are wanting to store in there whether it be your dyes or your die cuts or your yarn or your knitting or your tools or your fishing tackle uh, is it your turn now Sam 
It is my we turn. I've lost track. Do you know when you feel like <laughs> on yeah, a ground it's nearly the end of the day. <laughs> we um, should have just swapped it up for fun, shouldn't we? No, I'd throw too many people out. Yeah, that's true. That's Including true. me. Me too as well. Go on. So we are on a uh, multi-stack storage. Um, this is, again, one of the products that we've launched um, this year, and it's proven really popular, hence why we've got it here today. So you are getting the three individual layers um, within this storage unit. So again, you know, you could customize, um, I guess you could customize this modular system. If you were to buy two of these, you could stack mm. them on top. Clear lids, so you can easily see the items you've got stored in there. Um, we see this being used in uh, bedrooms or dressing rooms with you know, sort of makeup, perfumes, yeah. foundations, all of those sort of things that I know lots, lots about. Mm -hmm. Then we've also got the drawers as well, which they can come out. So if you have got this um, wall mounted, which is a feature you can do with this, you could take the drawer out and just use the items in there. But again, just a really good, versatile, all-round storage unit for your home or workshop, garage or shed. Yeah, very portable. I love the fact that it comes apart. I like the idea of perhaps having two and then stacking the drawers and uh, the, the, the small... And I love the way that, you know, that the actual, they come out completely, like you said yeah. earlier, Sam, so that you're not tied to the work surface. No. You can take it with you and go. Um, so, yeah, beautiful and a fantastic price. I can see this on the sun's desk, you know, working from home, maybe doing a bit of homework. I can see this in the office. I like my nice ink pen. Do you have an ink pen? Do you just that use a good old fashioned? No. I like an ink pen. It makes my writing list scrawly. <laughs> and then you need your little compartment then for the stapler, the hole punch, uh, my little drawer then for envelopes, because I do the old fashioned things still. I write letters. Check you out. I know. Oh yeah, twenty-one ninety-nine. I don't even know what that means. Zero five nine two nine two for your Deflecto multi-stack storage. Right, we've got another new, uh, fantastic, uh, relatively new kit on the block. Our large storage box. Tell me about this one, then, Sam. So this one, um, we sort of see this as like our deluxe storage um, box, the ones that we've shown you um, over the past ten minutes. So this one has lots of different storage features. The, you know, the first one um, we'll show you is the, the lift-out drawer system that you have there. Mm -hmm. You've even the fact that the lid folds over and does a complete, um, I guess you'd say, nine, well, 180 degrees, so yeah. it will go completely flat. So you can use that side if you needed to put some stuff in there whilst you were working. The fact the three trays lift out and it still gives you a really good access space to yeah. be able to get things underneath that bottom tray. Mm -hmm. You can even customize the size of the dividers that you have within the three tray lift out system as well. So again, you know, you can, the space quite often in storage is, you know, the space is the space. You can't change yeah. the shape of it, whereas no. with that particular product you can. You can take those out and make those larger, because usually that's dictated to you, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we've, we've just been taking these, these in and out just to show you that, because they, they slide in and out. You've got the long ones there for perhaps your longer brushes or tools or needles. Uh, and again, different compartment wells there as well, which I love. And that element that you said, Sam, there as well, obviously, because normally when you open those, they're, they're already attached and the whole thing sort of just yeah. topples over. But this, is, this lies flat, so we can use that for extra depth there and uh, also in and out when, when, when we're working in terms of what, what's needed inside. So, yeah, great access uh, there to all the drawers. And then on top as well, there's no, there's no space wasted. The, the handle lies flat. Then again, we've got that fantastic um, clear storage lid as well that has extra compartments in there and we love the ruler. We love the ruler because you just might not have a ruler to hand and you just need to measure there as well. And then there's another two uh, dinky ones there on the top also. So, um, yeah, brilliant price point because we were discussing this. I know we're not here to talk about other, but uh, there are some very expensive models on the market, aren't they? And we haven't seen one that can compete in terms of this price. No. So, you know, you may be looking at thinking, well, you know, £30 is, you know, £30 is a lot. You know, it is a lot of money um, mm -hmm. for some people with this product you know it really is a good quality product it's yeah. gonna you know it's very well made it's going to last a long time and there's lots of little really nice design innovations that we've added in there which I think Absolutely. once you get it you know you're not going to be you're not going to feel shortchanged once you open the products up and start using it Absolutely, because it's about that longevity, it's about that robustness, it's about that um, accessibility and, and those storage solutions. So, yeah, a fantastic crafter storage box, or maybe it's your toolbox, or maybe it's Scott's makeup box. Whatever it's going to be, it's twenty nine ninety nine five five six nine zero seven. Let's have a leather look at some more solutions.
Love the idea of it being a, a giant sewing box there as well for all the sewing kit, because uh, I've got a little sewing box, but it's far too small. I've outgrown that, so everything's just coming out of it now. So, <laughs> yeah, brilliant idea. OK, so we've got some fantastic uh, crafting uh, paint items now, haven't we? So, yeah, let's run through. So this is a, um, a bundle set that we're going to show you. So you are getting both the paint saver and you're getting the art box as well. Now, the art box um, is around about 15 inches um, in size. It's going to be able to store, you know, the really long paint brushes or we were saying about the, you know, the longer knitting needles mm. as well. It's got the little uh, clasps at the front to keep that lid nice and secure, um, you know, when you want to close it. If you take a look inside the product, it's got the dividers in there as well, so that just helps keep your brushes in place, not going to be rolling around too much. And also at the bottom of the product, we have the foam inserts. Now, the reason we've done this is just to prevent any potential damage to the end of a brush or pen or pencil in there. So that's the art box. And then we're also going to be showing you the paint saver. You get a little palette which you can take out, so you can mix your paints on there, then when you're done, easy to give that a nice clean. The product itself has a rubber seal around the edge of the lid, which you can see. Mm -hmm. There's, we think, I think there's 17 wells in total, I must count them. It I should have done that by show. now. <laughs> um, I'm going to count them now Come as on, it's we'll the last just, show. Let's hold our breath. It's worth it. We'll get we'll get it right. It's last show, Sam. We'll get 18. it right. There so we right. go. Four and a half hours later, there's 18 <laughs> paint wells in the paint saver. Once that's closed down, that acts as an airtight lid, which will obviously prolong the life of your paint. Hence, why we call it the paint saver. We You're do. getting both of those. Brilliant, especially when we mix up that lovely colour, and especially here in the studio when things dry out. That is a fantastic, fantastic, uh, uh, brilliant paint saver tool. Uh, Fantastic, and to get those that long box as well. We were talking about how difficult that is in terms of your storage for your, your for your paint brushes there as well. An amazing price, thirteen ninety nine. Great gift idea if you want to set somebody on their artist journey there as well. Get them some lovely acrylics or watercolors, and uh, yeah, some brushes. And away we go. Five nine two 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 nine. Now, perfect companion for this. This is what Julia had on the desk this morning. This is what Leonie has. Is our beautiful uh, companion. Yeah, our paint companion and our paint tray. So let's start with the paint tray because we're on that. Uh, we've got 29 wells in the, this large paint tray. You can use the lid as well for mixing up or stippling or anything in terms of your, your, your printing. Um, and then you've got the 29 wells. And again, so it's just like a larger version of the smaller one, um, but uh, it gives you that uh, ability to just to rather than keep reusing things and throwing them away we can just wash and and go with that so that is you know your lifelong friend there in terms of usage and then we've got our fantastic painter's companion yeah i've stolen some brushes so come on talk to me about all the fantastic uh, benefits of this because it is wonderful and it has been designed specifically for deflecto so the um, painter's companion, um, you know, even down to the handle, there's been some thought and innovation to you know what we can do with the you know what we can do with the handle. You'll notice the way that it's designed. There's those kind of ridges, mm -hmm. all those grooves that are cut out there. Now, there is a there is a specific reason for that. It's for drying of your brushes, or if you were painting and you want to put a brush down somewhere, um, you obviously don't want to put a brush with paint on on the work surface or on the side, so you can stick it on there, haven't got to worry about paint transferring onto something you don't want it on. Mm -hmm. You've then got the three large wells which you can clean um, clean all your brushes or store all of your brushes as well. I love the fact they're nice and deep because sometimes you have those very long brushes yeah. and it topples out that's too short, yeah. And you've also got the little area at the front of the painter's companion where you can rest rest a brush. Um, I think it was uh, Paula had said actually if you wanted to um, even the paint out as you, you know when you put a chunk ah, of paint yeah. on you want to maybe take a little bit off mm. that little v-section at you the just front. like yeah. use it as a kind of a scrape scrape a little that's bit it. extra off yeah that's a brilliant idea yeah indeed so again it's a really handy um handy bundle that you know you're getting the paints palette the paint tray that also has the rubber seal around there so the paints will be kept airtight within that absolutely and that with the painter's companion um i think for anyone that is doing any painting or getting into it it's a really good Good set to have. A, a great and a great price point as well. I mean, I would use that uh, just when I'm, when I'm painting at home, just doing uh, my normal chores and what have you, just decorating because I'm up the ladder a lot and sometimes you're just trying to get those tiny corners or make that really neat line between two coloured walls. Uh, I just think it's absolutely fantastic and uh, 
built like that so that they stack as uh, Sam was telling us earlier as well so yeah absolutely fine. much better than anything I've seen on the market so perfect companion there and that brilliant palette um, brilliant with that airtight lid there as well so we don't lose any of our lovely colors 13 pounds 98 one two eight six eight nine okay back to you Sam and a very attractive set of drawers so here we have, um, again, we, we've got another bundle um, of products here. So you're going to get the three individual stacking storage trays. Now these are 12, they're 12 by 12, so 12 inches by 12 inches. Great for storing your cards, um, you know, especially 12 by 12 paper that, have, that I've seen on sale um, here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're spending the money on buying the cards or, you know, that paper, it makes sense, um, you know, to buy this unit. You can look after keep the papers in tip-top condition the fact they do come apart as a single would mean if you do have this on a shelf somewhere and you wanted to take you know this whole level with you you can just take one with you and place that down next to you so you are going to get three of those you're also going to get the three drawer unit as well which is uh, this one here so this is a fixed unit the three drawers will come out if you do need to uh, take them out you're also going to, with this product, one of the little features that we like, same as the tray, it has the rubber feet on the bottom. This just helps to give it a little bit of grip, a little bit of purchase when it's on a, a solid worktop or a polished surface as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, I, and, and we've got a picture, I think, of whose workstation is this? Um, someone's... Oh, it's not that one. Oh, I was using the lovely caddies. You're just showing me pictures. Uh, not to worry. I thought somebody, somebody sent us in a picture then, Sam, I thought, but it's, it's coming up later. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. And I like the idea that there's three trays come out. So if you were doing, like, uh, mass card making, you know, like for, for Christmas or something, you say, you could have your die cuts in there and then my decoupage here. And, you know, have, you, have your trays around you so you could get a little system going as well yeah. uh, in terms of your storage. So, yeah, get yourself all organised when you're working, but also then when you're storing it. So brilliant. An amazing price point there. £22.99, two flexi by, flexi by payments there, or £45.98 for the two together. Remember, we've got great price points here because of our relationship with Deflecto. 367901. I have got my favourite. Yeah. Now, we had a question earlier because this is your tablet and your phone stand, as it were. And we did have a question earlier, Sam, if anybody missed it. Is it compatible for well known tablets and pads? And the answer was a big fat. Yes, yes, it yes, is. Yes, a nice and easy question. Yeah. Which was good. Yes, and we can say <laughs> affirmatively, yes, it is. For the grande, the medium, and the minis. Uh, these these are brilliant. We love these, don't we, Sam? And these always sell out uh, when when they're on the show with us. Why do you love them so much? Well, I think because they're so compact. I mean, once that's, you know, flat, it's not going to take up any space. It's no hassle to carry around with you, whether it be in a, a bag or even the smaller one would you know, comfortably fit in a jeans, you know, in a jean pocket. Yeah, back pocket, yeah. Um, and I think most people, I mean, I'd probably say I, everyone that I know either has a smartphone or a tablet. Yeah. I think with more kind of online training videos or the Hachanda craft along that you do here, or if you're yep. following a recipe, um, you know, we use the internet so much. And, you know, or even some reading devices, there's certain tablets yeah. where you can just read a book on. Exactly. Um, I just think they're a really handy, useful product. And I think once you've got them, I think you'll realise actually how much how much you'll enjoy having them and you'll think I'm surprised I haven't had something similar which is what I have found yeah yeah because um, I've, I've got like a, key, a keyboard that, but attached to mine so it has an automatic yeah. but well, the other three members of the family no so it's always kind of trying to find some clever yeah. way to prop it up you know, Scott likes to watch the football when he's cooking or I'm, I'll be looking at a recipe um, um, my little girl might be watching something the fella, the little fella, he'll be he'll be zooming while he while he's playing something else with his headphones, you know. So yeah, there's when you have your conversations, <laughs> when you have your conversations uh, as well, you know, keep it nice and steady, and you can adjust it there so you don't get the glare of the light there. I, I love that that little attention to detail. I love the fact that you've got the scoop there, so if you're carrying on charging, it's not going to compromise your lead. And tell me about the mat there, because this isn't this isn't just there for decoration, is it? No. Uh, so Sam? I think. Most tablets these days are quite a polished surface, or they yeah. have um, you know, quite a smooth back, so it helps prevent the sliding um, around of the product. It just helps give a little bit of purchase when the smartphone or tablet sat in place. Yeah. But also, you know, if you were listening to something, um, it just prevents any vibration being transferred through to the plastic. 
Exactly. So you get that great sound resonance as opposed to, uh, especially if you're moving on a train or anything like that also. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Loads of fantastic key features there. And then, of course, it flat, packs down beautifully and flat for your bags or your back pocket. And away you go. I mean, who, would, who wouldn't want that in their lives? How useful would you find that, especially at that price? What a great gift idea for the person this Christmas even, I suppose, uh, who, who's got everything. Maybe you're not even thinking that far ahead. You're thinking, I want these. And I just want to point out that every time they're on, they sell out. So we, we, we had good uh, availability because obviously this is the one day special. But please don't rest on your laurels if you're thinking that far ahead. Uh, get them now as best thing. Look at that saving price. I promise you, I always end the shows and they're not here to order because that's why I always lament and bang on about it. Uh, £12.98, £10 saving. Yes, let's do it. 309092. Uh, now, can we, show the, can we show the photo now because of the marker pots that are up next? No. Is this just, is this, are you sure though? I'm sure I saw marker pots on the top of that photo. Don't yeah, imagine that. Yeah, there's definitely marker Thank you, there. Sam. Thank you. Yes, there is. There we go. Everybody can see what we're talking about now. <laughs> yeah. So that's the multi-stack storage that yeah. we have shown you earlier on with uh -huh. the marker pots that we're about to show you. Yeah. And um, there's a good example of how the multi-stack storage can use, um, you know, in an arts and craft environment. And who sent in that photo? Because we were saying, send in your, send in, send in your deflecto photos of, of using the storage. We'll find out. We'll credit them uh, in a moment there, Sam. So tell me about the storage uh, marker caddies. So I think as, you know, as we've just seen from that photo, they're great for storing your markers. And you're going to get, as you can store, 20 in each, so 40 in total. The way that we've designed the products, um, you can actually interlock them together. So you can see on here, we've kind of got this... Um, tongue and groove or like dovetail locking system that you have mm -hmm. and you would slide them together and that would then create the one product locked, locked in. Yeah. The silicon insert just gives a little bit of uh, purchase on the marker pens if you do store them on the side, as we know with some markers you need to, just helps a little bit prevent them from sliding around um, or rattling if you have them in the top of the caddy, which yeah. you can also do and I share with you this picture here and there you can see they will sit in the top of the one day special which we'll show you shortly absolutely and i love the configuration of being able to lock them together into any kind of machination that suits your space you yeah. know whether they're just one on the desk or next to you we've got brushes in there we've got pens and that lovely grid you know allows you no matter what the size there it's going to accommodate uh, to an extent isn't it so um, and keep them all singularly separate so you can just grab and go, whether it's pencils, whether it's brushes, whether it's pens, whether it's makeup brushes, any of the utility, ut you know, utensils that you use in your crafting or in your office or in your home. Fantastic. Get two sets. Because you know when they lock together, you'll wish you got more. That's what's going to happen, isn't it? Guaranteed. Or Someone in the family is going to nab them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. That's exactly. Max or Jed, they'll be off with them. £11.98 for both of those. Great price there. 867361. Well, we've done the, we've done the whole shebang there. The, uh, yesterday, we, we, had, we didn't even see something on the table because it sold out before we get, came to uh, sell it to you. So let's have a little look at some of our seven-day savers. You can shop ahead on the web, of course. Worth mentioning that these end in three days, 15 hours, 25 minutes and 45 seconds. Which one could you store? Well, we could definitely store our low-tech purple tape collection. We could definitely store our um, online... Oh, yeah, our, our pads, our lovely Believe in Magic Paper pads, yeah. Um, in our lovely storage boxes, we could have our sewing machine polyester there, as well as our Silly Twister Super Chunky Knitting Yarn bundle. That's not easy to say. Uh, the Bargain Bundle ribbon collection definitely can go in there. Um, oh, yeah, we've got the Kite and Cross stitch nesting stars maybe you do a bit of embroidery yeah whatever whatever you're into maybe you're a happy planner oh we love a happy planner julie was talking about the happy planner and how you know life's much better now with for a vat now she's got a happy planner she loves it look at that saving 29 pounds 97 what's the pinty oh i love a bit of pinty plus diamond metallic spray i've got the box for that i've got the box for that pinty plus is brilliant well, look at all the different colours. Opal, sapphire, amethyst, ruby. Oh, doesn't it? Hey, back to me gems days there. Talking about all those <laughs> gems. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Oh, November's birthstone. There we go. We need sapphire in September. 
There we go. Pinty Plus, £11.96. Anyway, have a look at the seven-day savers because on Sunday at 8 o'clock, they will change. We're already over halfway through. We know you love the storage caddies. Um, I mean, I, what can we say about the storage caddies that we haven't already said, Sam? Well, I feel we've said quite a lot about the storage caddies, so I think just to, uh, just to, <laughs> just to recap about the storage caddy, um, you know, I think if, if we look at how we actually come to this product, um, you know, we did listen to, you know, what people were saying. So when we were speaking to crafters, they were saying, oh, there's lots of storage. There is a lot of storage on the market. Yes. But there's not lots of useful storage, which I think was the key word for us. It was creating something that was useful. And, and why have, is it not useful, the stuff that's out there? I think there, just because it's it. so bulky. Yeah, bulky. Quite a lot of it. It's not normally that easy to kind of manoeuvre from room to room. You know, so there's a number of... Poor portability. Yeah. Yeah. And I just think that, you know, from brands that maybe haven't been around as long as Deflector, I mean, we did celebrate 60 years of trading, which you only get to that point through being good at what you do. Exactly. You don't have that longevity unless no. people love your innovation. So when we look at the caddy, um, so you're getting four of them in total, all clear canisters. So again, this was something else that we found when we were doing the research is lots of storage isn't clear. Um, and once it's stored away, sometimes out of sight, out of mind. Whereas with this, yeah. because it is clear, you can easily locate the items that you're trying to look for. And I think, you know, when we look at Leone's stack, yeah. it, you know, if that was one large unit, I, I doubt Leone would be able to find half the stuff exactly. if they weren't all in clear canisters. And sometimes she's under pressure and time, yeah. especially here, to, 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 to do it, to find it, to get to do it. Where did I put it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's a great example there is, you know, when you look in there, obviously, you know, if Leone was trying to find something, it wouldn't take too long, I don't think, to identify what layer that was in. Now, you haven't got to break them down layer by layer, you could just unclip the level above and just take yeah. them all off. So I think the fact that it is so versatile, the mm -hmm. fact that it's very user friendly, the fact we have accessories with this, it's not just kind of a one, one trick storage. Shop. Yeah, yeah. Only, you know, there's lots of accessories, there's the wheelbase that I promise we will bring back. In the autumn, you heard it here live, viewers, you heard it here live. So I think that, you know, that's why we love the product. Um, and we know that you know you love it as well. We've mm -hmm. seen you know, all five star reviews on this product. I, I'm I'm yet to hear anything negative. Yeah, please that's don't true. now send something in negative. <laughs> and I'll put that out there. But I'm yet to hear something it's negative true. about the product. Because what's not to love, it, you know? And the clarity of the box is clearly, like you said, so that accessibility. You can see it. It works so well with the caddies. That those pen caddies. You know, if you store those on the top. Uh, if you were lucky enough to get the large storage caddy as well, which is now gone, it, it transfers onto those rails so you can take and, uh, you know, transfer what you need, what you don't need. I mean, it it's just has so many fantastic pluses and it's very durable. It's very robust. And then if we are lucky enough in the autumn, because Sam said it here now, uh, to have our wheelbase, um, then even easier to move around the place as well. And we can just stack and add to it and it builds as our crafted build. So, yeah, do listen to those uh, other five-star reviewers that have, which is you, that have bought these. Um, loads, loads on the website there as well. And with this fantastic price point, you're getting all those caddies in there as well. So your actual... Um, for what you call the white bit, the, the caddies, do you, so, and the so boxes? The, the, the unit itself is a caddy, the caddy, and the white frame is just the white frame. The white frame, yeah. And then the, yeah. Uh, the clear, clear canisters caddies, go in there. Yeah. So that is classed as one, one caddy, caddy, and we class these as a containers. The cane, yeah. So all of those, so you said 16 of the smaller, is it 16 yes, of the smaller 16 containers? 16 of the um, single, um, single canisters, yeah. and four of the double. Double. I mean, that, that in itself is brilliant. So watch out for future shows as well if you want to get the larger one, and when, if and when it becomes available. Get your pen storage because that slides in as well. So it's all about them using uh, alongside the other products with Deflecto and especially with the colour scheme as well. So we've got that on two Flexi Buy payments there or a one-off payment at £49.96, which is brilliant. You won't find it for that price elsewhere. Julia's tried. Uh, 903010. I'm going to save you the heartache. Just, just get it with her chanda. Let's see how we can create a Flexi order if we want to have that and something else on the show today. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order. 
which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Absolutely spreading the cost. Yes, indeed. So five star reviews we were just talking about. These are your reviews on our website. So you can shop ahead for the deflector goods. You can shop by brand there as well. Look at them all there because they work, they're functional, they suit your needs, uh, they, they have that innovation. They're better than anything else that's out there on the market. So don't deny yourself the pleasure of getting organized and tidying up and uh, yeah, making life a lot easier with the Deflecto Storage Solutions there because they are every bit as good as those reviews say they are. All righty uh, I've got these, which were re quite new, only, you know, uh, a couple of months back, you said. Yeah, um, start of the year we launched Yeah. Those. Hey, are you able to tell me what you're working on at the moment? No. Oh. I tried. I tried. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm no, no, actually, no, no I business. will. I will. So we're, oh, working on, um, on. we're working on a range of children's storage. Ooh. Um, with a antimicrobial additive, oh. which prevents the spread of bacteria, uh, oh. viruses, and prevents mold and um, yeah, mold growth. Wow, that yeah. is something else. So we're hopefully um, towards the end of this year, I imagine. As long as you want those products at Achanda, we'll, yeah. we'll bring them on. Oh, how exciting. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? I want them, I want them, and I don't even know what they are yet, but I already want them from the description. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're so clever there at Deflecto. There you go. You heard it here. Breaking news, the latest innovation. Uh, all righty. So anyway, back to what we were talking about. Uh, Chana, what would you store in our multi-compartment storage caddy and mini storage box? Tools. What kind of tools? Screwdrivers. <laughs> yeah? Nails in the top bit. Huh? Nails. nails. She wants nails in the top. Raw plugs, maybe? Yeah. I was talking, chattering all about Allen keys yesterday. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, or nails as a nail bar, did you mean? No, I didn't mean You did mean nails. nails nail yeah. Bar. Fantastic. Tools. She'd, she'd have it as a big toolbox. We well, could put wee nail varnish in there. You could. You could. I was talking about Jed's uh, certain guns uh, with his pellets. Yes. Yeah, foam pellets are there, nail files in the top. Yeah, maybe you are a beautician, because this would be great uh, once it's cooled down. I'll see your hair dryer and your tongs and your straighteners and your hair. See, Yanis has a lot of hair products, doesn't he? Um, there's never enough storage in the, uh, in the presenter lounge for, for our Yanis. So and he likes to measure how long his hair is. So the <laughs> ruler on the top is very useful for him. He's got great hair. He's got great hair. Straight. It's like throwback to the 1970s, 80s. He's got great it's like, hair. It's fantastic. It's like Starsky and Hutch. I'm really jealous. He's got amazing hair. <laughs> um, right, OK, I'm being silly. Um, what, my director, what would you store in our fantastic multi-compartment storage caddy and mini storage box? Oh, is it, ah, it's Charles Art Supply. So what does she like? Well, yeah, but what kind of things? Pipe cleaners, pom-poms, glue, <laughs> glitter, pegs. Paintbrushes, face paints. Yes, there's a lot of people do face painting, don't they? When we're allowed to go out there and do that. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. Um, yeah, what, what you, 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 your children, we store all their gubbins, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I think um, we recently, well, we, we moved house just at the end of March, so I was putting a lot of pictures up. Cause my oh, okay. wife likes pictures in the house. Yeah. They're all everywhere. Yeah, um, yeah, I think so it's a thing we like. I've got a lot as well. This, this sort of thing, like if I bring in sort of my dirty tool bag from out in the outhouse, it's, it's a no-no, it's stopped at the door. Whereas with this, you can put like the items that you know generally are only going to be inside the house, like your picture hanging kit, yep. small hammer, little got level. It. Yeah. And then, you know, you aren't really get any fuss off your wife or husband, because both can give a hard time occasionally. Yeah. That's a good option for that. Absolutely. That, that's genius. Um, 
That's, well, that's kind of exactly what I was doing, so I was decorating my dad's uh, flat recently. So I've got my little two box, because you know I keep my private little two box separate from hubby's. <laughs> because his, he never puts things back. So you can never find the hammer, you can never find the chisel. You just can't, so I have my own little one. But also, for that exact reason, I didn't need, I didn't need a huge amount. I just needed my little hammer, my, yeah. my screwdrivers, and um, my picture hanging. Yeah. I think probably that would be Scott's, actually. He'd have the little one, and I'd have the big one, because I'd do the drilling. Anyway, whatever, whatever, whatever it is you do in your house, these are fantastic. Um, so we've got that fantastic clear top lid there as well with the ruler on top. It's, a, it's, a, it's the devils of the detail. You know, not, nobody's doing that. Nobody thinks to do that. You might just need, you might not have a ruler to hand. Um, lovely and robust and strong. Because look, how many times have we stood here now over the last 24 hours and opened these up and closed these up? They are durable. They're going to take that impact of usage over and over again. Fantastic strong lid. You've got that inner compartment there, which just shows you just how much depth you've still got left for your storage. Uh, whatever you need to hand that lies on top, whether it's Shana and her tools there, uh, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we love, I love a toolbox. I do get excited by a bit of a stroll down the aisle in b and I do. I, I love a bit of uh, the, the tool storage. And then we've got the mini one as well. The mini one as well, so this would be lovely for our crochet hooks or wh whatever. We were talking about little weekends away or you just need those few things. Uh, Sam was talking about, you know, just those few things so we're not contaminating the house with all the dirty gubbins, big dirty whatever for the caravan weekend. Yeah, you just need a few little things that you're always taking like your soap and your flannel and your tea towels and just, just a few bits and bats. So whatever, however you're going to use it, you're getting two of them. They're fantastic. Uh, they're one of the newest solutions there from Deflector, the £28.98. You're saving £6, Let's have a look at some more inspiration. Absolutely fantastic. A few more things just to review there. And would you believe that is the end of our gorgeous Deflecto until hopefully maybe in a couple of months' time. So this could be the last chance for a while. So please, please, please don't miss out. You've got the Deflecto multi-stack storage there, Sam. I have indeed. So we've added in the... Um, you aren't going to get the marker storage just to give you... I'll take it out, actually, just to make it less confusing. So this is the multi-stack storage. You're getting the three layers of kind of storage options. Mm. They do come apart. So if you did want to kind of put that on the shelf and use that somewhere else, you can do. They can be wall mounted as well. So you can see the lugs on the back of the product. So all you'd have to do is pop those out, um, attach, you know, obviously then attach it to the wall and then that would be off the work surface. So that'd be great in um, kind of a workshop or yes. shed, garage, anywhere like that. This product we do see being used um, kind of in children's bedrooms as well or on desks at work. Mm -hmm. um, and we, you know, we've definitely seen it being used in craft rooms. Yeah, definitely. The fact the drawers do come out. So if you did have this on the shelf and you just wanted to take the items that you've got in there, you can easily do that. You're getting the large single drawer um, there and you're also going to get three of these um, deep, deeper drawers that you can see and as we said they all come out which is brilliant so the whole thing doesn't tip over so this product as I say I think it's just a good all-round yeah. nice and versatile um, I think there's plenty of applications where you would see this being used in the Absolutely. home or at, or at work 
Yeah, lovely, neat and compact. Um, and, you know, in spaces of a premium, perhaps, in the work surface, um, it's absolutely perfect. Let's show you this picture again as well. And this has the caddy, which is why um, the pen caddy there, uh, Sam has just shown us that. Yeah, I mean, look how much has been packed into that lovely storage solution. It's, it's, it's quite deceiving, isn't it? It's like a little TARDIS. Just so goes on ribbon, and on. Ribbons in the bottom. Yeah. Think there's some inks, the pens, the scissors. Yeah. But that's exactly how it should be used. That's a, that is a great picture. Yeah. And especially when you want to keep a bit of surface for working on, you know, it's not taking up too much space, but it's incredible in terms of keeping everything tidy. So, yeah, a brilliant application there. £21.99, 059292. Just going to quickly revisit our, our lovely, lovely uh, storage box here as well, uh, because this is a thing of beauty and a lot better than uh, a lot of, you know, because there are similar things out there, but this is super duper in comparison. Again, we've got that lovely inch ruler on the top. We've got those strong uh, lugs there as well that open up, and then we've got that extra well of compartment. We've got another two at the side as well. So whatever it is you want to store on top, especially those little things that always get lost, but perhaps that we need, um, and then open this out. I love this double lock effect as well, because that just means you've got that extra security. And then rather than the actual trays being attached to the lid so the whole thing doesn't topple over, you've got that. If you need to put some tools down, you can then lift out your compartments. You can see the depth of the storage there, all ready to go. Um, lightweight but very very sturdy and then all these different wells are different sizes with the ability to change them on the top so that we're not restricted we can use this to adapt to what it is we want to store rather than it dictating to us that it has to be this small and it has to go in there you can move those top ones in and out we've got the long ones there so lovely versatility there and a different range throughout so yeah great for your storage um, really robust, like I said, and so well thought through. So this is your three tray crafters storage box, and it's twenty nine ninety nine five five six nine zero seven. Let's have a little look at the one day special because we're coming to the close of the hour. Um, obviously, you work with this a lot. It's, it's one of the absolute best sellers for Deflecto, isn't it? So um, you know, if you've already got some, now's the time to get some more, isn't it? Yeah, and I think you know, one of the reviews that we'd seen online said what they really liked about the product was is that you know they they initially bought just two of them because they were you know so we're going to try it out and yes. they loved it. Yeah. And they bought more, and the fact that you can just stack more and more on top, you yeah. know, once you've got one, that's the start really. Yeah. You know, it's not just one, it's one unit um, until you buy more, and then you can just add more to it. And it's, it, it is a modular system, which is what I think is really unique. Is there a minimum, the Sam, in terms of... Uh, maximum. Maximum, sorry, yes. Um, not, not really. I mean, I guess it depends how long your arms are. <laughs> and also, um, yeah, I, I would say probably six or eight if is you a got, really... If you manage to get the wheelbase, yeah. like in the autumn, like you promised you'd bring us. Promised I'll bring it back. Uh, what the, sort of would you say about eight then, would you? Yeah, yeah. A, a good waist height. Yeah. Just depending on how tall you are. Yeah. Um, eight's a good... Seven or eight is a good yeah. amount. I think, yeah. um, here we go. So we have on Leone's yeah, uh, picture, that. I think there's, so, is it eight or nine three, on there? Three, four, five, six, seven she's got on, on the right there. Uh, so yeah, eight six, on the yeah, left. Yeah, lovely. So that's waist height for Leone, who, yeah. as we know, isn't the tallest person on the planet. No. Nope. So I think you could comfortably get away with nine yeah. if you were a bit taller. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. So now's the time to get them, and then you will be ready to have the lovely wheelbase if that's something you need, uh, which is brilliant on all surfaces, but that's hopefully coming then in the autumn. He's promised several times. Uh, so don't miss out because you're getting four of these fantastic caddies and all of those lovely storage, uh, you know, the, the units within it. Uh, 16 of the smaller, and I keep forgetting how many of the bigger ones. Uh, four. Four. Yeah, and then, of course, it's transfer. If we get some more into the big, the lovely three ones, we can put those in there. You can put the lovely pen caddies there in, in the top as well. And don't forget your add-on, that lovely rail. So these come out and they can lock onto the back of your rail and then you can interchange them with your storage system, which I, I just think that's, obviously this isn't the rail, but it's there uh, when you ring up or at the end of your web order. Have you got a rail? I have got a rail. If by magic. I saved it to the last minute. You did. <laughs> you hid that from Here's me all rail. this time. So as we said, you can hook each of these canisters um, oh, look on at there. That. You, you do get the fixings included as well. So I mean, if you imagine this above your workstation or, as we said, on the wall behind you. Yeah, um, space really saving. Handy. Definitely a good space saver.
Uh, how many? We get, could get at least three there across there, wouldn't we? In there? Yes, yeah. you will. Yeah. Um, Shall we have a look at this on the web? So if you're checking out your basket or if you want to speak to a customer service centre operator, uh, the add-on is in terms of free, in terms of um, delivery. No, delivery charge. Yeah. £5.49. Get a few. Um, because, again, it's about space saving. It's space being a little premium. It's about making that environment work for you, tidying it up so you feel calm and you can create and uh, open, lovely open space, lovely open mind. So, yeah. Yeah, don't miss out. I don't want you to miss out on the, the fantastic mountain bar that comes up with the fixings. So we think maybe nine, ten weeks when you when you're back with Sam. Yeah, generally about about yeah. that. Is see, he'll see how he feels. He's, he can't come back <laughs> see how I feel. unless he's got the wheelbase. You can't come back <laughs> no, unless you got the wheelbase. No, I won't come back without the wheelbase. Yeah, and we heard the breaking news about what's uh, being made by Deflecto behind closed doors. That is exciting stuff. It's like an insight into the Willy Wonka factory, isn't it? <laughs> Sam, thank you so <laughs> thank much. You for it's been brilliant. Me. Uh, don't forget to check out your baskets, and we'll see Sam in a couple of months' time. Now, we suggest you be your creative best with Cricket next and the lovely Emma. And then, oh, we've got Chocolate Baroque one day special. And then, made to surprise, terrific towers. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, it, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda.
Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Welcome everybody. So right now we have got a fantastic show lined up for you. It's all about the Cricut Maker in a bundle that we have never ever brought. It is one of the biggest bundles we've ever featured for you. The Cricut Maker is one of the most versatile cutting machines on the market and if you're watching this show and you're an avid crafter you'll already know that it's the ability to cut so many different mediums so we can go from paper to leather to mat board uh, delicate papers in the mix as well and also expand on our range because with your Cricut Maker and this is for the benefit of anyone who might be watching in their first uh, foray into the fantastic world of Cricut we can cut with our Cricut Maker most intricate designs, but you can also score with it, we can write with it, uh, we can put de decorative uh, designs on there and details with it. Enough from me, I will be getting into this bundle in just a moment, but allow me to introduce you to the extremely talented and lovely Emma. <laughs> hello Emma. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, anyone who follows you on social media will know that you are a crafter through and through. <laughs> yeah, an you addict. You love your crafting. <laughs> and well, I'd like to know why, and I know I've asked you this question before, but what made you get the cricket? What made you make that first purchase when you bought it? Oh, um, well, it just blew me away, number one. I remember seeing it first time and I had to sit down. Like, I stood up and I had to be seated to, <laughs> to think it through. Um, but I was a paper crafter and I just... It just blew me away that I could do more of everything. I could cut more intricate things. I could cut bigger things. I could score things. And then once I got it and I realized I could do iron on vinyl and vinyl and fabric stuff, and it all just expanded from there. And now my whole life is cricketed in some way. Well, speaking <laughs> of sp expanding, maybe you've had a cricket, ma uh, cricket before and you're looking at the Cricut Maker, or maybe this is your first time purchasing a Cricut Maker and you've been waiting for the right bundle. Look at what you are getting here. Uh, it is one of, now, am I right in saying this, Emma? Because to me, it definitely yeah. as a presenter, it's the biggest bundle I've ever uh, offered on the show. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you've got everything there to get you started from the get-go. Um, having that Easy Press Mini in there, which I'm sure we'll talk about in a minute, uh, is so incredible because you can get started with your iron-on um, projects from the get-go, from getting your machine out of the box, as well yeah. as you've got, you know, your cardstock, your felt in there, your material. You've got a bit of everything to try, which so I think is really lovely when you're getting it out of the box yeah. and getting started. So this is the first time we've actually ever offered the Mini Press in a bundle. Yeah. So you've got the mighty, uh, the, sorry, the mini but mighty <laughs> uh, press there. You've also got all your vinyl, so uh, going straight to those projects. We are getting, with regard to blades, you've got your fine blade, uh, tip blade, and then yeah. you've got your rotary for your fabric. Yes, indeed. Too. So the fine point blade is the one we're going to use for cardstock, for vinyl, for iron on vinyl, all of those types of vellums, you know, your papers, all of yeah. those types of materials. And then the rotary blade is the special one that's in the Cricut Maker and that cuts any fabric. So um, your denims, your silks, your cottons, all of those can be cut with that rotary blade in there as well. So, okay, let's, for me, and we've got some great examples around, why do I need a Cricut in my life? Show me what I can do. What kind of finish can I expect to achieve? Oh, 
are so much. Um, I mean, my own house is covered <laughs> just with house projects for a start. You know, you can add iron on to um, t shirts, to cushions, uh, to cuddly toys, even. You could add vinyl to your mugs, your cups, everything like that. For paper crafters, you know, you've got the ability to use the pen, you've got use, you can score all of these added things for your cards, your scrapbooks, mm -hmm. all of those kind of things, your 3D projects. If you're a model maker, adds another level there. If you work with fabric, if you're a sewer, you can cut your pattern pieces out for quilts, yeah. things like that, um, or for your soft crafts. So it's just endless, really. It touches on so many different mm. sections of crafting. It will start to pay for itself. and I. I I don't say that often, but genuinely, as a machine, the maker falls into that bracket because it's the professional finish. Now, that's one thing the Cricut Maker really stands out. This is a professional machine, uh, to the point that there are crafters who've started their own businesses from purchasing a Cricut. So this yeah. is where it's all began for them. So you will get that professional finish. Think about personalizing clothing, and uh, this is one situation where I, I think to my nephews and nieces, actually, and me, <laughs> because everyone likes it with their name on a top. So uh, my nephews and nieces, if you at home, being able to get a t-shirt, design a t-shirt, personalizing it, or it, it is, I think, ultimately, if you had to sum up the maker, it's a professional finish and that personalization on everything. You're looking at the top there, party time top. That looks like it's been shot for, but it hasn't. You've made that. Yeah. And within this bundle, you've got everything to get going. All right, I'm going to break it down. So. First and foremost, you are getting the Cricut Maker. It has got, you know when you buy a high-end product, now there's one well-known manufacturer of phones, mobile phones, we kind of know the one I'm talking about. The minute you take it out of the box, you are instantly hit in the face with the build quality. It looks sleek, it looks elegant, everything is just so smooth. That's what you get. I'm just gonna, oh, let me lean over, that, oh, can I? <laughs> I don't know. I just want to show you something. I'm going to try and do. So, when you open it and just look at this movement, just the ease. Now, I've got the top, but the way it normally opens up, I don't want to knock everything over. But when we normally open it up, it's just got such a lovely, smooth uh, opening. Everything about this is quality. Oh, one thing we haven't pointed out and that you can't see on the pack shot, you're also going to get. Look <laughs> yeah. at this. Are you kidding? <laughs> so it's 24 by 36 inches. You are getting this enormous cutting mat. Now, where would this come into its own, Emma? Um, to protect your surface at home, um, I personally have mine set up on my desk uh, just to protect from, you know, it's a self-healing mat so I can do any cutting on there. Uh, I'm able to, you know, get the glue gun out on there, get the paints out on there and it's going to protect my surface. Yeah. It's double-sided as well so it looks really cute depending Excellent. on which colour you want. Um, but I just like that it adds, it, everything is the same then <laughs> and it looks really cool. We like that and also if you're, say if you're working on a quilt in conjunction with a Cricut yeah. Maker, something like that. Yeah would be fantastic. I just want to speak at the moment to anyone, and we are busy, and we have got a few of these in baskets right now. I fully understand this is a considered purchase. So uh, odds are, if you have got this in your basket, you've done your research, you've been waiting for the right opportunity. Things to point out, with this bundle, once you get this home, you've got everything you need to get going. It's the first time we've had the mini press in a bundle as well, so that's very, very special. And also, being Ho-Chanda, I think that something that sets us apart is you've got the three uh, flexi payments as well, £175.13. and 13 pence. Your first payment, you are able to break that up, hopefully making it a lot more manageable, because 525 today, anyone's going to be feeling that sting. So we are trying to make that easier. Uh, so just to show you what you were getting, that large mat that I just showed you, so you will be getting uh, the large mat here. You're also going to be getting the fantastic Easy Press Mini. So you're going to be getting your Cricut Easy Press Mini. There's it all boxed. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, you're getting uh, all of the vinyls in there. So from your bright, vibrant neons to your golds, uh, to your decorative designs coming through, and that looks like a brushed metal holographic. Then we've got our, uh, up here, you've got your felt in there. Then you've got tw 10 12 by 12 sheets. So remember, we can go from felt to paper to vinyl. You've also got cardstock in the mix of different uh, textures to uh, play around with. So now we're thinking about home decor. You're going to be getting fabrics too in the bundle. 
We're just showing you those. Uh, you're also going to get your weeding tool set, which is vital. So you're going to be getting that. Uh, obviously, de-weeding. We'll explain all of that to anyone who might be new. You'll be getting two blades, with the rotary cutter blade and that fine point blade in there as well. So for your paper, uh, all the way through to your... Um, to your rotary cutter and you're getting, sorry, to your fabric with the rotary cutter. You're getting your pink and blue mats in there. All of that, that is it. What you're seeing here is what you're gonna be having. Out. Now imagine this delivered to your door and instantly you're gonna get going. It's everything you need. Uh, it's such a great bundle. It's a fantastic saving of £77. 831-767, your item number there. Uh, we're going to move on because we have got another bundle for you. Uh, it's another great bundle, actually. Um, and now, this is the first time we've had this in a bundle as well. So, uh, great opportunity to maybe consider purchasing £314.92. But have a look at this. So, this is your Easy Press 2. It gives you that consistent with the plate. It's digital, so you ensure you're working to the right, uh, right heat setting for the project you're working in. You've got edge-to-edge -edge heat coming through, and you're pressing down. Uh, it's all digital, so it tells you when you've pressed down for uh, long enough, and then you're taking it off. And this is the difference. Am I right in saying, Emma, using the Easy Press? is the difference between getting that professional finish and then with an iron where we might not necessarily. Yes, exactly. With your home iron, um, only an inch square in the middle is actually hot enough for iron on vinyl. So when you're pressing a project, you don't actually know if you're hitting um, the whole of your project properly. So then when you go to wash it, uh, it starts to peel off, which can be a bit embarrassing, especially if you're making to sell. Yeah. Uh, whereas the Oh, this big one. <laughs> the whole plate of the Easy Press 2 heats up to exactly the same temperature and it stays at that temperature. Yeah. Um, so we know we can pick the temperature for the material that we're pressing onto and for the iron-on that we're using, and we know that we're going to get a really great press, perfect results in around under 30 seconds as well. So it's a wow. lot quicker than using your home iron too. Mm -hmm. And we're not only just getting the, uh, the Easy Press, you've also got the vinyl in the mix. We are giving you that vinyl. I mean, you've got a £110 saving here. You're going to get the mat and the bag. And this, this to me, is a statement of intent. As a bag, it's just a beautiful bag in its own right. So you know <laughs> that with the Easy Press, you are getting something that it's absolute premium. You can see it from the zips. Everything about this just feels good. It looks good. So you can put your Easy Press straight in because it is heat proof as well. So once you've uh, worked with it, you don't need to wait for it to cool down. If you are in a class, you can put it into your bag and it's safe to transport around. Loving the range of foils that we're getting here as well. So uh, again, thinking on from maybe you have got a maker in the past from us or wherever, uh, and now you would like to take it to that nth degree and get that professional finish you're able to do it with the easy press too and it is such a beautiful looking machine but also functionality when you do use it we're really not just saying it, you need this to get a professional finish you will see and feel the difference okay so those are our bundles uh 314 pounds and 92 pence if you want to get hold of this 068855 and of course there are three flexi payments as well so 104 pounds and 97 pence today this whole bundle will be winging its way to you uh, okay we're going to be heading to emma for our first demonstration this is just showing you uh now, this is is this also oh this is the vinyl sorry included in the bundle there i was, I was getting confused i thought there was more <laughs> uh so there we go zero six eight eight five five your item number if you do have any questions if it's in your basket and this is the beauty of being a live show i really would love to hear from you so any questions whatsoever if you're on the fence if it is in your basket you're thinking oh i'm not sure please get in touch and we will do our very best to answer any questions you might have so i can see you're all prepped and what we're going to yes. be doing um I'll quickly show what I was cutting earlier, a lovely leaf on the corrugated card. Wow. Um, I'll try and peel this off quickly. Okay. And then I'm going to do a felt project um, with iron-on as well. So we're going to get to see a little bit of the maker cutting felt. So give me um, an idea of the different things we can cut with our maker. Oh, it's a mad list. <laughs> Hundreds of materials. So we can cut felt, we can cut um, with the knife blade, added on life knife blade, we can cut thicker materials like our balsa woods and chip boards up to 2.4 millimeters thick too. Wow. Um, because we've got that strength and the weight of the maker, which the other Cricut machines don't have. Yeah. Um, we can cut 
obviously all of our cardstocks, our papers, our vellums, all of our iron on vinyls and leather. vinyls like we've seen. Yep, leather, faux leather. Yeah. And then all of your materials as well, you know, your silks, your denims, even faux fur if you fancied it, you could cut wow. that on there. Um, yeah, it's m mad, <laughs> endless yeah. and acetate, things like that too. So it's, it's being able to cut such a wide range of materials, but it's the, the quickness of the cut, yes. the, the quality of the finish, it's everything we're looking for as crafters. Yes, exactly. And the fact that we can cut multiples of things too. We, need, we can cut whole mats of a project and we can cut big or small so we can take the same design and make it small, pop it on a t-shirt or make it into um, a topper for a card. You've got that flexibility to use the same shape but however you want to use it. Do you know what I like about this bundle as well? That everything here you are going to use. Because you know sometimes shopping you see a bundle and you're thinking well I'm not sure if I'm going to use everything. You will absolutely use everything here from uh, the little mini easy press all the vinyl, yes, you're going to be using that. The mats, you'll 100% be using the mats. The felt, you will be using the felt, the papers, uh, the fabrics, the tools, every part of this bundle you are going to use. So that £77 to me that you are saving is well worth it because if you were to buy all the elements separately, you'd be looking at £602. So why not take advantage of the savings, take advantage of the flexi payments and start your cricket journey? I mean, you've got everything to play there as well, which I think is great about these machines. Even if you are a paper crafter and that's what you're buying it for, you've got all that stuff so you're able to then go, oh, so-and-so would like a T-shirt made, I can do that. <laughs> and you are that friend who oh. you, a lot of people come to you and say, could you personalise that T-shirt? We've got <laughs> uh, a special event coming up. It's someone's wedding or we're going out. It's someone's big birthday. Yes, exactly. Once they know you've got a cricket <laughs> and what it can do, yeah. <laughs> then you end up definitely. Or I now, I won't do it for people, so it means they have to buy one themselves. Well, no, <laughs> so good, everyone in my family joy. has a cricket machine now. <laughs> huh. Nice. Even my brother-in-law makes his own t-shirts on there. So have you become your own sort of fashion designer then? Do you tend to oh, buy definitely. like blank pieces of clothing yeah. and then just personalise it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, blank t-shirts shoes the whole lot yeah we can shoes? well yeah we can do shoes because of the mini because of the size of it we can get right oh. in there and do I think there's a pair of trainers behind you in fact um, yeah but it makes it so much what? easier for me so with regard to designs what how much artwork have we got to play around with because there is a design suite yes there and is. also anyone who's maybe a little bit worried about using that design suite how easy it is to act how accessible is it yeah so it's called Cricut Design Space, okay. um, and you can download it now onto your, um, oh, my brain went there, your tablet or your smartphone or a software onto your laptop or computer. Okay. Uh, we say if you can use a smartphone, you can use Cricut Design Space, um, but have, download it now, have a play before your machine arrives. Nice. Uh, there is actually over 150,000 images on there. What? Yeah, and they add them new ones every week. <laughs> And they um, get, you get freebies on there as some well? Some are free, yeah. yeah. Some are paid for, or okay. there is the subscription to more images if you like. So there's lots of options. Yeah. And, and we and can break it down. So yeah. say if you want a dinosaur, we've yeah. done this in the past, you yeah. just type in dinosaur yeah. and see all the projects. <laughs> yeah, we can do that in a bit if you like. Um, yeah, and you'll see thousands of dinosaur images, for example. Um, mm. Or you can upload your own images too. So, if you, if nothing, if you find nothing that's up in your kind of what you like in the in the library, which believe me, I've tried everything and I've even found things I like, then um, you can upload your own images too. Even the ones you've designed or illustrated yourself, you can upload those to cut too. Incredible. Okay, uh, I just got to say that we are busy for our cricket maker. A third of the stock has gone for this bundle. A lot of people are taking advantage of the savings and what's included. So if you want to join uh, the Cricket family, <laughs> great time to do that. Yes. Right, I'm going to cut felt. Okay. Um, and all I've done here is I just quickly switched the um, rotary blade in to the blade clamp here. So I switched out the fine point and I'm going to cut felt with the rotary blade. So Very easy to change. If all you're doing you have to that do is clip upside that down in front of the camera. Yeah, it's <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> okay. uh, we're going to press go and let that do its thing. And you can see I've got that on the fabric mat there as well because, of course, it is a fabric. So pink's fabric and then yep. we use our rotary cutter. Yep. Um, so it's just checking which tool I've got in there. So if I hadn't changed the tool, it would say to me, uh-uh, Emma, 
no, <laughs> you need to switch tools there because you've not got the right one in. So you can't go wrong. It's going to tell you on the screen um, exactly. It's going to check for you. So it checked, it knows I'm OK, and now it's started cutting. It's an intuitive machine. It's a very clever, clever machine. Yes, and we don't have to worry about settings either. I just tell it I'm cutting felt, and I can be really specific with what type of felt that is, whether it's acrylic felt or wool felt. And then there's actually a team in America who have tested all of the settings. They've run through all of these different materials to find the correct setting. So we don't have to worry about changing a dial or anything like that. Um, it's all done for us. We just say, I'm cutting felt. Nice. And it tells us exactly what blade it would like us to use and then gets to work. It's a very clever machine, just seeing it working for you. And it does take all the hard work out of life. What I would say with the Cricut Maker is think about that personalization and the times in life when you will need it. So, for instance, if you did want to do some home decor, if you wanted to make oh, a cushion, you can do that. You can personalize. If you wanted to get into your quilt making, if you're a soft crafter, it will cut up. There are projects where you can cut up uh, your own fabrics and design your own quilts. If you want to, if I pop that down, personalize, say, little tops. How cute is this? Look at that. <laughs> but where it comes into its own are those occasions. Let's say if you are a parent or if you have a little one in your family, it's those occasions like National Book Day. Yeah. <laughs> and you know that you have to come up with something special. And there's always that family, a friend, uh, or that parent that goes to town and the kid looks amazing. <laughs> so yeah. suddenly you can be that parent. Yeah, but with really minimal effort. Yeah. And that's what I love about this. You know, if ever someone has a new baby that I know, yeah. I have a staff of baby grows and then I will make one with their name on it and send them to it they That's they think cute. that I've put in loads of time and effort yeah. and it probably only took me 10 minutes don't tell them <laughs> but, <imagine laughs> but you like know being able to personalize yeah. how beautiful is that the day it's such a lovely name. gift to give as well yeah. because it is personalized and it shows you've thought about it but actually you haven't spent any more time than going around wandering around the shops to buy the same old thing that someone yeah. else might have already bought them and that that is the real key that's yeah. another bit is you're gonna have something that's truly unique to you Okay, so that has finished cutting, mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to peel this away and you can see there how beautifully that has cut. So this is going to be an owl mask, <laughs> okay. um, so a children's eye, and so there you can see how oh. beautifully, I could never have cut felt by hand um, that neatly or yeah. that symmetrically. <laughs> um, so we've got that piece, now we're going to pop in a piece of iron on vinyl so we can decorate our mask. And when we start going through the year, all right, this is where you're going to be using your Cricut Maker. I mean, all year yep. round, but come up to Halloween. So for your home decor, for Halloween costumes, you're going to be all over it. Remember, we have the mini in the bundle as well, so you can suddenly start personalizing those harder projects, like, let's say, onto shoes, which I've never seen done before until we brought out the uh, little mini. So you, Halloween, costumes done. Then we're entering to Christmas, and that as crafters, we all know, is a massive time. So whether you uh, want to create your own ornaments, if you want to create your own home decor, your card making, it does it all. Your Christmas clothes, you can suddenly design uh, maybe tops or clothing to give us gifts. What about for a Christmas card, the whole family having a theme, a design that you've created? Then into the new year, so we can do something for our New Year celebrations. If you were having a party, people around, you can decorate. And then we go into a new year, uh, so summer, spring, autumn, winter, all year round, birthdays, anniversaries. You're just going to, I think this is a machine. How often do you use your maker? Oh, every day. <laughs> I was going to say, it yeah. is a machine you would use every day. Yeah, I use mine every day for something or other. Yeah, and obviously it is my job, but even before oh. it was part of my job, I was using it every day for so, something or other. All right, you've got someone's birthday coming up. Yeah. You use your maker? Oh, yeah, I'll be making a card on there. I might make a banner, because um, that's so quick to do, you know, just cut a few pieces of oh. cardstock, glue gun onto a string, and it's a personalised banner. Well, bunting... Yeah. Now, you could pay for bunting, and you can yeah. do our fabric bunting as well, because we've got the rotary yeah. cutter. You could pay a pound per element of bunting. If anyone's paid for bunting, you'll know that's, that yeah. is what some yeah. people can charge. We can do our own bunting. Yeah. Home decor as yeah. well. An easy gift for someone as well, you know, to get a plain cushion cover yeah. and write, you know, if they've just moved into their house, you could do the house number or I don't know what you want on your cushion, but something like that. 
It's such an easy, lovely gift for people. Buy blanks of everything. Yeah, I have just a yeah. just a box of them, what, <laughs> so like, I can just pick like things bottles. out. If you were uh, so, if you wanted like a reusable drinking bottle or coffee cup, uh, sort of the you know the reusable ones, we can personalise that now. Yeah. And make it something that really suits our own personalities. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I love about this. It just makes so many things so much easier and mm -hmm. makes my crafting look way more professional as well because it does give a professional yeah. finish yeah lovely Definitely. Uh, just seeing the clothing as well if you have a look uh, I'm actually sorry I apologize I know we're looking at it cut, <laughs> cut now but the, the clothing I know you're wearing a lovely top and I'm just behind yeah. you we were joking for the start of the yeah. show uh, <laughs> that to me you it really looks like something you've gone and bought yeah so that has been used with the Big Easy, uh, with the big easy yep, Press? Yeah, with the Big Easy Press, pressed in one go. So we've cut that on the machine and then pressed it. That would have been a 30 second press and we've got a t-shirt ready to wear. I've got this and you've got <laughs> this as well. We're going to put uh, the details for the Easy Press 2 on your screen. It is a bundle, so you are getting a lot as part of that bundle uh, there. And you're getting uh, the Easy Press 12 by 10 show offer. And the show offer, you've got your Easy Press mat, you've got your tote bag, and five iron-on samplers as well. So you're getting all of that uh, for three flex payments of 104 97. I think any fans of cricket, if you have bought the machine, started off your journey and now you're looking to expand, uh, this is well worth considering. Yeah, definitely. Okay, how are we getting on? Okay, so I've just cut my um, first layer of the iron on that's going to go onto our owl mask. And whilst I'm going to weed this, I'm just cutting the beak um, okay. layer too. So that's in foil iron on. So again, I've changed uh, the setting. And before I cut this, I changed back to the um, fine point blade there too. Would, would, I, would I be sounding unrealistic if I was to say this machine will change the way you craft? As oh no, it's changed the way I craft, definitely. I don't want it. And I, I don't think that's an unrealistic. Because it is so versatile, we discussed the fact we can cut with it, we can cut paper, fabric, different materials, we can score, we can write. Is it machine, and I know the answer to this, but I'll ask anyway, machine <laughs> that will grow with us as well? Yes. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And especially the maker, because you've got those add-on tools as well yeah. that are available. So if you suddenly decide, like, oh, actually, I'd really like to get into engraving, mm. there's an engraving tip, so you can add that on. That's so incredible. there's lots of different things where... If so we can start engraving onto stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we haven't got that in the bundle no, today, okay. so I haven't. Um, you can grow, you can yes, grow with you. we can engrave. Uh, we got different. You have a look on our website because I know we've got the different tools yeah. uh, as well. Uh, what I will say, oh, we're just showing you all the different blades are there. So yep. if you do want to get a different blade, you can. So you've got your fine tip blade, you've got your perforating blade in there as well. Drawing, waving, uh, wavy blade. There's bonded fabric in there too, double yep. scoring. All those <laughs> blades, and in time you will build that up. Yep. But when you see them, what I love about the Cricut machine is we can just type in any project. And uh, I'm so glad we are busy for this. Genuinely, if you have got it in your basket and you do purchase a machine, whether it's today or whenever, this machine will change the way you craft. And I know it from speaking uh, to people, obviously talking to Emma, but so many of the team here at Hochanda own a Cricut machine. And that to me is a massive endorsement. All you need, you've got the software there. If it's a card, you just type in the theme. If you want a 3D project, if you want home decor, uh, if you want a sewing project, you type in the theme, what you're looking for, anniversaries, birthdays, Halloween, horses, unicorns, cars, <laughs> Spain, whatever it might be, and you will get, that was for you, Paula, uh, you will get, uh, you'll get a theme come up in all those different examples of projects. Yep, exactly. Okay, so I've got my felt. I've just turned on my Easy Press Mini, and with the Mini, you'll see that you've got um, three different heat settings because obviously it's so tiny, it mm -hmm. can't have the screen and everything that the yeah. um, Easy Press 2 has. Um, so I'm on the second setting here. Oh, and there we go. It's just gone green, which means it's hot enough and it's ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to pop that back in there. Um, now, with felt, you always, well, with any material, but definitely with felt, make sure you preheat your fabric before you iron anything on. And that's to get rid of any moisture um, that might be in there. That's a good tip. So just go over that for about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
This would be good if you're a sewer just for pressing as well. Yes, I use it a lot if I've got my machine out and yeah. I just want to press seams um, and I don't want to get out the whole, you know, ironing board and all that faff. Yeah. Just have a mat and the thing and you can just use it for that, which is a really oh, handy yes. little tip as well. I like that. Okay, so I've lined up my iron on on there uh -huh. and now I'm just going to go over with the mini and with this one we keep it moving the whole time with our bigger presses we just press down and we don't move them um, but with the mini we keep on moving mm -hmm. so we're getting an even heat everywhere yeah so just make sure you get in all of the different bits Lovely. and this is this is just such a good press for hats for soft toys for shoes anything 3d mm -hmm. or even just your little projects where you don't want to get out you know your full press something like this where you yeah. just want to do a quick project um, that doesn't need a lot of surface area this is where the easy press mini is great I tell you, I've got a good idea if you want to email in and challenge us in the sense of occasions <laughs> or where we would be using our Cricut maker so uh, for projects email in and we can give you some ideas of just how versatile it is now we have had a question from Diane yeah she's saying can we use our own designs and how do we transfer them? Yes, you can. So you can upload your own designs um, into Cricut Design Space. And those can be, among others, a PNG, an SVG, a JPEG. You can actually clean them up in the software if they're not yeah. ready for that. Uh, and then you just add them into the canvas and cut them. So it's really, really easy to do. So yep. With the drawing, with the pen, <coughs> or if yeah. you, I'm just thinking if you wanted to... If you had, uh, is there any, can we put a fabric pen in there? Yes, we can. There is a fabric pen. Um, yeah. It's blue, uh, washes out. So you can pop that in and then mark up all your pattern pieces if you're doing fabric. And then it washes away afterwards. So that's really handy too if you're cutting out any fabric bits. So we can start becoming our own designer. If you've been looking for a design or if you have something and then you want to create a, a die cut of it, we can do that now. Yes, exactly. It's amazing. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. Got to tell you, uh, the Easy Press bundle is proving very popular. That's at the bottom of your screen, uh, and it's going to be our second demonstration. But I know how many fans there are of the Cricut Maker. Uh, so if you have got Cricut and you're just looking to expand on your stash, the Easy, Ma uh, Easy Press 2 is an incredible machine. Uh, this is finished. Um, so I've just peeled off the carrier there, and now I've got a lovely. <laughs> you look like. <laughs> Anyway, if you look I'll like actually a, matches my hair, on, I didn't think about you that. You actually look like a hero. Look yeah. at that. Oh, no, that's horrible. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's yeah. so cute. How I cute is beak. that for the kids to do their own? And you could even go to town with even more iron-on on there as well. So would you and just it's super sparkly. Cut a little, prick a little hole, put some elastic yeah. through. Yeah, or we so could have, I could have been more prepared and got the machine to cut the hole for me. So oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, we could have right. done that too. What I was thinking is, and you've given me a good idea, have you ever been to, I mean, that's great for the kids, have you ever been to a masquerade ball? Oh, yeah. Now yeah. imagine Making creating your own. your own mark. This is what I mean with the, the Cricut Maker. It really does everything for you. So we've gone from making a cute little project for uh, younger members of our family. Equally, we can do something for us. We can personalize any clothing, uh, home decor, cushions, quilts, bags. You can personalize. Uh, you can cut here as well. And there are so many projects, if you did want to do a soft craft project, that are yeah. quick makes. I mean, on there, what, 50 yeah. quick makes straight away yeah. when you open up the software? Yeah, there's lots of... We can, I can show that actually quickly okay. now. If I show that on the software, you can see all of the projects that are available. Um, okay. I'll bring that up. Um, so you see it's such a diverse amount of projects. What are those? What are they, just down there, what are the guitars? Oh, those are cut out of wood on the Maker, so they're little mini dollhouse guitars. No way. Uh, made from, I think, balsa wood, so that's cut on the Maker with the knife blade, the added in blade. That's incredible. Um, I can show you, let's scroll down to sewing. And so you'll see there's lots of, you know, we can make a whole handbag or, you know, a cute little doll all from scratch, cut all of the pieces. Face masks are yes. very popular. We've got our at the face moment. coverings, yeah. yeah. We've got lots of different styles as well that Cricut have uploaded. Um, you know, even a little Pinning. skirt you can make for yourself. Yeah, aprons, all these lovely. So if you've things. got some fabric that you love, yeah. here we've got the project, say a skirt, to suddenly create something out of it. Yeah. 
exactly. Um, cards, you know, if you're, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure what type of card I'd like to make, you've got these, and you can customise these projects too. So if there's an element you don't like or you want to change the writing or resize it, you've got that option as well. And oh, then... It is full personalisation. Yeah. So mm. if we were to type something in, let's, let's play this game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Let's type in dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I mean, there's loads. 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 <laughs> All right, now that was too easy. Um, Kirsty, what, what, tell me a passion in your life. We're going to make something for floor <laughs> manager, Kirsty. What do you love? Give us one word. What do you love? What are you into? Foxes. Foxes? foxes. All right, yeah, we'll we can type do in foxes. foxes. Let's have I'll a look. just go for fox. Loads of foxes. Look wow. at those. Oh, how cute is that one with this little um, so coffee? There? We can cut these out of vinyl, we can cut them out of paper, you can cut them out of leather, you can cut them out of fabric. Yeah, I mean, you've got 3D ones here. You see this guy? He's the 3D um, paper piece that can go on the wall. So, wait, how would you, what would you need to do there? Um, so, you just have your cardstock and your scoring, um, scoring tool in the machine, yeah. and you'd cut all of the pieces and then glue them together. That's Hold amazing. Them and glue them. Yep. All right, foxes was too easy. What about if we type in. Um, oh, I want to I push you a little bit. Oh, I don't what know. about angels? Angels? Oh, yeah. they'll definitely be angels. Okay, that was too. That was I bet there'll be more angels than foxes. Yes, double the angels. Okay, there's lots. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of angels, yeah. angel wings, all of those dogs with angel wings, of course. <laughs> we like that. Okay, what about we're making something for somebody? I'm thinking of my uh, brother in law, he likes to fish. Fish, oh, so yeah. So, this is where you start thinking about you know, people you, st you struggle to make fishing. for, you don't have in your stash. Loads of fishing. Actually, that's got more results than angels. <laughs> well, okay. uh, but look at all these cool, like, how cool would they, that be on a t shirt hooked on fishing or. Keeping yeah. it real. Keep all. Yeah, see? All How the about fish jokes. <laughs> day, day of the Dead. Cinco oh, yeah, we Mila. definitely got that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It if might not be called this. Let's have it. it. Is it Cinco de Mayo, I think? Oh, yeah, we got yeah. these new animals. These that were added 5, last 000 week. 5,000 results. Yeah. <laughs> Five th this is the kind of resources you're bringing to the table when you type in a category and you get 5,000 results. Yes. So. Tell me the different kind of projects then we could make. So what? Oh, clothing. Yeah, yeah. clothing, homeware, um, cards, uh, oh, sewing projects, um, 3D projects like we've seen, paper projects, uh, banners, decorations, wedding things. Oh, it's just so endless. It's mad. There's pe even yeah. people that are makeup artists for like Vogue or places like that that yeah. are cutting pieces to go on models' faces with their machines. You know, what? it's it's so crazy. <laughs> the, yeah. the different things, fashion designers or um, hat makers that are cutting yeah. pieces for hats. Yeah. This is amazing. Well, yeah. <laughs> we we want to. We're just conscious of time, and we're going to be demonstrating the Easy Press too as well. The bundle with regard to the Cricut Maker, it's busy. Uh, a lot of you are going for this, and I do not blame you. It is one of the biggest bundles that we've brought with regard to the uh, Cricut Maker. You are getting your little mini Easy Press in the mix. First time we've ever combined it in a bundle with your Cricut Maker. So you can press and you can cut. You've got all your vinyl, so all four. There's your little mini Easy Press. You're getting all four of these different vinyls. Uh, you're also going to get your felt in here, your 12 by 12 paper pad, your 12 by 12 cardboard. Uh, there you're getting your fabrics, which is just, so I'm getting ahead. There's your weeding tools. In there, you're getting your uh, fabrics. You're getting your pink and blue mats. That's for your paper and fabric. You're also going to get your rotary cutter blade, your fine point blade, and if that's not enough, you're going to get this monster mat as well. It's 24 by 36 inches, so a great way to take on those larger projects for a large bundle. Uh, this is the bundle, and of course, the real star of the show is your Cricut Maker. And remember, any project, because you've got that, uh, the design suite, you can go in, type in, search, and the kind of results we were typing in, we were getting thousands of results back.
50 to uh, 500, sorry, let me try again. 525.38 is your price, saving 77 pounds, but you can split that price. Three flexi payments of 175.13. Uh, 831 767, your item number. If you've been waiting for the right opportunity, the right bundle to come along to get hold of this machine, uh, today is absolutely the day. It really is uh, to get hold of your cricket maker uh, and start crafting. Something else we have on the show, and we're going to have a quick look and then see it in demonstration, is the Easy Press 2. So again, this first time we've brought this as, uh, as bundles go, we've never brought this to you as part of a bundle. So you're getting your Easy Press 2 which you can see here. It is a phenomenal machine, digital display. You've got uh, that full heat. You don't need to move it. You've got that massive plate. So all you're doing is pressing down. You've got edge to edge heat, that consistent heat source. It's 30 by 25 centimeters uh, that you're getting there. And then you have all your vinyls. So we're getting five vinyl rolls there as well. I love these vinyls. Look at this. Oof like those and you're getting your fabulous bag and of course your mat to work with the press to uh, 30 uh, 314 92 is your price saving 110 pounds I mean that is a monster saving 110 pounds saving and you got the three flexi payments as well your item number if you do want to get hold of this is 068855 should we have a little bit of a play with it? Yes, let's go for it. Um, so I've got the pattern to iron on, which is in the Maker Bundle. Okay. And I've put this face down onto the mat because we always cut into the back of iron on vinyl. So I'm going to load that into the machine. There we go. I've already told it whilst you were um, chatting what um, material I've got, so it's ready to go. Okay. There we go. Um, we'll start cutting. Again, like it did earlier, it's going to check for the blade, make sure I've given it the right blade. <laughs> um, this is the fine point blade in there again. Mm -hmm. And it's going to set to work. So when would we be using our fine, blade, fine point blade? Um, so that's the one we're going to use for vinyl, iron on vinyl, um, any card stocks, pattern paper, um, your vellums, uh, acetate, all those kind of um, materials really. I'm just thinking being able to cut vellum yes. so we can have that uh, sort of parchment cut look yeah. or paper cut look on vellum would be incredible. Yes, exactly. There's just so many possibilities of this. Um, whatever your craft is, somehow I'm sure the maker is going to step into it in some way and yeah. help you um, with your crafting. I can think in the kitchen, if you wanted to uh, organise, it could be a, a spice rack, or uh, if you wanted to put some design work into a kitchen as well, some artwork. Yeah. What's any makes that really stand out in your mind? Something that you've created using your Cricut Maker that you just think at home or whatever it might be, and think yes, yeah, it really stands out. Oh, so many. Um, the whole of my bathroom wall is done with removable vinyl. So I live in oh. a rented property, so I can't wallpaper. So I've done a whole covered the wall, one wall in a pattern, a kind of abstract pattern with yeah. gold and black vinyl, and it just looks like it's been wallpapered, but it's not. And at the end, I can just peel that away. Um, but that's quite cool. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. So think how much you'd pay to get that done, get someone in to do yeah. that. And to find the right size or exactly what you wanted, whereas right. I was able to yeah, choose exactly the right size and the right colours and everything. So when you say one. peelable vinyl, you, you just push it, how, how does that work? Is it like yeah, a semi-stick? Yeah, it's just not as sticky as our permanent vinyl, yeah. so um, like the roll there is a permanent vinyl, so that's going to stay on for a very long time and you yeah. could use it outdoors. A removable one is yeah. one you could yeah, peel off in a year's time and it won't leave a sticky residue behind. Incredible. Uh, yeah. We are very busy at the moment. Do make sure to check out your basket if you really want it. If you have any questions, and I'm absolutely, look, I understand the price point on this, so uh, I'm by no means pushing you or bullying you into checking out your basket. Have a look. See, look around and you'll realize how competitive you are with the price and the fact, and this is what makes Hochanda such a special place, you are able to spread the cost. So rather than having to pay everything today, you're spreading it over three months, which makes a big difference because for me, 104 pounds is so much more digestible today as opposed to 300 pounds. And again, with the Cricut Maker, we're breaking that down for you uh, and hopefully making life that a little bit easier. Yep, so we're uh, about halfway through cutting okay. this, maybe a little bit more. Um, 
and I've just turned on my easy press nice. um, so we can that's just heating up right now and remember we can check the time um, on the cricket heat guide and this is something you find just type it into your search engine cricket heat guide and then you can tell it what type of t-shirt or material you're pressing onto uh, which easy press you've got whether it's the mini or easy press 2 um, and also which type of iron on vinyl you're using be it the, the glitter or the foil or in our case the pattern mm -hmm. and it will tell you the exact time and temperature for your project and it also has all of the steps there listed too so if you are stuck on your first time um, I'd highly recommend doing that because then you know for sure that you're all in the right place and it's nice and simple incredible cool. yeah um, I'm going to preheat the t-shirt actually while we're waiting to get the moisture nice. out like I did earlier. Nice. Good little tip. Um, and I am just moving the easy press, but when I press in a minute, I won't move it. I'll keep okay. it still. Right. Um, and it's worth mentioning about the mat as well, yeah. uh, because this is a special mat developed by Cricut um, for this job. And what it does is pushes all the heat back up into our project. Like so this. my table underneath is still cool. Yeah. Um, it's not going to ruin my surface or anything uh, because of that. And it's also going to help to take any moisture out of the fabric as well. That's all in there in this magic. It's very scientific. I, I'm not entirely sure I understand what's inside there. Um, but I'm told it's very clever stuff. Um, um, to help us with our projects. Nice. Um, we're almost there, and then Lovely. I'll get weeding as well. What, what kind of feedback, what have you heard from crafters when they, they talk about the Easy Press 2? Oh, they love it. Yeah. Especially if you've used your home iron and then you go to using the Easy Press 2, it just makes it so much easier. It's a game um, changer, really. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Um, because you're getting those professional results really quickly and it's so easy to use. You know, you've got to just place it down, press the button, you're good to go. Well, you described it earlier with, and of course, you can try and use your home iron, but with home iron, how big a surface uh, it gets hot enough to about press an inch it? square because in a home inch iron you only square. have one heating element right. and you don't actually know I mean how hot is a home iron I haven't got right. a clue degrees wise right. um, whereas in um, I'm not quite sure how many heat elements is in this size of easy press but definitely enough so that the whole plate stays exactly the uh, same temperature and stays steep. there yep so, so it's just got to temperature so it's bleeped at me to tell me that it's at temperature it's a clever machine that lets you know when it's hot enough yes and the plate underneath edge to edge all that heat yes. is the perfect temperature yep and it will stay there so it's going to regulate the heat so even if it's a bit cold in here mm -hmm. um, or for some reason the temperature dropped it will adjust and bring itself back up or back down to temperature so it's going to stay there um, at that temperature great so it's good to go yep we've finished cutting uh -huh. uh, so we'll peel this off of the mat and then i'm going to weed away all of the excess nice. um, so i'm going in with my weeding tool now these are included in the uh, bundle with the maker yeah and these are my most used tool i'd say the weeding tool yeah. you just can't do any uh, vinyl or iron on work without it really i have to say emma every time i do a show with cricket i get excited i'm kind of thinking the possibilities of what you can do with this machine yeah and it's one machine i think a lot of crafters we we aim for we kind of strive for uh, it's definitely a machine that, and i'll be honest don't have one yet but I, the, the important word there is, yeah, because it is a machine I definitely want at some point in my crafting life. And yeah. I want to get it. Uh, I'm actually waiting. When we, we're looking to move house, so when we've got a bit more space, then I'm going to start really building up my stash. But so many crafters, uh, I would imagine, same situation. They've looked at the cricket for a long time with uh, sort of adoration and thinking, I'd love to get to play with this machine because it will take your crafting to that next level. Uh, easy to use. And then you suddenly become part of a, a community. <laughs> yeah. Um, we kind of joke and say it's a cult. <laughs> in a, in a good um, way. Just because everyone is just a, a, an addict. I think yeah. you just become a cricket addict. Um, and yeah. I've, I mean, I own, well, I own a Facebook group. I have a Facebook group, group of cricket uh, lovers, and they've become kind of like a family. You know, there's people yeah. that made lifetime, lifelong friends because they've also got cricket, which is so lovely. Everyone's so kind to each other, too. That's a huge endorsement to cricket as a company. Yep. See what other crafters say. Uh, read the reviews, and also you have done your research, no one's just going to turn on the show, uh, and I get this, 
and spend £300 on the EasyPress 2 or £500 on our Cricut Maker bundle. I, I certainly wouldn't. I would have done my research and I would have waited for the right bundle that suits me. What I really like about the bundle we're offering with the Maker today is the fact that you have got the mini press in there as well. Because the mini press, just as a sewer, and Emma was saying she does this a lot, you can use it just to press your seams. How often do we say, and you see crafters here, they come in, they're demonstrating, uh, and they're just pressing their seams. So you've got that. Uh, it works beautifully with that regard. But then we can get onto our vinyl, and you've got the vinyl in there. You've got that large mat. The machine is obviously the star of the show. But what I do like is all the supporting tools, the fabric uh, in there as well. Now, this will be dispatched on the 19th. So the minute we get it, we're going to send it straight out to you. But 19th, you're not waiting too long to get this out. No. Okay, I have weeded that. Um, so I've taken away everything apart from the design. Okay. And now we can lay it onto our T-shirt. Nice. Um, so the T-shirt's on top of the mat. Get this kind of in place. Mm -hmm. There we go. Get that out of the way. And oh, then... Well, that's nice. Here we go, I can press this in one go. So I'm gonna pop the easy press down, make sure it's covering my design. I like that sentiment. Press the green button. And um, we just, it's gonna count down 30 seconds and then it'll bleep at me when it's done. And I just need to do a light kind of pressure here. I'm not pushing down or anything, just a, just resting, <laughs> if you well, like. I'd be thinking, like, a lot of people buy uh, the Cricut, whether it's the easy press or the maker for uh, to start jobs and uh, businesses. Yep. So let's just say, on a very basic scale, you want to start creating your own T-shirts. Yeah. So think how much you could get for creating, you create your own designs so they are unique, uh, and then going on to sell those, but you're getting that professional finish. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and you know that that's gonna stay on. Yeah. You know, you can wash this now. Um, I mean, don't tumble dry it at a high temperature, but you can wash and wash and wash this and it's going to stay. So, yeah, starting your own business. I and mean, if you've got, you know, your own designs, something fabulous. There's so many people that started uh, businesses during lockdown with the Cricut machine. Um, it's incredible. Oh. Um, and especially with Christmas coming up. And there we go. That is done. Look. At a that. really cute T-shirt there. I love that T-shirt. Grow where you're planted. And it has got that pattern. It's quite hard to see with the lights, but you have got that um, bit of the green pattern in there too, which looks really cool. This is fantastic. And the, you see the professional finish that you are afforded with using, the real difference is actually using that Easy uh, Press 2. It makes a significant difference. Uh, £314.92, uh, saving £110, and of course you have got those three flexi payments as well. It is included as a bundle, so you're getting your vinyl, you're also getting the bag, and that is just a, by itself a beautiful bag. And of course that mat designed by Cricut for Cricut, so uh, everything just works so beautifully. 068-855, your item number there. We're going to jump onto the website because there are a lot. Uh, there is a lot to discover. Now, if you do want to buy things individually, you can. For instance, five-star reviews on the Mini e Easy Press. Uh, it was like £54. You got the weeding tools uh, there as well. L lots of vinyl, different blades as well, so scoring blades, uh, perforation blades. And you can, uh, look, there's a lot you can find. So do have a little look. I'm conscious of the fact, and whenever I do these shows, I understand that it is a considered purchase. Mm -hmm. I know, judging by how busy we are this hour, a lot of people have been waiting for yep. the right opportunity. For you, Emma, and I know we were saying this before, you're really impressed by this bundle. So as a crafter and a fan of cricket, why do you like this bundle? Oh. Because it's got so much in there for you to use and get started with. Um, you know, you, you can play with your vinyls, you've got your iron on, you've got felt, you've got um, cardstock, glitter cardstock, you've got fabric, and you've got the mini. And that means that you can get started on everything um, from the get go. Um, I just think you've got a little bit of everything here there's going to be something for you and it just and you've got some of my personal favorite bits in there you know glitter cardstock the holographic vinyl this um oh just beautiful stuff there to get you going and get crafting and don't forget you're also going to get the large mat in there as well in the bundle so you can see this large mat will be included and that is just a very big mat uh, <laughs> so it allows you to take on those bigger projects i'm just conscious of the fact we've got a couple of minutes left should we have a look at some of the things yeah. you've done behind you emma so I'll grab that, some things for that jaguar cushion is stunning yes oh, um so this is a foil iron on that's in um 
the Easy Press bundle um, just onto a plain cushion. So, how cool is that? Okay, this is where I'd be thinking about personalising home decor. Yeah. Uh, what about if you love your movies and you wanted to put a movie quote on there? Yes. This is where you really start to get that personalisation. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got those pots, so we can add onto the pots. Yeah, and the mugs. You know, this is your vinyl. So, yeah, it's so easy to personalise things or just make things how you want them to be mm. in your house, maybe. Do you need to heat those on? No, those are the stick-on vinyl. So stick they're on? similar okay. to the holographic and the threads vinyl there. Lovely. Uh, bunting, clothing, card making, yeah. it really does do it all. I mean, uh, you struggle to think what. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And there's a pop-up card, I think, by you, a red one, which is really cool. Just shows, you know, uh -huh. the... Um, the breadth of things you can do. Well, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't is... have to be quick projects. It can be, right. you know, your more in-depth projects. Ba ba! Look, that's that's cool. Yeah. I like this. Where you where you will start to get excited is when you start doing your own research and showing you. Here we got felt coasters coming through because you go on to and you can do that. And I hope you have this hour, just had a little go. The software is free. You can access the software uh, for free, the Cricut software. So have a look at the software, see how you get on with it. See the choice, because if you know somebody who loves their football, there are loads of projects for football. If you know somebody who loves the garden, uh, if you wanted to create your soft makes, your quilts, we can do that. Bags, you've got that covered. The Cricut Maker does everything. The Easy Press takes it to that next level. So what we've got on the show, and if you did, I'm not saying everyone will want to do this, but if you were thinking about starting your own business, creating your own clothing, uh, just T-shirts, selling your own T-shirts, giving it that professional finish, the Cricut Maker, the Easy Press will do that. I mean, how many businesses can you start uh, for 500 pounds, really, and then yeah. get going? Yeah. <laughs> Not many. <laughs> no. No, and that's the thing. And obviously, what, if I was to be making clothing like that, I would definitely get the Easy Press bundle as well. Emma, it's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So it's lovely hey, to be back. How do we follow you on social media? Can oh, I'm that? Emma Jewel Crafts. Yeah. Jewel with two L's. <laughs> yeah, so you can find Good. me there. Um, and of course, Cricket have got a fabulous social media as well. So that there's loads of help there, loads of videos, loads of inspiration too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, check it, check it everybody out. <laughs> it's a phenomenal machine. I love it every time I see it. And I hope you love it as well. For all, those, all of those of you who purchased it, enjoy. We cannot wait to see what you make. So, we've just seen our uh, cricket machine. After that, we've got Chocolate Brock coming up next with Paula. And then we have got, made to surprise, our terrific towers. Lots to enjoy. Stay tuned for Chocolate Brock. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavouring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. 
This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and we also have our range of laser cut uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on Hachanda. Hello, how are you doing? Now we have got a one day special launch here from Chocolate Baroque. Uh, Leslie is here in the building. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Paula. How are you? Fine. I, I've just forgotten so much. I just suddenly realized I've got no lipstick on either. So it's, well, it's it going well. It doesn't matter. Lipstick or not, Leslie. It's, it's great to see well. you. It's great to have you here. Thank and you. And now we have got, well, I have to be honest. When I saw in the schedule that I had a Chocolate Baroque on day special and I knew that it was a blueprint a second release, I did a little squeal <laughs> or a big squeal <laughs> because I remember the, fr the the first launch and I was so you know I was so upset that I didn't have any of those shows <laughs> and then when I saw it's like well not only I have got the shows but I have got the launch I was like yes <laughs> now this is a phenomenal collection I think it's even better than the first one do you know what Paula that's actually exactly exactly our design team girls have said every one of them has said I think these are better than than the, than the first one and they were uh, extraordinarily beautiful they yeah. were the first one yeah. so this one is even, uh, yet again another step up now you are getting a completely f a beautiful brand new sort of place don't you yes 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 so <coughs> all of these have been created with I own the drawings I think I've said all this before mm. but I own the architectural drawings which go back to the 1800s wow. and um, like the first set I've picked out items from the, from the drawings and, and all the rest of it that I've got and put these together with again less popular flowers or flowers that you don't see so regularly around um, and hoping that the combination of the two. Now uh, there is different options but it is basically the option that you have got on the screen is a demounted one is the one that is special the one that comes in you can see the four plates of A5 and they come of course mounted into cling foam mount yes 
So this attaches itself, clings itself yes, to acrylic to a, blocks, a, exactly, or uh, stamping platforms, yes. like people like me that can yes. be trusted with an acrylic block. <laughs> so this is the one that is special, uh, and of course you have got in here the allium, the chrysanthemum, the kinesia, and the lupin. Lupin, lupin yeah. correct, yes. Look at that, they're beautiful. Now, can I show some samples? Because they are, once that you stamp them out, you can see the beautiful detail. Look, I just adore it, adore it. Now we do have got, if you, shall I show first the, uh, the stamp out elements in here? So this is the packaging, so you can see it's so slightly smaller here than it is on the actual size, but you can see exactly. And you can see the number one is the alien, and it has got the beautiful words in here, so you can see feeling on top of the world, chrysanthemum. And then you have got here, like, a stairway to heaven. I love <laughs> things like that. And then, of course, you have got, I love that, this one. Don't follow in someone's footsteps. Lead the way with your own. Now, 10% of the stock has already gone. Remember, that is the 10 that is 10 percent of the stock that should last all 24 hours so if you please do check out your baskets do not miss out in this extraordinary exquisite incredibly versatile collection of stamps i am you know a massive fan and because one of the things that with your stamps you get is that grey rubber deeply edged yes yes we do pride ourselves i mean if you can see the detail on those um, you know, it is quite amazing the detail that we get. And of course, they, we are guaranteed them for a lifetime too. So as long as you look after your stamps, you have got them for, for, for forever. And this collection, so you have got the current uh, guarantee for uh, amazing, uh, you know, life, life as Pam. But also, I kind of think there is a guarantee of versatility in projects you are going to be able yeah yeah they're timeless they truly are timeless because they are designs from the you know from 1800s, uh, yeah, 1800s. exactly uh, well the idea about them is you get sort of one main image that has got an architectural feature and the floral image and then the rest of the plate is mixed is a mixture of floral images and uh, architectural images so you can then what i call build your own there and look at that. I mean, I'm just gonna quickly show uh, uh, two more samples because I have to show the versatility on the beautiful samples that the design team have done. So hopefully, uh, through uh, there is masses of samples here. So hopefully, through uh, the uh, the hours of the one day special, we will feature every single sample. Now I need to tell you to check out your baskets. Now the option that you have got because 20% of the uh, stock has already gone 20%, and we are not even five minutes in. Five six four <laughs> as eight seven three is your item number. Now, uh, of course, it, there is another option. Uh, as fans of Chocolate Baroque, you may know that uh, Leslie uh, gives you the opportunity for these collections to buy them unmounted. Some of you may prefer it unmounted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we get. We always used to bring just unmounted. Yeah, and then people started asking for the mounted. So, not to disappoint either of sets of our fans we uh, allow them the choice so we, we, bring, we provide both yeah and that means that if you are a fan of unmounted stamps maybe you prefer it because you mounted with a d6 and things like that well you know what 20 percent of the unmounted <laughs> already has gone so please do check out your baskets it's going to be a very busy one day special also you have got a flexi buy option for those ones as well now on the website shop ahead because we have got some limited editions of beautiful products of course that uh, Leslie has brought us for, for us now in here you can see oh those stencils well we are incredibly busy for them so we are going to have a look at them now these ones are the set of three stencils and masks in here you can see them here now what was the concept behind this these are what I call our stencil strips again this is our second collection of these two and the idea is that they're a5 in length so how many times in your journal have you got, I mean, I love 6x6 and I love all the square ones and all the other ones. But how many times have you just wanted to be able to go down the edge or go into the middle of your journal? Uh, sorry, Leslie, I need to interrupt. 60% of the stock oh, has already gone. Please, please, if you want them, check out those baskets. Otherwise, you will miss out. I love the hexagons here. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. Those borders are just such a clever idea. And the other idea is that you can then turn them as well. So you can, and I'll be showing you, uh, this is sold out. We, yeah, I'll be showing you uh, how you can just turn them around and you can position them all over your work without actually getting in the way. 
Yeah, I'll do. There, you know, smart. Uh, now, no, if, it, limited stock. <laughs> Limited stock. That means ninety percent uh, <laughs> that has already gone. We've got out. bar charts yeah. there. The little bar charts there at the end. Yeah. Uh, so you've got a thick and a thin bar chart. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then we've got the heart monitor at the very end as well. The wiggly lines uh, is yeah, the heart so monitor. That's it, yeah. They all come out as well. And uh, I'm going to show you a few good things with those through the course well, of. Very cool, but it's going to be sold out in a, in a second. So please, well, there <laughs> you know. So yes, well. Yeah, the technical sellout. So I did say seconds. That's what happened. I mean, as soon as I said, I said I shouldn't oh, say it, and then it happens. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, well done. If uh, thank you as well for uh, yeah, thank those. Thank you very you much. Uh, do check out your baskets. Otherwise, you might miss out on if you have it in your baskets. Now we have got uh, the fabulous uh, uh, DL MDF play kit. Now this is you. You know that we did the uh, well. I attended your your uh, craft along yes this is reminds me a little bit of that mm. well the idea is a lot a lot of the stamps in this blueprint collection are very much dl based they're all sort of quite long and i thought you know what you don't get dl mdf very often oh, true. so i thought right so there's enough there there's nine panels so you can do them long you can either do a landscape a portrait whatever you want to do but i've also included there already pre-scored some drawing cartridge which means you can actually make use two panels one at either end and make an extended book if you wanted to or a long journal because the stencils fit down each of those panels so you to do any work you want to do on them that is, i love that <laughs> and then there's the black and white now this black and white is very very fine paper you can attest to this it's not like you know it's a cross between a tissue and a f um rice paper yeah and uh, so it tears it sticks beautifully to mdf to your card it's just wonderful so there's one sheet of each design in the box so there's the one there which kind of got the old-fashioned um weaponry then there's yeah. the next one that one which is the uh, again i hold the drawings that is an architectural windows wow. the next two are unusual because they're motor engineering blueprints Ooh. again which i hold the originals yeah. too so that's so something cool. a bit different so, so you've got a bigger one and a smaller one, and then there's a script in there as well. Yeah, there is. Half the stock already gone, £14.99. pence. Please do check out your baskets. Where are, uh, we are extremely busy <laughs> across the board. 353-794 is your item number. Now, uh, we, the stencils, and have got some Now, they are now back on extended delivery. Uh, the dispatch from the 18th of September. So that's great news that you can still get them, but of course there is a little bit more to wait for. So that's, I think it's a relief <laughs> that there is a still a little bit of a stock <laughs> that you can have it on extended delivery. And now do check out your baskets though, because otherwise you will have to wait a little bit longer for other items. Now, this is, this is a bit different and cool. Mm -hmm. Right, well the brushes I've brought before, these are our brushes that we bring, which always again sell out. So there's 10 brushes all round. You've got um, two size zero, two size twos, two fours, two sixes, one eight and a 10. And okay. they're white. And the beauty of the reason why I wanted them white was because then you can see the color of the paint or ink you're using. Ah, yeah. If you've got a brown or a black um, f um, f five, um, you know, brushes, you can't see the color. And I will tell you that these will, even though I've got mine down here, these are my originals from the very first time that I ever brought them, which is nearly two years ago. And they're not quite white, because obviously they do stain yeah. a bit, but they still see the colours. And they hold such a lot of paint. You roll the brush through the paint, and they just paint and paint and paint. This is, now, now the pot. Uh, yes. <laughs> so you get one pot, but yeah. I'm just going to show, right? Yeah, yeah, how it yeah, yeah. So the pot, how it does... The, so you put so you stack it, one inside the other, that's it. Okay, that's it. So you can, it's really compact for when you're going away anywhere, if you're going to a little craft club. I mean, I know we're not doing it as much at the moment, but... And the beauty about it is they're then all clipped together. Yeah. And you've got oh, then three is. pots of water, yeah. so you've always got... To put the handle over yeah. the top, that's it, yeah. Sorry, just need to... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it wasn't well, meant to be a... It was wasn't meant to be no, a Rubik's was, Cube for yeah. you. I so you've not, yeah. always got clean and dirty water. Because one of the things that you should do is you, you rinse out, as you know, your brush yeah. in dirty water. Yeah. And then you just dip it in the clean water so you're cleaning your brush again before you start again. So you've got it on the go. And actually, you could have, like, super clean water. Yes. Clean sort of water. And then 
dirty water. Yes. Yeah. Or you could even have, you know, like to also to to get rid of some extra paint in there as well. I mean, this is mine. It's absolutely filthy because I've had I've used one from day one, and I always have one on the counter when I'm down here. So also, what it offers is that more stability. That because it's just a it's a solid uh, it is, base. Yeah. You know. And it's got a nice little handle so you can move it around. It's just not going anywhere. That. I do like, uh, you know, pen pods, but this is kind of brilliant to have. Uh, you could also uh, use it one for the brushes and then the other two for the waters, the clean and dirty. If waters. you wanted to, yes. Yeah, yeah. So that it's, is kind of ideal. works so well. Uh, your price, £19.98. pence. Remember that you'll get in all those brushes in that 10 brushes in total. 493546 is your item number. And then some color, so beautiful background paper. Now, this is card, right? Yes. Uh, gorgeous. All those I designed, those are all done with a roller. They're double sided, uh, AF5s, and they're all done, uh, as I say, uh, they're all patterns that I did with, with the roller yeah. that I use. I, you know what, I, I, it's one of my favorite ways of adding color, but yeah. it requires to having a roller and then in cleaning it up and things like that. So yeah. having it really done uh, is seriously gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> it's seriously practical as they well. They are silk coated, so you would need to use uh, an archival on there, a Versamark. You could use a Versamark and emboss on it. Yeah. Uh, die cut, they die cut, they die cut. Oh, yeah. And they work beautifully, they tear nicely. Um, postcards again, all yeah. done from, that's done from all my inking and sort of doing a lot of splodging around. Wow. Turn into the postcards, they're 350 GSM. And, and again, you can die cut those, you can um, stamp on them, ink on them, use them as a proper postcard, you know? Yeah, you are getting 30 of this one. So we have got in here, uh, we have got uh, in the designs that we have got, but you are gonna get 30 of them of the cards. It's, it's seriously gorgeous. And then you are getting, uh, 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 Sorry, how many? 40 of the papers, and they are the one sided. Uh, the papers are. Uh, 8720479 is your item number. You are having a £8 saving, £19.98. Pounds pounds. But of course, now celebrating the. Oh! Now, and you have got some news. The MDF kit, the L uh, MDF uh, kit, now is now limited to stock. If you want it as soon as possible, then check out your baskets. That's the only way to get them as soon as possible, and um, that's the only way that you can secure them. Now, if, we also have got the paints, the beautiful Koenor Brilliant Water Colors palette uh, you are getting a set of 24 beautiful watercolors um, it's it's not limited to stock I mean, we, we are busy for them but not you know the non 9.99 I own a set of those ones I did buy one for uh, a family member as well once because he's a watercolor artist and he wanted to have something portable this is so far well 40 percent of the stock has already gone less and the point was unfortunately i cannot get any more again at the moment yeah. because of lockdown things have been really really difficult so they haven't been actually manufacturing in czechoslovakia which of course oh. is where coin originates from because yeah. they do they are an old company 1789 wow. they were first established so they haven't been manufacturing and they haven't been shipping either so all that we've got is literally all I can get a hold of. They will be making an appearance again sometime, but you, don't know you just when. don't know with things the way they are. Yeah. Right, uh, now the one day special. I need to tell everybody about the one day special. 30% of ready gone. Wow. We are not, e well, 15 minutes in, 30% of the stock for the 24 hours has already gone. It is extraordinarily beautiful. You have got the options of going for the one day special, which is the one that is uh, foam, clean foam mounted. Um, you have got also the option of flexibuying with that 30 pound saving, whether you flexibuy it or not. You can pay today 29 pounds and 48 pence uh, plus PMP if you're not the freedom member and then you all 58 pounds and 96 pence so it's, it's your choice whether you spread the cost or not remember that you have got also the option to go for the unmounted one personally I like the mounted yes ready yeah. to go yeah I think this is why as I say a lot of people we, we you know we listen we do listen to our customers and so at the end of the day you were the ones that said can you bring the mounted Leslie so we bring them break you know yeah. we can't bring them mounted for you but there, I do know there's people who like that Leone yep. likes an unmounted stamp in a hand yeah I know she does yeah. <laughs> so you know we don't want to cut those people out of the equation so that's why we offer both versions Absolutely. right now I have got news about the watercolors um, oh. 
they, so, well, literally, I'm going to say <laughs> what they, the producer said. It's like, I'm sorry, uh, sorry, Leslie, uh, you can demonstrate them, but you know what? They are sold out now. Yeah. Um, you know, well done if you have gone for it, and thank you as well. Now, we have had another technical <laughs> sellout. Please do check out your fans. I, I know I repeat myself, but that's because I don't want you to miss out. Those brushes, uh, those beautiful brushes, now they also technical sellout. So we do have got, these ones we do have got extended delivery for an additional stock over there. Dispatch date from the 18th of September. Yeah. S September, yeah. Uh, can I just apologize now for all this extended stock business? Yeah. But the trouble is that suppliers, if anybody knows who's, who's in the business, yeah. suppliers at the moment, things are very, very difficult. You can only get hold of products, limited amounts. So if you want more, you have to place an order and they have to be on a back order. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's all just very the well. way I said, that, you, know, yeah. you know, it, take me th it took me nearly three weeks just to get the brush and the pot stock that I managed to get. Wow. You know, and it's just, it's so, uh, yeah, I do nice apologize to everybody. It is, it's it's just the way things are at the moment. Right, so what are you going to show us? Well, I'm, <laughs> I was going to show the paints, so you I'm going to just show a very, very quick, uh, very quick demonstration. Okay. okay. Uh, and I'm using, now this is one of the loopings uh, mm -hmm. out of the um, looping blueprint set. But like I said, everything comes with its own big um, architectural. Yeah. And then I just wanted to show you how how cool these look so we've got drawing cartridge on the show as well oh, and what I, I remember you telling me about how special it is can you explain it to everybody um, yeah. about there's it? some there in the middle if you want to try and have a look okay. right so the, our drawing cartridge i love watercolor card hot pressed yeah. watercolor card the trouble is about the hot pressed watercolor card it is very expensive and the reason why i like a hot pressed is i like a smooth image when i'm stamping yeah I know the texture's good, don't get me wrong, and there's place for it, but personally, when I'm stamping, I like a smooth image. I don't like that kind of up and down image you get from the, the texture card. So this is the equivalent to the hot pressed without the cost. Okay. So you can throw any medium at it, you can throw any kind of watercolour paint, you can use markers on it, you can use um, pencils on it, you yeah. can use watercolour pencils, you can use um, any of your... Um, mediums gel uh, gesso crackle paste anything like that and it just it just plays and it plays brush hose it just it's just fabulous fabulous stuff <laughs> really <laughs> so um you know again it's something else we can't keep on the shelves yeah. so unfortunately again with that what is on the show is all That's i could get hold of okay so right so i'm using our watercolor card one of our brushes yeah and if you ever needed to know i don't yeah. think people do need to know why we use these um wonderful paints um but if i can just show you straight onto here that is look wow. at that <laughs> wow. that's the color isn't it that's beautiful now I, i'm sorry leslie but we have got cues on the phone so if you have got access to the to the internet hotender.com will be the fastest and easiest way to order uh, i do apologize we are extremely busy okay thank you everybody it does it I get so emotional because it means the world to us. We worked so hard, David and I, to try and bring you what we hope that you'll like. And believe me, putting these together is, you know how it works. Mm -hmm. Stamps are, you know, and the fact that you love them. I thought, you know how, <laughs> I can only equate it to a good movie. You go and see the blockbusting movie number one <laughs> and you love it. And then they bring out the sequel. Yeah. And the sequel is sometimes not as good yeah. as the first one. Oh, no. They, but so sometimes it's better. Sometimes it this is. This is like The Godfather. But you don't. The second one is better. <laughs> oh, sorry. No offense. There are other, other mafia movies or, you know, gangster <laughs> movies or, you know, Italian, you know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You, you never yeah, yeah, know. Exactly. When you're doing a sequel is dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Thank but in you, some everybody. cases, it's even better, in the, like in this case. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I roll my brush. I don't know if you can see that on the mat. I'm on the overhead. I'm in the right place there. Yeah. Okay, and I roll it just through. Okay, uh, and that holds. And then I can just paint. And the beauty about it is, you can paint and paint and paint with these brushes. You just keep going. And the beauty about that is that as you keep painting with them, the colour starts to weaken, so you get natural colour, natural shading. Okay. And because of the... So I'm not filling all that in, I'm just adding bits here and there, and I'm still going, look. I haven't refilled my brush. 
and that's the intensity of the color that it has got in that paint but of course that has sold out we are incredibly busy we had had already about three three sellouts gosh here four sellouts <laughs> wow four i think oh four oh, okay, okay. <laughs> three thank you everybody thank you so much right so i'm going to go in now with the green okay and if it's i want to tell you if it's a narrow um i've always say this if it's a narrow line to go through yeah. sometimes you go over the edges uh -huh. so the thing to do is to dot so yeah. if you dot with your brush down between the lines like that yes you are less likely to go over the edge that makes sense so just dot very carefully that's yeah. the beauty these brushes are so fine i'm using the number two actually and the number zero is even finer mm -hmm. But if you just dot down. And those ones are the ones that come, of course, with their pack bucket. The details are on the screen. They did sell out earlier. They're back on extended delivery this patch day from the 18th of September. Uh, and now, uh, now we have got another oh, uh, God, technical God. sellout. <laughs> and this one, it, am I right to think that this one, the, the, the cartridge paper is uh, gone? So once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. Uh, oh, again, because I can't get any in time for this show. Okay. Sorry. All right, okay. so uh, then we have got those. So, so, of course, that has gone now. Uh, okay. Now, uh, to yes. check out your basket. That's basically it. Yeah. Right. So, just dab, as I say, just dabbing in there. And basically, that's it. So, I can take some of the yellow as well if I want to. Because, as you know, green flowers and, and, and uh, um, leaves and things are not always just okay. one colour. So, I just run it through the yellow, which is like a yellowy greeny colour. Like yeah. so. And I'm just going to dab that over the top, just to give it a bit of a... Okay. And I'm not being careful. You know, I, I okay. can, you don't, there are times when you do need to be careful, but there are other times. And there's, there's a few little leaves and stalks. So if you just dot your brush in, an, in various places, you will get the greenery without actually... Yeah. And you just mix it. So that is one very quick demo to show you a the quality of the stamp and b to show you the paints that is gorgeous that's so, so beautiful and i love the lupin it's just kind of it's just like the simplicity of that beautiful leaf at the bottom with the kind of farming element in there and the fine detail of that stamp it's just beautiful and of course that is and now with all of them because have you counted the individual images that you have got there's somewhere i think between 11 and 13 on each plate but i can't remember exactly so how let's many. say 12 yes which is the average so Four. 12 a four four so that is 48 48 individual images that you can and then of course that you can build them up and create a kind of collages yeah. i absolutely adore oh so maybe it's, it's not 48 it's 45 but it is an absolutely beautiful yeah. uh, gorgeous images in there that you are gonna get now, are you resetting for the next uh, yes, demo? Yes, yes. Perfect. So I'm going to remind everybody to check out their baskets for the one day special in there. Because look at that. I love how, you know, yes, there are flowers, but you can take elements from every single one of a stamp and set that you can, of course, create a completely, uh, you know, building kind of element, very architectonic, perfect for those sentiments. Uh, you know, the kind of thing... Look at that. I love, absolutely love the chrysanthemum because it has got that beautiful flower, but it also has got the stairs behind it. And how uplifting is the stairs? You know, that, that stairway to heaven, but also the, the kind of going up in the world, you know, kind of growing and growing and going to the next level. I love the idea of using these images for home decor. Look at the delicate nature of those same stamps stamped into MDF and giving it like a beautiful coloring in. Just some gently into sepia with that beautiful chrysanthemum filling on top of the world, going up in the world as well. I'm gonna grab another one. Let's kind of just show, because you can go completely random as well. Those, you know, those kind of compasses from other bygone eras, those kind of, then it's just kind of a completely, almost like, you know, you know those kind of, um, 
sacred geometry sort of things, astro astrology or astronomy, you know, kind of be that, that kind of, again, the golden ratio, kind of the, 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 kind of the perfect symmetry, the perfect going into the numbers as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love as well have to show the echinacea. Echinacea being something like, for instance, I, a lot of us take it because it kind of, uh, we feel that it kind of strengthens us. I adore this sort of thing. Of course, that's just a, a personal opinion. But, um, but I just kind of, <laughs> love, you know, I, mean, it's not, I, say, I have it personally, you know, kind of, uh, that's what I say, that we feel. It doesn't mean that it is true. Uh, now, uh, I love the single flower in here, how it goes. Uh, I love how you can bring, I love the light. You light my world. Another sentiment that it has, and I want to mention it because the sentiments, I think they are unsung heroes of this set. Uh, there is one of the sentiments in here that says, um, where is it, the light one? Uh, light always triumphs over darkness, even if it takes a little bit longer. That's my adding on. But look at that. A smile can light the darkest of rooms. Having a light bulb moment. These are phenomenal for art journaling, for home decor. It's all those cards that you want to send to light somebody's day, especially nowadays. Yes, yes, yeah. I must admit, I'm always, uh, I, I create most of the sentiments myself. If it, sometimes we tend to, it might be a quote, but I always, um, you know, uh, it's a yeah. quote to whoever it is. But mostly the words are always mine. So they are absolutely, and I love how there are some unusual ones as well. And I kind of think that that makes it, uh, it's, <laughs> I like this one. Make sure the light at the end of the tunnel is not an express train. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true. Yeah. It's just like it's that sort of thing. Just be wary of sometimes like bright lights or you know things that can happen, and you're thinking, oh, this is amazing. It might not be. It might be yeah. an, the opposite. Like a tunnel might be a perfect time to regroup yourself yeah. and grow, and like a metamorphosis. metamorphosis. And then there's the one on the echinacea, which is yeah. quite poignant, I think. Which I think Ooh. it would be. If you look at the echinacea. Yes, of course, the echinacea, the one that you like very much is the walk in my footsteps. Yes. And if you must, but make your own prints for mine will turn to dust. So it says, yeah, that's, yeah. that's very, very powerful. Right, of course, that is part of the one that's special. Remember that you have got the option to go for the one that is unmounted, but of course, that saving and the, and, and the, the one that's special is with the foam, clean foam mounted already. If you wanted to go for the unmounted, we have got to give you the details. It's exactly the same, great and beautiful, delicate um, in terms of detail, but a strain, a strong in terms of the quality uh, stance that you are going to get. You also have got a third pound seven but of course this one is unmounted so then you kind of have to kind of choose how you are going to mount it uh, zero eight five uh, one two seven and what I mean a mounted is clean for mounted so you can use it on clean um on your stamp platforms as well as um, acrylic blocks. Now, we also I kind of wanted to show you the papers that are gorgeous, but I kind of kept talking about the stamps. Uh, <laughs> here we have got the black and white paper pads. Uh, you are getting 25 sheets in total, am I right? You get 30 sheets in total, 25 printed, and then five blank okay. to make your own. Right, because the white ones are very good to stamp on as well, yes. aren't they? You can throw paint at these, and I'm going to be doing that actually. You can gesso over the top of them, you can stamp over them. They're just really, really good. Uh, they're very fine, I'm afraid, so they're sort of flopping about a bit. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. I think for the 8 p.m. I will get a board and then I'll kind <laughs> yes. of just flake yeah, them Yeah, they through. have a life of their own. <laughs> well, but that's, that's a testament about their uh, man, like, maneuverability. Yes, yeah. Because it means that you will be able to stamp and go run, like, for instance, for boxes Absolutely. and things like that yeah, as well. Yeah, they're, they are, they're so lightweight. Yeah. Um, the, the whole idea is that, as I say, that you can go around things, that you can cover them onto your MDF, it, cover them onto card, and it's not going to actually add any weight or thickness to your project, because sometimes pattern papers just add that bit of thickness, because they have to yeah. be a, a heavier grammage, you know? Indeed they are. Uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Uh, half the stock already gone for them, so if you want them, check out those baskets. Remember, you're getting 30 in total, 25 printed, and then five of the uh, printed one, uh, the plain ones. Uh, 885144 is your item number. And uh, we did talk about more the design team, the amazing design team that had made beautiful samples, so here is more inspiration for you.
And this is one of my favorite samples. Uh, there's many, like I have to say, all, <laughs> I, I kind of went like, wow, wow. But I love this one because showcases that it's not just flowers, of course you're getting beautiful flowers, but you are getting interesting shapes as well and beautiful messages. Now, a third of the stock of the one day special has already gone, so please do check out your baskets if you want it. Now, uh, Leslie, what are you gonna show us next? We're gonna work on the um, MDF panels. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now then, you actually get one sheet each of the uh, black and white print yeah. in the box. But they, if you cut them into DLs, that's 15. So you have enough pieces to okay. cover mm -hmm. this. Or you can put them into your part of your um, drawing cartridge uh, yep. book as well. So, uh, shall we have the... Yeah, we'll have this one, I think. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I'm going to matte medium, but you know any good glue, anything like that is fine. Yeah. Uh, onto the uh, onto the MDF. So depending on how warm it is here. <laughs> now, the reason I like this paper as well is, and actually I probably should wait until I've done the demonstration for it, because <laughs> the, the, t the minute you say something, then live TV has a nasty habit oh, yes. of coming back up and biting you and going, no, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. You said you could do this. I'm not going to let you do that. Yeah. So, uh, right. So not a lot of, not too much on, just a nice coating yeah. and into the water. And by the way, uh, if you are wondering exactly what you are getting, the details of exactly what you are getting yeah. in this bundle are going to appear at the bottom, bottom of the screen, so you will see how much so, stuff you're getting. As a tip, right, I'm, fo I'm rolling this up. If you can see, I haven't folded it. I've just kind of rolled it onto itself. And I'm just going to put the first piece, in, the first top part into place. Okay. Like so. Okay. And then so, all you do, whoops, what you do is you actually roll it out, it's in the middle, down over, like so. Then, if you have a roller, that's fine, or a brayer or anything, and all you're going to do is just, I don't think, it's actually quite warm in here, even with the air conditioning on, so I think, yeah. yes, it's actually, get your fingers at it, Leslie. <laughs> it is actually uh, the aircon is on, but it, it is uh, like usually I always complain that it's cold, uh, but it's actually it is warm. It is here, warm. Isn't it? it is it's warm. Definitely warm. And yeah. uh, of course, it's uh, decided that it didn't want to stick. So get my fingers in it. That'll do fine. Yeah. I think oh, maybe down the edge. Oh, okay. Uh, um, we have got some news as well about the DL MDF play kit. Now we have got well. 95% of the stock has already oh gosh. gone, so <laughs> it's very extremely limited. So please, if you want it, uh, do go uh, check out your basket. Get a bit, yeah, it's, it's a fabulous show that you have put together because Thank you. everything works together. I always try and do what I call inclusive, so yeah. that kind of you know one thing works with something else. So there we go. Now I should allow that to dry really, but I think it's probably dried itself. So, I'm just going to wipe my fingers because I've just stuck my fingers in the, the glue. And I've got a little sanding block here. Yeah. And although it fits, it just to say runs over the edge. So perhaps my mic needs to come out because it's probably quite noisy now. Okay, well, needs, needs more. <laughs> and the beauty about this is this paper, because it's so fine, it literally goes straight through it. Now, thicker papers, as you know, can take some time to get through. Yep. But that is just straight away okay. done. There you go. That is good. That, I, that's beautiful. So you glue it first before colouring it? Yes. Yes. You don't have to. If you want to, you don't have to. I have got here... I have got here, there's one I colour, this is part, literally a blueprint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that is just a wash that I've done, which okay. I did with the, um, the Koh-i-Nos. Oh, yeah? Uh, just a wash of the top, and it actually thickens up a little bit. 
So, uh, yeah, sorry, Leslie. Again, I need to give you some news, and it's a technical sellout on the MDF kit. Uh, it is good news. There is a bag on extended delivery dispatch day from the 18th of September. So, if you want it, you still can get it, but it will be uh, dispatched on the 18th of September. The same price, of course, it is, and the same item number. Sorry about that, oh, Leslie. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh. It's a long time till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yes. That has to be another of your sayings. Yes. You yes. understand? So, yeah. It's a long time till tomorrow. Right. So, <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is because I, could, I want to stamp over this, so I want to just. I'm using tinting base here because tinting base is not quite as thick as gesso. Ah, I see. So, um, just add a little bit of tinting base. However, if you want to, you can always add a little bit of water to it if it's too thin. No, that's fine. And I'm just, I'm, not, I'm actually not going to cover it too much. Yeah. It's just to allow me to stamp, so when I stamp over, that I can actually see the stamped image as well. So I don't want to obliterate all of it. It's just to kind of knock that back a bit. Yeah. And it's just random. And a little bit more. That should be about it. Shouldn't need to do any more. There we go. That's it. Knocked so it, it down a little bit. Just knocked it back a little bit. Yeah. Just enough to be able to, um, as I say, do the stamping. Now, what I just also need to do now is probably just dry that a little bit. Okay. And I will dry them. So you can yeah, the other thing about it is if it does raise any bubbles, which it, do, it, it depends with your glue, this, once it dries, it goes straight back. And I'll show you in a minute. That's dry. That now, that's actually, for as fine as it is, there we go, look. That is actually crease resistant. Really? But no, it's, no, it's not crease resistant. You can put creases in it, but what I'm trying to say is, for all it's fine, it yeah. doesn't crease, you know, sometimes tissue and everything. I mean, yeah. I like creases in it because yeah. it adds to the effect. Yeah. But this, if you put it on the way I showed you, and I'll keep showing you through the, uh, yeah. through the course of the 24 hours, but that has got no wrinkles in it whatsoever. Wow, that's gorgeous. And of course, that is using the black and white papers. Now, they are included, one of each sheet is included in the MDF kit. However, you may want to add extra ones. Um, now, if you go for the MDF, you get one sheet of each of those five designs. And then, of course, you have got a beautiful paper and the uh, and kind of MDF play kit as well in there. Right, and the details for that on the screen. Okay, so... Yep. I am going to now use, I'm using Versamark because that is, it is, it's a matte, tinting base is a matte, uh, unlike some acrylics, or even some gessos have got a slight sheen, so that hasn't, it's totally matte, so I can use my Versamark because it will dry onto it. Yep. So down with the, so this is the chrysanth, okay. and this is the major, what I call the hero image yeah. from the chrysanth. So this is a chrysanth going up the staircase. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, and of course, you've got a nice firm surface to stamp on with MDF. It is, it is, kind of gives it that so solid uh, base as well. But you still allow, you still want your ink to, uh, to bind in. So, there we go. So there we go. There's how's that? That's beautiful. You can still so you can still see the image over the top, but see you've got these columns here and all this architectural just yep. works so well with those florals. So again, I want to heat that off. I have got what I what I made earlier, so. <laughs> but uh, I want to show you that you can actually yeah. color this with watercolor pencils as well. Of course. Yep. Those watercolor pencils, alcohol markers. Yes. This onto fabric, onto fine calico. Yes. That would look amazing. Beautiful. And, and I'm just thinking, I love the idea of embroidery. You know, I, I'm a massive fan of Rowan Dean and beautiful yes. tapestries kind of thing. So I'm thinking, a but I'm never confident to create from scratch. With this, a stamp into a fabric and then bring their beautiful organzas and things like that. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, stamping onto fabric's wonderful. Okay. And, and ribbons and all sorts of things, you know, you can just... Uh, but uh, embroidery, definitely. I Ooh, love... Yeah. Uh, I just... It's, I watch um, lots of the soft craft shows 
And I think, oh God, it makes me want to sew again. But do you know what? I haven't the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to take uh, just a couple of colours here. I'm not going to do much here. So I'm going to use the mustardy colour to start with. And again, I'm just going to show you. This is There's no technique to this one. So I'm just a little bit of yellow into all of the petals. Okay. okay. Yeah. So. Okay. So, as I say, no technique. Then take the orange and just add a bit of orange into it. Because these are watercolour pencils, yeah. all becomes obvious when you start to introduce the water. Yeah, so. And of course, you see, now that I've got the white tinting base underneath and then you add the colour, yeah. the background paper just literally recede into the background. Of course. So, I, I just I'm, think they're beautiful, such a beautiful, exquisite images. I must admit, I, I love them. And as I say, I think, you know, the girls have all said they think that they are sort of better than, yeah. than the first. I think the amount of detail that they are in there, but also the elegance and flow of every element. Yes. Well, as I say, if you like the technical, if you want to do cards for men or anything like that, or if you want something a little bit more technical, then you've got all the technical drawings in there. Um, you know, um, there's just so many uh, different... Um, I'm just looking for my, um, my naught brush. I, I kind of love, I mean, it's, it's the fact that you can go very steampunk. Can I show this to samples? Yes, so yes, I yeah. Because um, I just think that this is very clean and simple, very, very, you know, in a way, very traditional, beautiful, delicate. Yes. And then you have got that, that is kind of more a steampunk, so it quite, not quite steampunk, yeah. but it's kind of more industrial. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. You know, and then the lover. drawings, um, the, 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 the way they drew it or tried to make you see a, a, a light bulb or anything like that, that actually had as if it was a, a, a sphere or a yes. circle, was drawing lots of fine lines. Oh, I and see. That's, what's, that's how those have been drawn. If you see, they see all the fine lines. Yeah, and different thicknesses yes. as well. So yeah. that kind of increases the thickness yeah. around here yeah. and lighten it. All I've done is cleaned them. I've not done anything. I've not doctored these images at all. I had to clean them Beautiful. up because obviously they were all very aged. Uh, so I had to clean them up. But other than that, that's the it's original gorgeous. drawings. It's just beautiful. So now I'm just now, see, I'm adding water now. So now, and a tip here is to move your work. Don't try moving your hand, which a lot of us do. You know, you like that. Yeah. So move your work. And again, with these brushes, you add plenty of water. Yeah. And you can just keep on working it. Yeah. And you're getting the variegated effect now, you see. With me just randomly putting the colour down, you're getting that effect of the... That's a bit wet, Leslie. You have it on your hand. I By the way, the... Leslie, we are 40% of the one day special. Wow. Really gone. Gosh. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah. I say it means such such a great deal to us in our business. You know, we're just a very small family business, David and I, with a fantastic design team, and lots and lots of lovely followers. Mm -hmm. uh, you're the people that you know that make chocolate brock what it is. Yes, indeed. But it, well, it's well, and, and and you yourself are kind of coming up with these amazing concepts and beautiful stamps. Uh, look at that. So, so you can see how this is going to work. I'm going to move on actually because I'm not, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. You don't want to see me doing all this colouring. I know you don't. But obviously, I'd take a brown for the banister and all the rest of it. And you can highlight what bits you want. So, if we move from that then to, there we go. How's that look? That is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, you are a genius. <laughs> like suddenly, like. <laughs> what I want to do explain though is a couple of things that I have done on here, and I'm not going to do them t to it now. But I'm going to explain yeah. what I did do. I took a, a, a black yeah. pencil All right. and I've just gone down the outside look, as you can yeah. see, all the way and added that shadow just to give that bit of depth. Only go down one side because otherwise you lose the impact of it. Mm -hmm. So I've just gone down all one side, all the way here look and here and just added that bit of extra just to it and that now makes, brings all of that out.
That is gorgeous. Now, and now, of course, that is part of those images from the uh, two of the One Day Special. Now, remember the One Day Special, you have got the four uh, beautiful plates with full of individual uh, beautiful, gorgeous uh, stamps images in here. So they come in, like I just wanted to say, it show you the gray rubber in one side and that cling foam mounted that you peel that and that will attach itself or cling itself to an acrylic block or okay. in a stamping platform. Mine are all mounted. Mounted, so yeah. you can see here that's yeah. mine that's mounted and cut out that is lovely and of course that will come and so you can cut it there just using a, a sharp pair of scissors sharp pair of scissors yes you pull the backing off so you pull the when it when it, you, yes you pull that off okay because it's very difficult to try and cut yeah. through that and the rubber yeah and then you cut always have make sure your scissors your uh, blades of your scissors are actually per vertical don't undercut or overcut okay. That's perfect. Now, if you want the one day special, uh, you can have it, but we are extremely busy for it. So check out your baskets. 40% of the stock has already gone. Uh, that is the stock that should last all 24, hour, 24 hours. Now, you might be uh, kind of a fan of the gray rubber, but not cling foam mounted. Well, Leslie has given you the option to go for that one. That one, half the stock has already gone already for those ones. And you still have got a 13 pound saving as well for the unmounted one. But the item number is a different one 085127 and you still can flexify it to spread the cost as well now if you wanted to go for the one day special in whichever I call them there's basically two options of the one day special in in a way but it's not because they, you, it's your choice whether you want it unmounted or mounted into that clean foam that makes it so much easier for uh, stamping. Then we have got the, the stencils and uh, masks in here. Now this one is, uh, you are getting three of them. Uh, so it's 500 micron. 500 micron, yes. yes. But actually, it's, it, it this say, says three, but it's more than three, no, isn't it? No, it's 500. No, no, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, the six. It's six. There's three sets. In it's there. three sets. But there's like six um, strips exactly in for, for that for them so basically this counts as one set one set which although is, they are so two, two yeah, that's one not that not, not squared and not squarely <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna try attempt today yeah uh, uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence and of course that 500 micron is that about the thickness isn't it yes that's all about the thickness so they are thicker than a lot of the um, stencils that you normally get yeah. um, because I wanted them that thick, and of course you can emboss with them. They emboss beautifully oh, as well. Now, 20% uh, of the restock uh, oh, has already <laughs> gone. If you want it, you know what to do. Check out those baskets. 339174 is your item number. 15 pounds and 99 pence. Of course, it did sell out early, and hence why it is an extended delivery. The MDF happened the same thing. It, 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 the immediate dispatch has sold out. It's back now on extended delivery. 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price for this bundle and you are getting MDF elements in here you are getting the nine of the MDF elements you are getting six of the vintage bulldog clips you're getting the five papers the beautiful one printed into that fine paper between a rice paper and a tissue paper you are getting cartridge paper a card as well in here this whole bundle just for 14 pounds and 99 pence is what I, um, Leslie was using for her uh, latest demo three five three seven nine four is your item number and remember it did sell out earlier it's now back on extended delivery then we have got the uh, the another sell out bag on extended delivery and as of course as Leslie has explained how it is because it, you, you need to um, dispatch uh, you know kind of account some a few more days now a quarter of the stock a quarter of the stock for uh, and the restock has already gone you're getting 10 beautiful brushes with the final nice nylon brushes so you can have that really fine pointiness um, into there and of course you have got the pots that you kind of uh, uh, actually come in and of course you can put them all inside each other and then you have got the pots in here uh, right as 19 pounds and 98 pence is your price now if you have got a five pound saving four nine three five four six is your item number and Leslie are you ready for a super quick demo yes yeah, super quick demo I just want to show you how these how these work actually so I've got a piece of card here actually I'm going to take a larger piece of card here so I'm going to take a piece of our drawing cartridge okay so that fits perfectly down the edge like so like that look so that is to say that's you yeah. know so you don't have to piece it in so let's just take 
three minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey-ho. Yeah, Charles Blake. So, yeah. So, here we go. So, I'm just going to brush through this like that. Yeah. Now then, the other beauty about this is, actually, can I go to this? Because I should have shown you on this first. Yeah, the nice. idea is, it's a, if you want to go around, sometimes you want to stencil before, but sometimes you want to stencil after, because yes. then if you stamp your image over the stencil, you can't, the stencil comes through. Yes. So, with these, you can work around the image. Oh, I see. So, I want to put some of these in here, so I probably should take a better colour. So, let's take the blue. Okay. She says. Right. So, let's take, take peacock feathers. So, I'm going to, I can see through, obviously, I can see my image through. So, I know that I don't want to get anywhere near that particular point. So, let's just do that there. Now then, oh, I can then oh, yeah. turn that yeah. to go like across that. there, so I'm missing my image altogether, and I can add some yeah. more stenciling in by doing it that way. Yeah. Okay, and I'm not, you see, I'm not interfering with the image. Okay, so then I've turned it that way. Okay, now I want to go down this side, so turn it back again, down this way, and I can do my stenciling. Totally miss the image again. Okay, yeah. so like that, and then I can turn it again, look, and I can ignore, again, I can totally miss any of that, yeah. just, and then again, I can turn it again, look, and I can just put some down the base of there, <laughs> and no, <gasps> love that. How how striking is that? And it has completely transformed uh, that the yeah. stencil. But I've literally been able to do it all the way around the image. I haven't been able to interfere just by turning it all the different ways. Yeah. And that was the other idea and that it, I wanted. Yeah, and it's uh, down to being long strips as a stencil because it's much more maneuverable. Yeah, but all of the ones that are like that, this, the, that one will do the same. So again, you can turn it, you're going to move it and miss it. Yeah. So that was the whole idea of doing these strips. You could then turn them around your image and you're not going to get involved with either going over the edge or whatever. Absolutely. I love that. And now, of course, remember, they did sell out uh, earlier. They are now back on extended delivery. But is the one day special that is the start of this show. And it is phenomenal. You can see all these beautiful images. Remember, the one day special comes uh, found mounted, so ready to attach to your acrylic blocks or a stamping platform. Do check out your baskets. We are incredibly busy, and we will be more even after the hour. So uh, join Leslie and myself at 8. Eight and yes. For more demos and inspiration. God, where's that time gone? I know, right? <laughs> See you Thank later. You. Bye. See you. Time is a magical thing on TV, and I'll tell you that. Now, it is, uh, you know, we have like terrific towers from May to Surprise, and then, of course, the one day special at 8, and when Wednesday wanders at 9. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Alice from Alice Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them.
designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer shows on a Chanda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family run company from the Midlands and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts, and I've loved crafts from childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world, and come and join me on this creative path. Well, good evening, everybody. How are you? I hope you've had a fantastic day. If you have just got inside, you're kicking back now, relaxing. Uh, we've got a great hour ahead. I'm going to introduce you uh, to the fantastic Sam, uh, who is behind Made to Surprise. Hello. Hello. Last time we worked together, it was virtual. It was from my craft room. From your, I remember it well. <laughs> um, bit different. Being in the studio? It's just really nice to see behind the scenes. Yeah. To see how it's all put together and everything. So, when yeah. you first came to Hachanda, was it what you expected? No, I was saying it to the girls earlier. It's, it's very quiet, really, really quiet. Obviously, you know, things have been shrunk down a bit yeah. with what's going on. But it's, yeah, it's great to just see all of this. It's and really seeing the different sets, what you don't appreciate, the space we're in right now, we've got multiple sets around us and it's quite a big, uh, uh, yeah. big studio. Right, we're going to get into uh, our fantastic hour. Now, we've made a surprise. Actually, before we do this, can we just have a little bit of a chat about your background? So I didn't know you came from uh, a sort of design aspect before I know you were saying fashion? Was yeah, so I was in fashion retail for yeah. 17 years, wow. um, which took up a lot of time, long hours, yeah. um, and I didn't have as much time as I would have loved to have been creative. So I'd done sewing, some paper crafts, mm -hmm. um, but after a long shift on your feet all day, you just yeah. didn't really have the time when I got home. Understandable. Um, and then situations changed, I moved abroad, I had a lot of time on my hands yeah. and I took it back up again and Incredible here I am. and made surprise was born. Yeah. You are and I kind of get the name actually gives you a little bit of a clue and indication that with all your designs you want to create something that has instant wow factor. It's kind of those special um, Alex likes to call them mental pleasers. Yeah. And these are fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the terrific towers. So I call them showstoppers. They are and, showstoppers. Um, Again, made a surprise. There should be an element of surprise in every collection. So this is the unusual shape. So the die yeah. will cut this really fantastic, I think. I designed it two years ago, so it's really nice now to actually see it in the, in the die form. 
Well, I and, wouldn't even uh, know where to begin. <laughs> if you had to, actually, I, I just couldn't do it. If you just gave me the card and said, can you score, can you, would you be able to create this? No way, no how. And why would you want to when you've got a die that does all that for you? But not only that, and we've got various options for you. I like the way we can inject some personality into the design too, because you kind of use those towers as mini canvases to kind of build on. Yeah, you can do anything with them. They can work for so many different occasions, and they're really good for masculine makes. Everybody struggles. These, you can just cut it without the fancy maybe edges. Yeah. You've just got that real nice square or rectangle shape, and then you choose your more masculine colors, and you've got great makes there. And they're quick. You can run it through and do like lots of batch making. Yeah. So if you're doing craft fairs, I know they're not really going on at the moment, mm -hmm. but whether it's virtual or you just like to prepare, you know, they're just so quick to do. Well, just having a look here, and what really sets this apart, the USP, is the uh, uniquely adorned sort of towers that you've got there running the columns with that beautiful uh, sort of detail coming through. But we can go in so many different directions uh, and different styles. They will post flat as well, which is important. So all you're doing is folding in here and then they'll post flat. So when you are sending away, we don't have to worry about extra postage. But look, at for special cards, for weddings, for anniversaries, I like that we've got the space here to make it our own. So there's a sentiment that gives it context. So it could be a 50th, or it could be well done, or maybe it's just a thinking of you, or if it is someone's birthday, if you do want to glitz it up, we've got, I think this is from the neck, is it from this set? Yeah, no, that's the 66. It's from, yeah, we've got that one. Now, the way it varies, so we have got different sizes and different shapes uh, on the uh, counter today, so we're going to be explaining that. For, look at the price, though. You're saving £11, uh, so that's a fantastic £11 saving, and you've got two flexi payments, too. Can we just break down what we're getting in this collection, Sam? Because you are getting an awful lot for your money. So this is your, this will create the construct? Yeah, so that's your main die set, yeah. so that will have your mats and layers, whether it be the 6x6, the 5x7 portrait, or the 5x7 landscape, uh -huh. it will have everything you need in there, and a few additions, so I think with the 6x6 there, you get the butterfly and the bow, and the hearts, and right. then if you do want to get the matching edges, they will then be the butterfly, the bow, and the hearts. Lovely, so there we go, and down here, now these separate, the, or they come all in the same bundle? Um, that, so those ones there are all in the bundle, well, but that's you can good. buy them separately as well. So wait a second, there's a lot That's, of metal. <laughs> that is incredible. If you really think about it, you've got your edging dies that are here, then that creates the background. So you've got your background dies and your, would that create your card blanks as well? You can do, yeah. You, they're also great for shakers because they will cut out all of those individual pieces, but you can also, there's little um, pieces that are partially die cut. Nice. So you've just got a nice added feature there. And as well. then you've got your main construct. Very quickly, could I'm saying we have got an overhead camera. Have you got the three sets so we could just see what we're getting inside? Um, is that, is, as in the, with the cards? Any, with the cards, well, any of the, uh, so, oh, they're here. Yeah, they're down here. The I'm so sorry. <laughs> got the pause. Sam, I'm there's so sorry. To, I didn't realise. There's pause behind each one. Yeah, right, let me just show you. <laughs> <laughs> this would be, a, I just want to be clear what you're getting, so sorry Sam, That's I didn't right. see that it was here, it's hidden under the cards. So look at all the elements that we're getting, and when you start appreciating this, this is your panel details, and I love how we've used a positive and a negative there. So you're getting three different designs, three different dies in there, and they're good size, obviously uh, all working on the same uh, size that we're working with our initial structure. Then we have our edge dies, and I'll just show you what they look like. Yeah, I love that bow. Beautiful. The bow is stunning, mm. and that you just use by itself on anything. Yeah. That'd be great for easel cards, mm. just putting a little bow yeah. as a stopper. Then you've got more butterflies trellising around the edge uh, in there, and your hearts uh, as well. And then this is your, just to show you, that's your main die set. So that's what creates the beautiful individual look of your uh, card. So when you consider all of those four, and I will just show you here, I know we've got to move on, but... I also don't think I said in the first show, but the butterfly, the large butterfly die there in the 6x6 will cut the butterfly stamp in the stamp set further down. Ooh, so there's just another up. little extra there. That die will cut that butterfly. There you go. So you have got the butterfly in the mix. Brilliant. And I'll just show here. What I'm going to do is put all the dies down and then we've got the boards to show. Um, this is your main die set that you're getting in the mix as well. So it creates the individual, the sort of, uh, well, the card blank, that speciality card, I should say. Then you've got all the die card elements in the mix and your panel details. So all of that 
for 41.97, but you have got two flexi payments. I think that is very good value for money if you really did break it down. 976-493 item number. The thing is, I don't like to break things down and say how much metal you're getting, but you're right, you're absolutely right to point it out, Sam. Just from a manufacturing uh, uh, perspective, the amount of resources to make these tie sets. The it panels does, are really, yeah, yeah. They're, they're solid pieces. Having a look here, we've got more for you. So uh, difference here is that it's what shapes we like to, what cards we like to make. So five by seven. Do you have a preference to any cards you? I would probably say I sway more towards the five by seven. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I think so. We'll have a little look. So this is your five by seven. There's your showstopper that we're going to build up. So I just love the depth. They will fold uh, flat and they will send flat. You've got all the detail and then you've got the dies in the mix. That's one set for you. Then we have the panel detail in here, just showing you. Now you can get them individually or if you do get them as part of the set, uh, you are saving 11 pounds. What I would say is on this occasion, and I don't always say this, but on this occasion I would absolutely go for the complete bundle because everything is designed to work together. You will use that panel detail and you'll use the edge detail to really bring life to your feature card. $41.97 is your price. Similar concept as we've just seen. The examples are stunning. So if you want to send someone, and as crafters, I think we can all relate to this, Sam. I get excited when I stumble across a die that's a bit different to what I have. So add something new into the mix. And then all the techniques that you enjoy doing, yeah. so you can create some great backgrounds and uh, inky techniques, you can then apply them to this. But if you've got a yeah. different way of displaying your artwork. I get lots of people messaging me saying when they've followed a tutorial or these particular cards and things, they always say that these are the ones that when they've given it to someone and people come around to their house and see all the cards, they go to their one because it's so unusual or different. And uh, then like, they feel really good about that. I like that. So yeah, it's, that's what I like to do. Bring something out a bit different. And uh, again, £11 saving here. £20.99 is your price if you want to take it up as your first flexi payment. 307 677 your item number. The clue is in the name. What Sam does with all her designs is she wants you to make something that will surprise. It's that kind of showstopper inspiration that people do get excited about. Uh, we've got different detailings and different sizes for you. So another 5x7 here. Uh, you've got your portrait tower in the mix. I will just show you. Here we have some balloons some flowers, some stars, uh, obviously the stamens for the flowers in there, your main structure with regard to the card we're going to be working with. So that's your main detailing, that's your plank <laughs> canvas. Oh, uh -oh. oh no, <laughs> it destroyed Once it. they go, they go. They go, okay. Every time, <laughs> It's Sam. like dominoes. I do it, I do it every time. Uh, and then we have our panel details, which we like. And then, thank you very much, Kirsty. It's nicely done, avoiding the cameras as well. And then we have our edge detail in the mix. So those are uh, the three different bundles. Pick whichever bundle works for you. All same price, same savings, great savings, 11 pounds. 026788, your item number. Now we've got our, our structure, but we want our substrate really with the, um, with the die. And then we've put some detail onto it. But if you want to take that detail a step further, and Sam did kind of touch on the fact that we have got dies that will work with stamps. Got some stamps for you, and these are great stamps. Uh, and the embossing folder too. I like this, Sam. So it's all keeping that continuity. These are very cool stamps. They're really different. I wanted them to be more of a vertical stamp, so they're going to yeah. work. They work across the 6x6 and the 5x7, but they're just the fonts and everything. It's just, I love them. I really like that. Congratulations there, amazing. You've got the butterfly which Sam was talking about. So that butterfly in the first option with the butterfly die, it will actually cut that out. You did it, uh, woohoo, and birthday. And then you've got the embossing folder in the mix. I'll just show you the stamps. All oh, it's not a cut, actually you know, it would be a great background. <laughs> I did think uh, that when I done it. Yeah, thank you, look at that. So that's just a stamp stamped out. But it would make a great background if you wanted to just layer up uh, onto that. They're so clear. So. Visually, they've got a lot of impact, which, again, I think is fitting for the kind of cards that we're going to be making here, Sam. I like your style, Sam. Thanks. I like your style. <laughs> uh, just going to show you what the stamps look like when you start having... Now, look at this. So with that beautiful, terrific tower, and then you've got the, um, the actual stamps and sentiments designed 
to really bring out the detailing from that tower. Like that a lot. Uh, okay, so twelve ninety eight is your price. You're getting your embossing folder and you're getting the stamps. It's good value for money. Actually, everything on the show is I think the good stamp set money. alone, I think it's almost like the, the embossing folder is free. I totally agree. Totally agree. Because uh, it's good size, too. I'll stick my hand in. That is good size. Right, we're going to move on. We've got more stamps uh, for you here and more embossing folders. So now we're kind of thinking of working with the different sizes coming through. So we are back to our uh, A5. Look at this. That's a lovely little ribbon um, or bow and bossing folder and then you've got more of these wonderful sentiments that is very impactful that yay or oh, the whoop whoop this is quite good and party <laughs> this is the kind of cards uh, that you want for your friends with a bit of humor they're a bit more a bit dare I say a bit hip trendier the whoop whoop is I, I say that a lot whether I it's think. it can be used for anything new job yeah you know your wedding day your best day it's just it's it's nice because it's quite contemporary mm. You get another whoop whoop. Everyone <laughs> needs a whoop whoop in their life. Come on. Do you have any whoop whoop stamps in your stash? I think odds are probably not. So if you don't, look at what you could be making. That is, re that is lovely. Sending that to somebody. And I love the detailing uh, with contrast there with your actual um, card. And then finally, something like that. Just monochromatic, white on black. How cool is that? Twelve ninety-eight, your price. You're getting the stamps, and Sam's absolutely right. I'm getting. I'm going to put my hand in just to give you a sense of scale. Uh, the stamps alone, fantastic. And then you've got the embossing folders. Two seven five three six seven, your item number. Finally, this is very very cool. The alphabet die has been extremely popular. So you're getting your chunky alphabet die set. I have got the uh, dice here, but I've got a board that will uh, showcase them even better. So there's the alphabets and the numbers, but then have a look at that. First thing that strikes me, Sam, is how incredibly clear that is. Yeah, I wanted something that was easy to use and stick down. You don't have to worry about you know, having those really fine kind of it's dies. A, it's just easy to, to it's use. It's a them. good size, mm. too. I feel like, from this, the way it's laid out, I feel like I should be getting cursed to our floor manager. If you just put your hand over your eye and tell me, can you see this one better or this one? There we go. I don't know. Joking, it's just the way you oh, look no, at I it need up. to go to the, I need to get my eyes tested. Well, actually. we don't need to. Just pay me. <laughs> I'll, I'll, just I'll do enough. Uh, okay, so we're going to get to our first demonstration. But if you do want the dies, I mean, fifteen ninety nine for uh, complete alphabet and you've got the numbers very good value for money and that's something you always get and the first time I worked with Sam it really stood out to me you get something that's original that's different great quality at such a competitive price 15.99 I think all crafters at home we can appreciate for a die set of that size it's good value for money 388668 your item number we're gonna start having some fun so Sam what have you got lined up okay so in the first show we done the 6x6 and the 5x7 portrait mm -hmm. so we're going to do the five by seven landscape okay so I've got this lovely yellow color and I'm going to do lots of glitz and I'm also going to be using the alphabet as well so I'll be able to show you how they look so I've got it laid down on my cardstock as I mentioned before anybody that missed the earlier shows you only need um, a4 size paper or letter size so you don't need 12 by 12 mm -hmm. which is always good um, the 5x7 sizes, you will need a larger die cutting machine because obviously it's wider. Yeah. But your 6x6 will go through a standard one. Okay. So one pass and it's all done for you. Brilliant. So just take that off. Actually, I'll put that there so I don't lose them. Okay. And I noticed on some of the inspirations on the towers, you put sort of mirror card on there. Just having a look, the dies will do that, so you get all your mats and layers with it. Because there's your tower, so that's your substrate that you're building on. Then you have all your die cuts here, so that's effectively all your panels yep. of detail. So if we did want to cut out some decorative card and put it on there, fantastic. Yeah, and also you don't have to... Um you can pass them, well, when I go, to, I'll show you in a minute. You don't have to decorate all the sides, so you might just want to pass those ones through, which is that one there. Mm -hmm. You might just want to do it twice just to cover the front. Yeah. So when you've got more like this, I always like to work on one of the edges facing towards me, and then every one where there's a score line, so it would be every other, you just want to kind of push it up just so you start to create that score line, and then obviously this big piece here. Right. But they're all there for you. There's no kind of right or wrong way, really. Even if you end up folding them in the opposite way, you'll uh -huh. just have it 
yeah. you know, that way around. It, it, it won't matter. Would and you, then these ones you do the other way. Would you recommend a particular GSM? Well, I was saying this to Paula earlier. I've done those samples are in, I think two, 180 was the lowest. Mm -hmm. Because by the time you add your mats and layers, it becomes really strong. And some of, them, some of the white ones are 300 GSM. Okay. So, yeah, if you have got a lot of pattern paper, which is lightweight, mm -hmm. you could use it, because there's some there with the, that I've used the pattern paper, yeah. and um, just strengthen it with the mats and layers. Mm. So, I'm doing both sides this time, because I went and done one at a time on the, the other shows. Yeah. So once you've got them kind of in place, yeah. you just want to bring it across. I like to slide it across, and it starts to hit these score lines here. Oh yeah? And then it just folds down. Perfect. And I do like the fact that it folds flat. You, you're a very good designer, Sam. Thank you. I really mean that because every time, I'm not even the second time we work together, <laughs> but um, whenever I have worked with you, I always find myself looking at what you've brought and thinking that's just a clever, and it's something different. And considering the amount of die sets, I've worked at Ho Chanda for four years, and I can say quite honestly that I have never seen a tower die set like this before. So finding, finding something that's original in the crafting market is not easy to do. I've always been quite different. Mm -hmm. It's a good <laughs> thing. Embrace I've, that. I've not, I've not really been someone that follows. Um, my friends will, will have stories to tell. I've always done my own kind of things, whether it's been fashion or just decisions in life. <laughs> but there you go. That's oh. how it looks. That's Fine. nice. So that, Instantly. That's what makes it different. So now we've got a blank canvas that we're going to be building on, but ultimately it's something that... It, when we give cards, and I'm a big kid at heart, but you know if there's any kind of movement, if it is something different when you open it up so it arrives, you pull it out, and you see you've got that dimension, these are the cards, and we all do it. Actually, Sam, I'm going to ask you if you do this. You know your favorite cards, you kind of display them, they're, they're center stage, they're pride of place. Yeah. And the ones that you kind of feel people have just nah, haven't put much thought, thought into, they kind of get worked at the back. I also don't kind of give my cards away, the ones that I get really attached to. Yeah, so I have too. in my head, I think, yeah, I'm going to give that to someone and then it never actually ends up happening and I keep it and it's hugging my craft room. <laughs> so, yeah, in fact, I brought a lot of them as samples before and I'm like, can I take them back? Because I don't want to like sure get rid of them. Cool. Okay, so now I've just gone and die cut two of the flower mm -hmm. um, edge there. One I've already gone and stuck all of the flowers on. You can just see how lovely they are. These are flattened because obviously I've been traveling. Yeah. But if you just add a little bit of dimension to them, but I've die cut them in vellum underneath and then in that double-sided glitter card on top and put a little gemstone in the center. Oh. And I just thought it looked really, really pretty. Yeah, so. I like that. That is how it will be folded flat five by seven. Once you add your edges on, it will create a slightly larger card and you can double these up so you can turn them into shadow boxes. Um, you can see, I think in front of you, the purple one that's actually right at the front, up again towards me a little bit. Sorry, just that oh, one there. Can you see one, yeah. how that's a very that's, different kind of fold? And, well, that's uh, ingenious. Yeah, there's a bigger one as well further down, I think. I'm when I'm sticking this down. If you look inside, you'll see... It reminds me of looking inside like a, the elevators, you know, when they cross over? Yeah. Kind of, yeah it's not. That's very clever. So that is just another way of really changing them again from just being like this. Or you can stick two back to back. You could put an, cut an aperture in the middle there, turn them into diorama cards. So there's a lot you can do with these, and I will show that on my, you know, um, social media channels as well. So there'll be lots of inspiration. Nice. I'll just show you the back here, if you have a little look, and you're able to see the concept that Sam was just mentioning. So being able to build up, create those shadow boxes, I mean, as if you are a crafter, and I know so many of you are, who do like your construction and thinking outside the box, that's, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Good, aren't they? Mm. So I've just stuck the two edge pieces on there, and I've done the mats and layers already all come in the set, you've got them there, mm -hmm. which is always nice because you don't have to do any measuring. And I always get people messaging me saying, how do you get perfect cuts? I can't get my mats and layers to line up. And right. so it's a, always a bonus when they're there for you. Yeah. So that's that one. And then you get these oh. ones here. All I've done on the top pieces uh -huh. is I just used my scoreboard and just scored on every increment just to give me like an embossed look, nice. just to do something a little bit different. Okay. So I'm just going to pop them on the front and then this is going to be a missing you card. Oh. <laughs> so it'd be something that's quite nice to send someone with all the glitter. 
and that cards like that have taken on so much greater meaning this year. Oh yeah, definitely. I've just seen my nan actually for the first time in months, months and months. Oh. So that was really nice. It's weird not being able to hug people. Yes, I don't, actually when I came here I'm quite a hugger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I'm a hugger too, Sam. <laughs> and I just can't hug anybody. Oh. Okay, so I've just cut here. This is what I was saying earlier mm -hmm. as palette. I always like to die cut my um, whatever the is, you know the letter is, and is then I alphabet? die cut it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the word. And then I die cut it again with some foam, and it gives you that instant dimension. So you can just see how nice. raised they are. So you just die cut. You just die cut the foam straight. Yep. Nice. Just your standard, you know, like kids' craft foam. You yep. pick it up in any anywhere really, um, and then I can stick that oh. on there. So I'm going to be doing a bit of sticking now. Hey, I'll I like stick all this. these down here as well. It won't okay. take me long to do. Just um, while you are sticking this yep. down, I'll explain what we're getting as part of this bundle. Uh, just got some boards here. So this is your main die set, your showstopper, and that's what gives you the structure of your inspiration. But as uh, Sam was saying, you are also getting all your mats, layers, your panel details to put in, and you're getting some flourish. Uh, dies in there as well. So that's just one set. The amount of uh, uh, dies that you're getting from that, if I pop that down, and then you're going to be getting in the mix your panel details, which is lovely. So you've got your panel details in there, and then you can these you can leave those in and just oppose them or paper piece them back in. And then finally you have your edge detail. So you've got your mat and then you've got your detailing which you will lay onto there. So we've got presents. So presents great for anything really. For Christmas, fantastic. But not just Christmas, for birthdays, anniversaries. And then we've got the dragonfly and we've also got the uh, flowers there. So really covering all occasions. Great. These would make nice Mother's Day cards. Yeah, especially with the, I mean I love the dragonfly. And um, there's a purple one. I think again it's on the very front. Um, with the gold, with the dragonfly. Yeah, it's beautiful, that one. Love it. You know, you do that in your softer pinks and lilacs and things like that. Into the, I mean, you know, we're coming into our autumn, winter now, yeah. but certainly. And that's the thing I like about with my card making is having just lots of different card base shapes and then just change your papers throughout the year. I want them to be able to work, you know, for all, for all occasions. Right. So there's my miss you. Uh -huh. You do have all these, but I've not been doing them during the um, live just because they will take too long. But yeah. you literally just put a little bit of glue and you stick them all down the front and all on the sides there as well, which you can see in all of the samples yeah. there. Makes a difference. Yeah, I'm just going to stick these flowers down. So I just die cut a few extras Okay. just to fill mm -hmm. on there and um, then a couple on the bottom. These are. Uh, I would imagine, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but we're making something that looks like we spent a very long time doing it. And it's actually the kind of inspiration when you do give it to someone, they'll question whether you did make it. That's what sure I, you didn't, yeah. Sure I, you didn't buy it? Like, no, I like I it when people say it. that. Yeah. But there you go. And you can die cut mats as well for the back so you've got a stronger area to write your message. Just die cut another one in white. But there is Beautiful. a gorgeous card. And that gives you an idea, it's just the tip of the iceberg of where you can go with these fantastic, terrific tower die sets. Uh, now, I've got a quick question for you, Sam. What, do you know what time it is? What time, time it is? is? Do you have the time on you? Half huh? seven? Well, it's not actually, it's party time <laughs> no, that because I, that's what we're doing. That went that's right it. over me, Alice. I'm, I'm really slow with things like that. <laughs> Look, there we go. We're just showing you what you could be doing this hour. We're going to be having some fun. Uh, it is party time, especially if you're a crafter because I personally, so I class myself as a crafter and I do get excited when I discover something that is totally different to anything I have at home. So do you have anything like this at home? Or can you see yourself making these fantastic cards, giving them, and they are some beautiful inspirations. So if you wanted, and I'll just show you here, this is a good example actually, and this is where I'd be thinking, pattern papers, because you've just transformed, you've got such a lovely design coming through, and the 3D nature of the actual card, but then by employing just some pattern paper, or getting the most of those papers where, Sam, are you a paper stroker? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Don't know. Hey, this is a safe space. <laughs> My mum is a bad a, paper stroker. We've got to give your mum a mention. What's your mum? She saying? got mentioned in the first show as well. well Julie. 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 
<laughs> Nothing wrong with paper stroking. <laughs> but, you know, let's stop stroking the uh, paper and actually use it. Or could you see yourself making... Now, this is the size that we've got uh, at the moment for this particular bundle. So you can see our 6 by 6 is exactly the same principle, just a different size. So maybe this is the size that you prefer to work with. So got stamps to go with it. I'll just show you the boards. So this is what you were getting. And when you do break it down, the more I look at it and the more I appreciate exactly what you're getting in the sets, all of these are dies. So you've got that large die to give you a structure. You've got all your layering. You've got your flourish dies to add a bit of character. You've got your panel dies. And then you've got more of your layering dies. So all of that is one die set. And look at the size of the dies that you're getting there. So that's one set. But then we're going to take it a step further because Sam wants to give you absolutely everything to create something that is stunning. So then she's giving you, now these are beautiful. Look at this. Uh, wonderful edge dies with the, and this is what I love about this. So it cuts out the edge detail, but then we can layer up so we can contrast. We can put some beautiful glitter red hearts on there if we wanted, and the black would look amazing. And then we've got your panel detail as well, all sticking with the same theme. It's upside down. Just showing you that. Love it. £20.99 is your price if you do want to take advantage of these. Had a question in, and thank you so much. Please, if you've got a question on your mind, it's the joy of being a live TV show, and we will always try and get an answer for you. So, Karen... Sam has asked about making to sell. Yep, no problem at all. Full angel policy. Oh, oh. all right. Now, think about this. And do you know what I would totally be doing is each season. So I know a big time coming up to Christmas is a time typically we would do a lot of make to sells. So if this was all the, the same principles, same look of the Terrific Towers, but with your Christmas make. So think about what Christmas dyes you have in your stash. Uh, and just being able to, you've got that beautiful 3D aspect, but you can take it in any design aspect that you like. But then we can go into the new year, so, uh, so celebrating the new year, but also into the sort of spring, summer months as well. You're not restricted because it's a blank canvas. Right, we've got two flex payments. Do take advantage of those. Uh, 976 43, uh, 493 item number. Very quickly, because I know we want to get back to Sam for our next demonstration. Got another bundle for you. So this is your 5x7, uh, so different size. And you have got your main structure. What I do like about this one, actually, just showing you that there. What I do like about this is you've got the balloons in there, so more celebratory. Then we've got our flowers and then you've got your stars. So a lot of different designs to play with. And then you get those reflected with your edged dies. So all of these are edged dies that you are getting. And then you've got your panel dies in the mix too. And I actually, on this occasion, if I just pop those down, um, can I just show you the, because I've been showing you the boards, let me show you the dies. So when we talk about panel dies, look at those. So these are large, large dies. And when we talk about edge dies, Look at that. You really start to appreciate what you're getting with the set. The amount of dies, individual dies, that you're getting here. 41 in total. And then you've got your large die set. Actually, let me just turn that around. You've got that large die set in the mix too. So this is what cuts out your structure. It's such a clever design coming through. So all three of those die sets for 41.97. It's, do you know, it's equivalent to just over a pound per, per die. Uh, we've also got the uh, stamps for you as well. Now, the stamps are fantastic. You're getting them with your embossing folder. We've, uh, I think we've got some pictures to show you. Have we got some pictures? Yeah, we have. Uh, so there we go. You've got that fantastic. It's a very good size stamp set. So A5 stamp set with 21 stamps in total and the embossing folder for $12.98. Sam, and I totally agree with Sam on this, you'd pay $12.98 just for the stamps. I mean, that would be regular retail price. So that embossing folder is uh, effectively, that's just a thank you from uh, Sam and Made to Surprise. 397-910, your item number, if you do want to get those. Uh, we do have another stamp set, different embossing folder. You've got the bows there. Uh, I really like both stamp sets. 12.98 is your price, 275-367, your item number. Sam's 
rowing to go. So what have we got next, Sam? So we're going to do the five by seven. I'm going to do the stars. We're just going to do black and white. It looks okay. really nice. And we'll do some stamping. I haven't decided which one yet, but we'll decide that in a minute. Cool. So again, popped it on my platform there. Get that one die cut. I love the stars. In fact, I like the black and white one with the yay and the tall. It'd be similar mm -hmm. to that one, but I'm going to add the star. So it's on the very top down the end. It's just got the flat edges. Do you know what I do like? The awesome and the yay and the whoop whoop are, are great for um, sort of family members. I'm thinking my nephew and nieces. They're not, you're not just restricted. They're not, I'm not saying these kids by any means, but they don't like they won't appreciate a pretty, pretty card or a nice, delicate sentiment. They go through a few years, I think, because yeah. they want to just be really cool, don't they? They don't want anything. They want, I, sh I know for a fact that uh, they would appreciate a whoop whoop for something. Yeah. So this is this lighter weight cardstock. So you can see here it's really soft. But by the time I add all of the mats and layers, it will soon strengthen. And some people prefer they can just manipulate and move you know, these kind of papers a bit better. Mm -hmm. So again, just kind of work through it every other. So one side it will be on one, on one side and on the other side it will be on the other. Nice. So again, just pull those through. Mm -hmm. So how, how long have you had this idea in your head? Or where, where did you even come up with this idea? I find I, a lot of the time I just, um, I just play around with cardstock. Yeah. <laughs> I do do other things in my life as well, but yeah, I am um, fucking about with this one. There we go. Um, I just find different ways, and sometimes I'll have an intention to do the card one way, but actually it will turn out completely different. Right. So, yeah, sometimes things are made by a pure accident. And uh, that's how these things come together, which is what, how some of those ones, the unusual styles where I've doubled them up, I was just playing around thinking of other fun ways to put them together. I would imagine you take a lot of satisfaction from when you do release a set, seeing how crafters will find a way to use it you would never even consider. Yeah, that's the exciting part. We've got a really nice group on Facebook and um, so many people post things up and they might just put different colours together or just do it, fold it slightly different, and then everyone's like, wow, I never thought to do that. And um, before you know it, you know, they're then inspiring the others in the group, and it's just, it's really nice. These would make great invitations. I also think... With the party, I thought parties, that would, yeah. Brilliant. What about little menus? So if you, you know, if you uh, go to an event and they have just a little menu on the table, because they stand up, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, there's just, uh, you know, I really wanted those large stamps in there mm -hmm. for, because, you know, there would be people watching who just like stamping, yeah. you know, so they've got that option there. But there you can see done. you've got your card already. So now I've got one of the star edges there. I've already done one and stuck the stars on, so I'll just get this one cut. Okay. And I've prepared all of those there as well. Keep them all together. And then you can just build it up as much as you want, because you've got the large and the small star actually in the main set. Yeah. So if you just want to have a few, or if you do then want to go for the edges, then you've got loads to decorate the side as well. So when you say you spent some time abroad, where were you? Um, so I was in Malaysia. Oh, And Malaysia. I was there for two years, and then I moved to China. Wow. Luckily got back before the birth. Yeah, everything. <laughs> did you, what time did you, so when, when did you come back to It was UK? about a year. Okay, so <laughs> you're okay, it, you missed all yeah. the fun again there. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I wasn't there then. Mm. But, what was uh, life yeah. like in Malaysia? I fell in love with Malaysia. It's just, it's a hot pot of just amazing food. You've got, you know, Malaysian food, Chinese, um, Indian. Mm. I People are just so lovely. The food is incredible out there. I, 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 I mean, I was a pretty big foodie anyway, but that just transformed me. Me and my mum dream about the butterfly chicken that we had in Penang. Oh. And we would get on a plane and fly just for that butter, um, butter chicken. Not butterfly chicken. Yeah. Butter chicken. Amazing. Not like, the, not like the butter chickens here. You know, it's just so different. Yeah. And it's the atmosphere because there's a lot of alfresco dining. You sit out, you know, it could be like 11 o'clock at night. It's really warm and... Because it's hot all year round, so... That sounds great. Yeah, it was. So there you go. See how that looks with those on. And then Lovely. I'm just going to stick 
the stars on. Okay. And if you do have any questions, please get in touch. I think, I think it was Karen who messaged in just asking about the angel policy. It is full angel policy, so uh, you can enjoy it to your heart's content. Just imagine if this was, uh, your, I know at the moment we're not really doing fairs, but eventually things will change and normality will resume. Imagine that on a stand. You will stand out from the crowd, quite literally. That is just so bright, so cheerful, but then we can go from something like this to something I think very elegant, refined. We've got the flowers on there that we can adorn it with. You can change the sentiment. It is a true chameleon because ultimately what you're getting with the sets is that canvas, that structure that you are then going to taper in any direction. Where I think Sam's been very clever is she has given us those individual uh, sort of elements to say with the balloons to go down one route or the flowers to go down another route, the presents, another good one. Okay, so I've stuck that all down. I'll just show you there how that looks. Nice. So now I'm going to do a little bit of heat embossing mm -hmm. with the sentiment. So I've already die cut the smaller of the mat and I'm just going to prep that with my anti static buddy. I'll do some white embossing powder against the black, so I think it looks really nice. So, sentiment, let's go for. What are you thinking? Um, either congratulations, I done a happy birthday earlier, or the party. Let's party. Do you want to do let's party. party? You did say it's time for a party. It is time, time for to a party, party or let's party? Oh, time to yeah, party. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, this would be, a, like you said, a great invitation with the date it's of really the, the nice party or something on, on it. So I have that one just a little bit further down. Mm -hmm. You can find the stamps and the embossing folder duos on our website, and they're a great price on those. I love, I love the stamps. And you can just, you know, if you just want to do a simple quick card as well, mm -hmm. you just stamp this on, you know, do a nice blended inked background or something, and it's, you know, it's good to go. I'm, I'm kind of now, there's certain shows I present here at Ho Chanda and I know the, the kind of creations that after the show, when our viewers do get them home, are going to be breathtaking. So if you do create something really special, I'd love it if you could tag me and see it. And please tag Sam as well. Yeah, I'd Find love to Sam see them. on social media. I do, uh, I love seeing what people yeah. make. And also Ho Chanda. Don't forget to follow Ho Chanda. You can follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. It is well worth giving our Facebook page and Instagram page a like because what I've noticed, and it's more and more so these days, uh, there are Facebook competitions and you could be a big winner. So why not follow us? You keep updated on the latest companies joining Ho Chanda, the latest news, latest events, and there are loads of giveaways on there as well. So give us a like. Okay, I wasn't looking at the bottom, but I've missed a little bit of the party, the why, but... Right, it's grungy. I could, the, good, the thing is, though, if you've got more time, if I was at home now, I'd heat set that, yeah. put it straight back into the stamping platform, because yeah. the stamp's already in place, and then just re-stamp it again. So, you know, I, I won't do that, because I'm going to attach it to the card now, just Fine. to show you, but um, it's easy to fix these things. Some people yeah. panic, and they think, oh, gosh, I've ruined it. No, but, there's always a solution. Especially with that. I mean, if, it, if we didn't have the stamping platforms now, I think it would be difficult because you'd be trying to line that up perfectly. But these days, it just makes yeah. it so much easier to do. So, yeah. get that nice and hot. Can and you then, remember the first time you did a heat and go? It was my mum, and that's what made me kind of take it up more professionally. My mum wow. done it and showed me. Yeah, I was like, that's, that's it's really alchemy. cool. It's just... It's one, one aspect of crafting no matter how many times you do it, how many cards and inspirations you make, nobody gets tired of watching Boston Powder Town. No. I just love watching the shine appear You just when you catch it on an angle. So apart from the bottom of the Y there, you can just see how cool that looks. Again, I've, you know, could have been a bit tidier with it, but again, okay. we all get the idea. So now I can just stick that one onto the white mat, which again comes in the... Uh, kit or set. Okay, I put congratulations on the back, so that was obviously the sentiment I was thinking to do with it. But just shows these lovely vertical stamps how they fit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like that. As we're doing this, I'm sure you've got a lot of friends and family watching right now. Anyone you'd like to say hello to or generic um, hello to? Everyone? I'd like to say hello to everybody in our group, which yeah. is Mixed Up Crafters, because so many of you have been messaging and it's been really, really nice. So oh. thank you for the support. It's lovely. Hi to Mum. Hi to my nan, actually. I did okay. say hello to my nan. And it's my brother-in-law's birthday today, so happy birthday, Ollie. There you go. <laughs>
Get, oh, my dad. It, it get really upset if I don't say hello to my dad. Well, should, we gave your mum a name shout-out. What's your dad? No? Terry. Terry. He'll be watching. He's probably taking a photo of the screen right oh. now. Terry, you should be very proud. <laughs> Sounds awesome. So, okay. thank you. Okay, so there you can see there's that. And then with the stars, again, I just cut them and then added some foam. Done a few different colours. Get my glue gun. Oh, don't knock that over. And I'm going to cover the bottom of the Y so it looks mm. like it was, you know, supposed to be missed. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, a, you know, any little embellishments and things like that. They're always great to hide any little, Lovely. little accidents. Um, let's do another one up there. Again, you'll have a lot more time, but it just gives you an idea of how that will look. Excellent. Sam, beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, right, we're going to just give you a quick reminder of the stamps that we've been uh, using and then the uh, alphabet dies and we'll get back to uh, Sam. Uh, just having a little look. At this, uh, we're going to have a look over here. Oh, this one. <laughs> over here with the party. Uh, okay, so just having a look. Twelve uh, pounds and ninety-eight pence is your price, and you are getting both the embossing folder and you're getting the stamps in there as well. So. Uh, Having a look at the birthday, uh, you've also got your gratitude woohoo uh, in here as well. Have I gone to the wrong one, guys? Is that, that was my bad. <laughs> All right, thanks. Sorry. Uh, let's have a little look at what you are getting. This is the full stamp set, so you can see that. All these stamps, it does look like a background. I think that's a fantastic background, but what Sam wanted to do was just show you all the stamps. So everything you're seeing on here has been stamped out from the set. Now that, just for the stamps alone, although you can see there, it's an A4 stamp set, that is well worth $12.98. So done, you've covered yourself. The embossing folder is just an added uh, icing on the cake. $12.98, your price, 397-910, your item number. Uh, the set that I should have shown you first up, uh, having a look here. So you can see this is the one that we were using. You've got your party, your yay, your whoop whoop, uh, awesome. These are ones for, for friends who don't want a traditional classic card. You know, you sort of called trendy friends who would prefer a whoop whoop. Great for teenagers, by the way. The party, the awesome coming through and the yay, uh, I think are just great to have in your stash. And then we've got the embossing folder in there as well. $12.98 is your price. I will show you everything just stamped out so we can have a little look. I mean, just screams for color as well. So alcohol markers all day long or watercolors. Uh, 275 367, your item number there. This uh, alphabet collection I think is phenomenal and you're getting so much for your money. Look, a complete alphabet set and you're getting uh, in there the um, numbers as well. So all of that and I will just show you the board for $15.99. But look how clear and concise. So if you're looking to make, say, uh, mixed media, scrapbooking, card making, uh, home decor, it's a good legible size, nice, clear, and you can have some fun with that. $15.99 your price, saving £3, 388-668 your item number. So what are we going to be playing with next? Squeeze in the six by six with the butterflies. Okay. Really pretty. I've got this nice purple colour. So again, I've just popped it onto my paper. This is about two hundred GSM, and I'll run that one through. Lovely. And then I think we're stamped. We'll do the congratulations on this one. Again, don't worry if it cracks. That's all. That's a good sound. It means it's cutting through your paper, yeah. which you want. Satisfying sound. Just while we are cutting, I'll show you very quickly in the set what you are getting. So you've got your edged uh, dies in there, so you've got that separate. Though, oops, sorry, but the flare. Uh, those are you can move around the individual. So you've got your panel, and then you've got your edge dies all coming through. Then you have your panel details. Nice, you're getting three of those, and you are getting your actual six by six with additional flourishes in the mix too. So all of those dies for forty-one ninety-seven. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So no no no, I didn't know if you were moving on again. Okay, so again I've just cut that all, so I'm just so they're all like so. Bring them over. What I'm gonna do is actually on the other side of this, I'm just gonna show another way for people to do this. Because okay. you know some people might still just find it a little bit 
possibly fiddly. I think it's one of those things where until you start to get your like rhythm with it and know mm. how you want to do it. But if you've got a scoreboard, the lines are already there. And what you can do is you will have a slightly different finish, but you can just follow follow the score lines without whipping it. Like so. Mm -hmm. And then what you can do is fold it and then just pop each one out separately. So you either, but then what it does is it creates an extra score line which you don't get on this side. So if you see now, this side you've got that nice finish. Yeah. This side, but then you can just pop each one out. So you end up with the same look, but you end up with an extra score line. Okay. But some people don't mind that. So now, so it just makes it much quicker. Okay, yeah. so you get the same thing, but with this, see now you've got score lines all there. Yeah. This one you don't, and that's why the, that's what the beauty of the die is, because it just yeah. gives you that finish. So there is, you know, another way to do it if you'd rather do that for a while, and then maybe. But you can see, I mean, they're both easy. It's just getting mm. them popped out, you know, into position, I guess. So. But I like to show both ways. Do you, you ever, when that. you come up with a concept, because your mum's quite the crafter? Um, do you ever sort of run it past her, Test let her, it on her. go? Yeah? yeah, she loved this. Good. So when I done it, like I said two years ago, she was like, "I love it. Um, it's amazing." And I was like, "Right, what ones do you think I should do as a die form?" She's like, "You got to do the tower fold. Got to do the tower fold." So Very I've done it, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> so two years in development, but we're so proud we're able to bring it to you now. Yeah, it's so nice to see. As with lots of that, you know, I've got some really fun future ideas. I've got some that I'm still getting my head around, trying to get them into a die form like how they're going to work yeah. you know it's you've got to spend a bit of time on it but and I want everything to be able to kind of work together so these edges you can just use on your normal six by six card mm. so if it's just a plain six by six card bank you can just cut a little bit off of one of the sides add the edge and you've got a really nice card yeah. as well so you don't have to always keep making the tower fold mm -hmm. so but there you can see how quickly that transforms and again, I've cut the mats and the layers. I'll pop that one in there. And then, just thinking, yeah, I'll do, oh, I think I've got that purple, oh, which yeah. may work. We're good for time, so you've got six minutes, okay. so don't feel like you have to rush. Okay, what I'll do is we'll have the white, yeah, and I'll heat emboss the white one. Okay. So we'll do, okay. congratulations. Yeah. Already got the other butterflies uh -huh. cut out. Again, if you've you know when you've got your stamps and stuff, you'll have more time. But you could stamp each part a different colour. Yeah. So you could have a rainbow running down nice. through that, which would look really nice as well. Or so. equally, because they they are such nicely designed stamps, you can go in different directions. I think with a gold emboss, that would look lovely. Yeah, I do love my embossing powders. I love my mirrored cardstock. I think there's pretty mm -hmm. much every card has some kind of mirrored card on them so again just line that one up and then and the I haven't done them in the demos because they just take too long but all these little bits they really transform the card as yeah. you can see they really show off that tower mm. fold on the edges so it looks really nice okay. right I'm gonna just stamp that one more time just so we don't miss it like I did with that other one it's a nice new yeah. ink pad so it should Nice. And don't worry if it stains. Look, you can see my stamps are stained because I've used them a lot. But you can see the colour comes through. But it all gets hidden when you Covered, put the powder straight yeah. away. Because again, people sometimes email and message like they've got a dirty Versafine <laughs> pad or something. But it doesn't matter. So. Well, it's nice. You, you can see that you really do have a hands-on approach to sort of talking to people. Yeah, I don't like to hide anything. I no. mean, and that's why I like doing the lives, because a lot of people see me make the mistakes and then see me try and salvage them. Yeah. And um, like now, trying to get the powder. And um, we all do it. It doesn't matter if you've been crafting for 30 years and you're on TV. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you still make these mistakes. And black mm -hmm. ink just manages to get everywhere, I think, no matter how tidy things. you are. Yeah. You know, but that looks lovely. Just get rid of that bit there. I like that. You can see that. And it's the same font as the alphabet. Mm -hmm. as well. You would 
you usually wait a little bit longer to get your gum really, really hot because you don't want it on the card stock for too long. But I do want to get this set. I should be able to see that taping. It looks really nice. Congratulations is such a nice card to make. Someone celebrating something, whether it is uh, getting engaged, new addition to your family, moving home. It just works for so many things, doesn't yeah. it? New puppy, new job. Yeah. This time last year, Holly, our director, she plays lacrosse. Oh, yeah. And the team lifted the cup. They won their oh, uh, nice. they won a tournament. So, just shape it while it's still warm. You can kind of get it back into its... I think that colour would go nicely, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would use like some that. foam, but I'm just going to stick it with my glue. And then I'll show you the... I've heat embossed the butterfly from that stamp set as well and die cut that so you can see how that looks. Yeah, we like that. That looks so good. And th you can clearly see that with the stamps, you had the towers in mind when you were designing those. I well, wanted vertical the, stamps, yeah. and it just it timed because I, obviously, you know, the vertical stamps were done earlier on this year, and now all the rage are the DL yes. cards and the vertical. There's not many well, vertical stamps. Well, there so are now. Like so if you do like your DL cards, yep. I mean, they work well with the towers, but also independently, yep. just having something that is a little bit different and playful to the eye, great addition to your stash for twelve ninety eight. You are getting the embossing folders with the stamps. 21 stamps in total. They are A5 stamps and they are busy. Uh, 397910, your item number for the congratulations. And we have got another set for you as well. We will flash the details. So these are the butterflies that come in the set. So I've just mm -hmm. die cut a couple of them together, put a little embellishment in the middle. But you can see I heat embossed. So that's the stamp and then that's die cut with yeah. the larger from there. So. Nice. And we're just going to flash the other set of stamps for you as well because they're both very popular. So there we go. The uh, set we're going to bring details for has got the whoop whoop and the, uh, look, uh, come on, I need a whoop whoop in my life. Uh, and then you've got your yay in there as well, awesome and party, and also uh, all the other sort of uh, worker stamps too. 275367, your item number, and you are getting that embossing folder. So just put a little bit of shape there on the butterflies. Make sure that's stuck down. But there you have it. And imagine again, you've got whatever colour all mats yeah. and layers down there. It really does help that stand out a bit more. I love that. And you can see when it stands up. Sam, I love it. I really do. I think it's such a clever idea. So you've seen the idea. You've seen how easy it is to make the inspirations. I'm just going to show you the three different bundles that we have. Uh, we'll show you pictures. Uh, so here we've got the 6x6. Six six. So you are getting your structure, then you're getting your edging dies and your panel dies. For uh, £41.97 pence your price, saving £11. But you have got access to two flexi payments of £20.99. pence. So pricing is the same for all the bundles. It, the only thing that varies is the uh, actual size of the cards. This is your landscape, uh, 5x7, 307667. And if you do want to go for your portrait A5, uh, sorry, 5x7, uh, so your portrait 5x7 is 026788. That's a huge thank you to Sam. I've really enjoyed thank it. Thank you. I've really enjoyed it as so, well. Everyone's been so lovely. Nice to actually get to the studio. Yeah. Good. It's really, really good. Sam, really do you know it. when you're coming back? I think maybe the end of next month. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for your company. I hope you've enjoyed it and love your tale. So we have another hour with the lovely Leslie and Chocolate Baroque, our one day special. It is seriously cool hour. Please stick around. Uh, after that, we've got our Wednesday Wonders and then another look at our one day special.